Dudes rock. There's so much you like, I feel like I just can't say. Sure. That as soon as I get behind closed doors, you know, it's like the N word. The N word, right, exactly. <laughs> it's almost like everything now is the N word, where I don't, you know, if you just want to say it in the bathroom because you can't. No, but I, I, my whole stomach's been fucked up. I don't know what it is. I did a bunch of drugs. And I did a bunch of, um, and I ate like a complete piece of shit. I've been trying to uh, slim down for our listeners at home. I'm a plus size gentleman. And uh, I went on a damn bender, my dude. Yeah. See, I've got a fucked up dick. Uh, my foreskin doesn't go all the way back. And uh, sometimes it hurts when I fuck. So sometimes I have to like. It doesn't go all the way back? It's supposed to go all the way back. It stops at the head. It looks like a turtleneck. So you should have been. You should have been circumcised. I should have been circumcised. And actually, a doctor tried to circumcise me, but I just have too much pride. <laughs> too much Wait, ethnic you, pride. What do you mean a doctor tried? He held me down and uh, <laughs> he took a fucking... Was a doctor on the subway? <laughs> yeah, when I say doctor, it was a guy I met. A guy, a guy, a a guy off met. Scruff. Yeah. Dude, how funny is... Oh, initially, we were going to talk about Tom Myers. Oh, yes. The um, king. Tom Myers is uh, the greatest comedian of all time. Ab my favorite stand-up comedian. Um, if you if you want to know more about Tom Myers, go to YouTube and type in Ed Schrader Show, <laughs> and that's S H R A D E R, Tom Myers. And Tom was a guest on Ed's like a surreal talk show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's funny. So the whole the setup is is it's supposed to be like an it's supposed to have this like weird. It's a troll talk show. It's basically. A, yeah, it's a troll. It's like a hipster ironic talk show. Right. So. To the extent that even the announcer for the show is some guy that's like, and your next girl, like he's doing a dumb voice, like everything's supposed to be bad. And they got the best comedian you could for an ironic talk show. Absolutely. Which is Tom Myers, who the King uh, looks baby. like Steve Buscemi, dresses like Bill Hicks. You know what's funny about Tom Myers is Tom Myers had that hairline. And had the solution to that hairline, which is that weird comb over thing that he does <laughs> at like age 21. When I met him, yeah. I was like 16. He was uh, 16 or 17. And I'm like, oh, this guy's in his like late 30s. Absolutely. You, he, he looks 15 years older than he is. Yeah. And he was like 21. But uh, the, I got on the Tom Myers tangent because you remember at his album recording, he did yes. that, that joke about like he just slid it in there that his parents already have a grave for him. <laughs> yeah, they bought <laughs> they bought a grave they for him, a, a grave, grave plot for their son next to theirs. So because he lives with his parents, <laughs> yeah. he lives with his parents, calls Little League Baseball, and works at Seven <laughs> Eleven. He was the chairman of the Harford County Young Democrats. Until he literally aged out of it. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you're too fucking old. <laughs> yeah. So then he like, oh man, he is so Did he good. come back from, he retired from comedy for No, a did he? I don't think so. Yeah. You should check it out, guys. Seriously, Tom Myers. We were present, both, both Nick and myself were present for the recording of, I believe it was something like Pitchforks and... He has some really strong imagery. Another, yeah. He had an album called uh, "Words of Mass Destruction." Words of Mass Destruction, <laughs> dude. Scathing criticism of the Iraq War and uh, and pot, pot as in marijuana, uh, which he calls pot. Bong hit transplant. Bong hit transplant. <laughs> that's that's, one of his that's by the way, bong hit transplant is the is the punchline to a joke. Go find it. You'll really enjoy it when you figure it out. It will make a lot of sense. <laughs> It really should be the punchline to every joke. <laughs> yeah, once you get a bong hit transplant. <laughs> what the fuck is even a bong hit transplant? Um, but Eddie Griffin is saying like, uh, so <laughs> Eddie Griffin is taking forever and he starts, he starts quoting scripture and then he says that like, oh, it was because, because we allowed gay marriage or something that we were going to start uh, that, um, uh, and he quotes some scripture that says, because of gay marriage, people were going to be zombies. <laughs> that it was like, the undead shall come back from the dead in the time of sins. And his interpretation, and just some old black, this is insane. You know what I mean? Just insane shit. And some old black woman in the crowd starts clapping and going, read your book. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's fucking, like that is true. Like what he said was in the Bible. Like, I don't even think what he was talking about was even remotely in there. <laughs> And she was just like, read your book. Read and it's, your book. At this, it's like Saturday at 2 a.m. It, it was one of the most hilarious. And I'm sitting there just waiting to fucking close the show. Fine.
But yeah, uh, so Irwin took that room and started booking people there, like bringing in headliners. And he brought in this fucking hypnotist from oh, like Cleveland. Yes. Who drove there in his like 92 Civic, you know, all the way from Cleveland to <laughs> headline <laughs> the karaoke bar. And I mean, no one would ever be at those shows, too. Uh, no one. No Irwin one charged like $10 a head. Yeah. Yeah. It was. So the audience is me, Jordan, and then like um, this guy and his fucking fiance or something. So there's mm-hmm. four of us there. And the hypnotist goes on stage and he's like, I'm the amazing fucking dickhead or whatever right. his name is. And uh, he's like, I need four volunteers from the audience. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm get, can I get four volunteers? So, you know, Erwin's like looking around. He's like, come on, everybody. <laughs> Why get up on the stage, everybody. Erwin, for everyone who doesn't know, is a, uh, is a, a morbidly a- obese. He looks like he's like a, he, a, he always, he likes to compare himself to Ron Jeremy. He's like, I look like Ron Jeremy, which like. But once you take away the dick, that's an insult. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to look. Ron like... Jeremy looks terrible, but yeah, he looks yeah. like a fatter Ron Jeremy. Yeah, you look. Yeah, you look a fatter fucking Super Mario Ron Jeremy looking dude. Right. And so he's like, "Somebody get on the stage!" And so we, <laughs> <laughs> which the stage, by the way, there's no stage. Yeah, it's no. the front of the karaoke yeah, yeah, bar. Yeah. They just turn some of the chairs around. Yeah. The face. So we're sitting there, and it's like the, he's like a hypnotist. And he's going through all these like motions, you know, he's like, now I want you to breathe in, breathe out, close your eyes. And we're all sitting there and he's got like some stupid music playing and he's giving you commands, but they're like preparation commands. They're like, you know, it's almost like you're sitting in like a yoga studio where he's like, lean back, now lean forward or whatever. And he goes on, he does. So you're thing. doing it, right? Is everyone, is yeah, everyone you're going doing up? it. You're like conscious. Yeah, we're all on stage. Okay. Yeah, so there's Jordan. no one in the audience right now. No. Uh, halfway through this, like two like black dudes came in and sat down and, uh, yeah. So we're on stage. He's like doing all this, like, you know, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And then eventually he goes like in sleep and he like pushes your head down. And then that's when you realize like, Oh, I'm supposed to be hypnotized now and I'm not. (laughs) And like, you know, he's like, now you, uh, cluck like a chicken or whatever but you've already been listening to him tell you to do things and then you realize like i'm supposed to be hypnotized and you're like cock a doodle do <laughs> you know like you, know, like, you don't want to like ruin this guy's fucking do you think anyone was hypnotized the girl was really and i had to like reach down her shirt at one point he like made me sexually assault her Jeez. as part of the hypnotism which i was fine with yeah 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 it's That's not, part of the act. It's not illegal if it's, you know... If under hypnosis. Your honor. I was under hypnosis <laughs> when I sucked <laughs> off that seven-year-old kid. <laughs> the, the hypnotist. Do, 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 do. The bravest thing you can do as a woman is to put pictures of your vagina on Instagram. <laughs> but you just keep the, doing it until they ban you. Make a new account, post your, your titties, your pussy. Or just DM us That's what them. Harriet Tubman would have done. Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Susan yeah. B. Anthony. That's right. They all would have been nude on Instagram. Aunt Jemima. Aunt <laughs> <laughs> and so there used to be a place in Philly called uh, Chink's Steaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I remember one of the first time I saw it, I was like, that's got to be somebody just fucked up. You know, well, it was just a guy. It was just like some Italian guy who had like small eyes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's literally and i'm not yeah. even being funny that's the story he looked sleepy that's what the description was on the website and then they finally changed the name to like joe's or something in like 2012 yeah it was like a big fight yeah which goes to show you you can be a little more racist towards asians and no one really yeah well how funny is it that they changed chink steaks before the redskins yeah <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> that they got the chink, they got the chink Joe <laughs> before they got the Dan Snyder. Phones. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is, we'll be doing one of these every single day. Yep. Until, Twice a day. Uh, yeah. Until one of them sounds good enough to actually put on one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We just so these are in a vault somewhere. <laughs> we never so even fucking my, my private collection. <laughs> you're uh, your print. You're the prince of podcasting. Yeah. Uh, prince of prince of podcasts. <laughs> um, but that should do it. That's like 40, Hell yeah, 45 bitch. minutes. Uh, nobody's gonna listen. Thank you for checking into Come Town. Check yeah, Come Town every week. 
um, for at least probably two weeks, three or four, two weeks. or three weeks <laughs> yeah. before I have to sell the podcast equipment <laughs> I have to make rent to pay the Chinese people <laughs> I owe money to. Uh, all right, thanks, folks. Jamie for... Kilstein, <laughs> real hip hop, <laughs> blaka blaka blaka, real hip hop. <laughs> Yo, this is a message for the bumba clots out at the NRA. If you're an NRA bumba clot. <laughs> I got I got a kale sandwich for you, pal. A knuckle kale sandwich. My, a gluten free knuckle sandwich. That's that's not funny, dude. My dad had a bumba clot. Um, oh no. <laughs> was it benign? He needed it removed. He needed his bumba clot. His bumba clot removed because it was clogging up his bumba. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen daggering? Do you know what daggering yes, is? Hell their yes. form of dancing where they like jump dick first off a table and like <laughs> smash their dick. It's, yeah. it's, it's like WWE. It totally is. But it's dancing. You would think it would be like Gold Dust's finishing move. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. just leading no, straight. No, have you seen it, Adam? Do you know about this? Um, what what is this again? Gangnam Style. Yeah, <laughs> Gangnam yeah, Style. Yeah. Uh, daggering. Daggering. They call it daggering. It's yeah, like yeah. it's like a dance. I haven't hall. seen it. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's just like very aggressive dry humping is like mm -hmm. the dance form, but then they're doing shit like jumping off balconies, like crotch first, <laughs> <laughs> they just slam their dick into a woman's face and she'll like collapse mm -hmm. under the ground. So good. That is it's how, cool. that is how Bob Marley died. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I had it done, I'd never been penetrated rectally and it was an old man Nice. and he was like, I'm going to have to give you a rectal exam and then when they touch when they press the prostate it feels like you need to pee really bad yeah yeah but i, I didn't feel that i didn't feel anything except what the fuck that was the only experience that means you're i had gay. yeah yeah what i meant to say was that it uh, felt good <laughs> uh, Fag which trick. one, which if one it feels that one, good that's, that's, that's straight too. Yeah, i was lying i yeah. was I, whichever one you guys <laughs> felt that was that's my answer no, I, just, I made a noise. I was just like, I did a... <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, that's normal. I was like, huh? <laughs> when he did it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, fuck I, my I pussy. I picked my pants up off the floor. <laughs> <Fuck> my ass. <laughs> and I came fuck into it. my pants. <laughs> fuck my ass. I had my pants off, but I found my pants to come in them. <laughs> nice, and then I man. put them back on the floor. Do the cam girls Chatter bait is like cam girl. Yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, people take off their clothes and masturbate on camera. And you I can love jack it. Off to them. That's and, cool. Which is like already sad enough to do. I mean, it's like a step beyond just looking at porn for me is that I'm like, all right, I guess I'm going to jack off. To you want to know it's a real person. Yeah. This you want to feel the fucking desperation yeah. and the fucking this woman yeah. that got fired from Barnes and Noble <laughs> in Colorado. So now I'm watching her masturbate on camera. She's not even half of them are like lesbians, too, which is like it feels even worse because oh, I've never yeah. been into like lesbian porn. But especially when I know it's like actually somebody. Really? It's a lesbian, and it's like, you don't want me beating off to you. Um, you don't want anyone they really beating don't. off they, to you. Dude, <laughs> I have one of the gayest childhood <laughs> memories. I was such a fucking, I, like, whenever someone, like, I feel like all little kids, when you tell them specifically not to do something, yeah. they just want to do the fucking, you know, the app, want to do the exact opposite. And it was, <laughs> my parents had uh, the don't show your privates to a stranger conversation oh, yo, we, in that phase yeah, yeah, yeah continue your thing. and i was hanging out with like this kid this the next door kid this i think his name was like who gives a fuck uh he was my neighbor in baltimore when i was growing up and i asked to see his dick when i was like six years oh, old no, no, mine i was, was like different. i was like so uh do you want to <clears throat> show each other our privates <laughs> <laughs> My and he was like, no, thank you. <laughs> thank God that kid wasn't like some weird. I would have been gay yeah. from that. point. I would have gotten. See, but that's just your memory contorting what actually happened. Yeah, yeah it was cool. actually a 30 year old man. Yeah, and I sucked <laughs> And that's dick. why you have that Instagram account. <laughs> and that's why. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be gay. If Happy dad. Mother's Day. <laughs> to ever, all, the, all the single moms out there who have to bat away their son's erections. <clears throat> Put on yellow. Do you guys get locked in on Jerkin? Uh oh um yes but I had one time I like dead bolted the apartment um, <laughs> so they couldn't like, come into their home <laughs> yeah yeah I was like a latchkey kid so like my mom wouldn't get home till like seven so I had I'm in between ten and like thirteen it was like okay well I get home at two forty five. And then I masturbate until six, <laughs> six fifty nine p.m. <laughs> and then my mom comes home. Uh, and then there was, but you know, it was occasionally she would come home early or something. And there was like, 
one afternoon where I just had like everything out, like the whole like setup. I oh, think yeah. I had like a, a like a back massager. I was like using to jack my dick <laughs> off, like, and... rubbing your balls with it while you beat off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got, like vibrating yeah, your yeah. taint. Yeah, I was just got like chef or like her rosary beads in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, just a second. And she's like, the dope door is dead bolted. So she's like screaming through the hole, like, what are you doing in there? Why, why can't you open the door now? It's like a small apartment, so there's no way. I, like, I'd be like, oh, I have to walk all the way through. And I'm like dropping shit. It was like banging against something, the vibrator, or, like the back massager. It's like hitting the bed frame. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was embarrassing, but never walked, uh, never walked in on. My it mom walked in on me, and she like, she saw it, and then she goes, "You know, you, it's very late. You should be, you should go to bed." And then she started laughing and left. Really? It was the worst. She like looked at your dick. I don't know if she saw. I was just like, she licked oh. her lips. I like turned around and I was like, "Oh, my ass was." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, I got walked in on like. Three weeks ago, by your I was mom? at my grandmother. She, <laughs> my fucking, she, I was just as like, a man, huh? As a man, dude. as a man, as a fucking twenty-seven-year-old man, right now. Uh, my grand, I was, I was home for Easter, and my grandmother like never leaves a room, and I'm just beating off with the door open. Or no, the door is closed, but she never leaves a room, and she just like ba- completely uncharacteristically barges in to give me like Easter money. <laughs> She's got like, I'm just like, like ten dollars straight up cranking my <laughs> hog. There is no doubt it was just, just leave it on the table. <laughs> there was no. She's like, oh, I'll come back later. <laughs> no, no, no. Put the money down. <laughs> Put the money down. I am just beating off, dude. Like a computer, you can hear the porn. That's She's great. Like, yeah, dude. My, I had a friend growing up who was like Venezuelan, and they were like weird. His family's Venezuelan, and he's like. Yeah, my dad taught me how to masturbate. Like, his dad, like, instructed him how to do it, and it would, like, buy porn for him and shit. That's and nice. so his family was, like, very sexually progressive. They just accepted that their son had to masturbate. And, like, uh, he would just leave the door to his compu- the computer room open. And it wasn't, like, a big house or anything. It was, like, there was the kitchen and then the stairs and then, like, the room where they had their computer. And you have the door wide open, and his mom, like, would just be walking by, and he would just be, like, masturbating. <laughs> And we'd come over, and she'd be like, oh, yeah, he's upstairs. And we'd go up there and be like, hey, guys. You know? It's like dick out, just beating off. And that's a part of their culture. Now, we have Seth Cockfield here with us. Oh, he, uh, that's actually uh, Seth Dickfield. <laughs> I'm sorry, Seth Dickfield. Seth Cockfield is a different guy. <laughs> okay, I see. Uh, this is a, you're a different – I'm sorry. I uh, and there's no relation between the two of us. Uh, it's uh, the, uh, any oh. any 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 you know uh, similarities is a complete uh, coincidence. <laughs> uh, for My all, mistake, all Seth. legal purposes, you can't say that you know uh, this is just a cruel impression of a guy I'm not particularly <laughs> friends with. Seth Dickfield. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We have Seth Dickfield here with us. Oh boy, if I am. <laughs> Seth Dickfield did not uh, the guy, the Jew from Family Guy. Uh, <laughs> We also have here uh, a very respected blogger, uh, Lindsay East. Lin- Lindsay Eats, everybody. Uh, I have been a fan of yours forever. Uh, hopefully you know how to speak. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, well, I, I don't think you're going to be on. able to sustain that for 30 minutes. <laughs> More Jabba da Cuckoo on Solo. <laughs> oh, no, Lindsay had to leave. She, uh, oh, she had, to, a... she had to get out of here. <laughs> oh, no, see you, Lindsay. Oh, good, Adam's back. Oh, Adam's What's back. up, yo? Hey, Did Adam's you guys back. see, uh, was that uh, Jabba the Hutt? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh. I don't think it was. <laughs> oh, it was Lindy West. Oh, okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. Lindy West. Um, well, I'm so glad to be here so we can talk about oh, Seth Dickfield. <laughs> about Seth, Seth Dickfield. You know Seth? Coming. Yo, Seth Dickfield and I go back. <laughs> oh, wow. He used, to pro- he used to protest outside my synagogue when I was growing up. Oh, yeah. For and they're not Jewish enough. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is Seth Dickfield. <laughs> I'm not Jewish at all. I, I just talk like this for some reason. Well, Seth, I'm sorry, Adam. Please stop. I actually, I I've been circumcised three times. <laughs> My foreskin keeps growing back. I keep having you know, to get it removed. 
<laughs> my neighbor got. Yeah, I know it's a real thing. It happened to me. What? I've had my I had my dick completely cut off once I learned about feminism in 2013, <laughs> and I became woke, as it were. I had sure. I said I said cut it off. I don't even want to. Uh, 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 be associated with these rapists out here. I want my dick removed. That's so progressive of you, uh, Seth. Yeah, now, you know. You where wanted. Did, what, what happened to your dick? Well, where'd it go? Um, I mailed it to the Republicans. <laughs> I said, you can, you, pal, you can go ahead and keep it. That ought to show them. You can go ahead. You can put this with Andrew Jackson and the rest of your dirty money. Your move, Republicans. I had. Yeah. I paid for it with the new Harriet Tubman 20s, the oh, dick wow, removal that, surgery. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you. That's great, Seth. And I understand. I st- it's crazy how long Nick's taking in the bathroom, but I understand that you had I hope, something. You know, I hope I hope he's getting beat up by a trans person in there. Oh, yeah, that's what you want? That's what I want. I want all the bathrooms to be filled with trans people, and they're yeah. all free, and you don't have to tip. <laughs> great. Well, that's good to know, Seth. And you want them to commit acts of violence against cis white men. Is that correct? Absolutely. I think, I think that's the only way to restore justice. <laughs> Is if, uh, you know, how about we start uh, lynching these, oh, these straight lynching. white guys out here. Lynching what do you a little consider extreme. yourself to be? I, a hero. I consider myself a hero. You but if you're talking about your my gender identity? identity. Oh, I, well, I'm, I, I love girls. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I love them. Oh, I want to, I want to kiss them and hug them and take them out on dates. <laughs> what are your pronouns? Seth? Uh, uh, Seth. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he, him, her. Uh, he, him, she, her. Oh, G- Jim, oh, yeah. they, him, her. <laughs> they, sort of a fee. mixed bag. So yeah, whichever yeah. you know, whatever I'm feeling at the moment. Which you, uh, here's what I do: is I go into the movie theater and I say, "Do you have a military discount?" <laughs> <laughs> and if they ask for the ID, I say, "Never mind." <laughs> so I guess that's what my identity is. Wow, <laughs> I see. <laughs> That is a, a very intricate gender uh, construct there, Seth. But let's – you mentioned the movies. Let's get right into it, Adam. Uh, we're not yeah. just here to gab with Seth. Oh, he, Seth Seth's a big uh, film nut, right? You're a big film uh, buff. Absolutely. <laughs> your, absolutely I am. What's your favorite movie there, Seth? Feminist Ghostbusters, hands down. It's not even out yet. <laughs> I'm so excited it? about it. No, I mean it doesn't come out till this summer. How do you know People, it's your favorite movie? Well, because I've been blogging about I've been talking about it for for uh wow, well, let's see, when did they announce it? Seven and a half years ago? I think so, yeah. I've been talking about this. Mm-hmm. This movie that's gonna change everything. <laughs> We're gonna get I, I mean, I used to like Hillary, and then I found out that it's cooler to like Bernie. So that's <laughs> okay. that's who I support now. But okay. feminist Ghostbusters all the way. Great. What it, I think we should remake every movie, but with girls. <laughs> girls, huh? They should make a what girl are your favorite, version. What are your like? What are your top five? Girl movies Titanic. That they should do girl Titanic. Girl Babe Two Pig in the City. <laughs> girl Sex in the City. Girl HBO's Girls. <laughs> So you don't think there are enough women in HBO's Girls? There should be... How many are there? There's four? There should be 72. What and about then it sends a message. What's that? To the terrorists. To the terrorists. <laughs> well, none of them are virgins. What though, about so. Girl Gary, Girl Ross? <laughs> <laughs> that would be my favorite movie. Girl Gary, Girl that. Ross. I think David Mamet should be sent to prison <laughs> for using cuss words. You know what I call him, Seth. <laughs> But using such a <laughs> using cuss words, huh? You know what I call David Mamet? <laughs> David Mamet, because he doesn't he, use that's right. Is he that Zosia put... Mamet's father? Uh, yes, that that's, that's, that's how I. That's, <laughs> <Mamet's> <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. That's how I would describe him. Yo, did, you, did you guys hear Eric Trump's dad is running for president? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know Eric Trump. Are you talking about uh, what was their fucking name? Ivanka. Ivanka. Okay. Well, oh, I, I want to fuck. Ivanka I have to so go, bad. everybody. I'm Seth, late, no, I'm Seth, late for would, an impromptu bris. Would you fuck <laughs> Ivanka? Uh, I I don't. I would never fuck any woman. <laughs> you know. I mean, I would respect a woman's vagina with my semi erect penis. <laughs> but I would never. Off. I would never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you do off, now? Seth? How do you it have feels? sex now that you don't have a penis? <laughs> I just You've had complain so into the hole, and I listen to the sound of my own voice <laughs> echoing back out until sort I Sort of come. like a shell. Yeah. Kind of yeah, 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 yeah. It's like listening to the ocean. <laughs> well, Seth, so nice. Oh, is that Nick? Well, Nick, are you back already? Oh, here I am. Oh, so you just missed uh, Seth. Oh, I missed Seth? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Me dude. and him are best friends. Yeah, I see Seth. Yo, uh, Seth's cousin's Dick here, though. Field. <laughs> oh, no, is he? Who's Seth's cousin? Uh, Deaf. 
Uh, Dick Field. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Winter, Winter Day. <laughs> it's me, Dick Field. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I just want to give a shout out to all the POCs out there. <laughs> All my work mutuals. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, you, you think it's not fair that you can't say the M word? I can't even hear the M word. <laughs> that was my dad's joke when I told him he, he'd never heard the term plot synopsis before. <laughs> when I was explaining the plot synopsis to a movie, he's like, what the fuck is a plot he's synopsis? He's never heard the term plot synopsis. No, he's like, it, it's just what it's about. That's the, the what happens in the movie. He would never say plot synopsis. Mm-hmm. So I said it to him one time. And he's like... That sounds like a like a Greek like film professor, like George Plot synopsis. <laughs> Plot synopsis actually does yes. town at the top of the Empire State Building yes. in the new Anthony Cumia Studios. Yeah. We are live from the Baba Booey Studio yeah. in the torch it's, of the fucking you get Statue there of and Liberty. You just uh, the button to get to the new Anthony Cumia Studios is just an N. <laughs> I don't know if Dundalk guy would make that observation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't never been on a train. Too many <laughs> different kinds of Mexicans on there, yeah. <laughs> they got too many different types, yeah. Too many flavors, yeah. I know about Puerto Ricans, and I know about Mexicans, and that's it, yeah. I ain't learning no Ru- Uruguayan motherfuckers, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always that's funny when they have like spe- like when dumb shitheads like that always have like a like one or two really funny lines. Oh yeah, yeah. Then you're like, how dumb are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clearly. Well, that's, that's Walt basically. Remember? Walt oh yeah, Walt. Oh man, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we we bring up like um, I don't want to call him a shitty he, he a shitty comic because for for where he is. And yeah, he's he's shockingly talented. He murders. He fucking yeah. murders. This in, Dundalk, yeah, just Walt Ostrowski, bro. Yeah, um, uh, the guy looks like a fucking Twitter egg with a goatee. <laughs> if you put a goatee in the middle of the Twitter egg, and then you give him a Ravens hat and camo yeah. Ravens pants. The first time I met this guy, we did a show together at like in Federal Hill at some bar, one of those Color Me Funny shows. Oh yeah. And uh, I go into the bat. He used the bathroom before me, and I go into the bathroom after him. <laughs> And he had taken a shit and not flushed. Oh. <laughs> and it was just, just steakums yeah. floating in the toilet. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to do it like it's at my house. <laughs> I'm going to do it house style, take a dump. <laughs> and I, you know. But now, hold on. Not only did he not flush, no toilet paper next to the turd. <laughs> So he just had shitted and then... <laughs> you were dry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a lot of I'm, I'm going commando. That's not what commando means, Walt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it Rambo style. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. I was in Mexican City in, in Colorado. Mm. Okay. Pueblo, Colorado. Really? And this kid, Jerry Garcia, <laughs> moved name. to uh, to Aurora when we were in middle school. Mm-hmm. And he was like straight, stereotypical cholo. Like, blood in, blood out. Had the unibrow, uh, uh, hair slicked back, always wore wife beaters. Was oddly muscular in eighth grade, <laughs> yeah. Like man body in eighth oh, grade, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah, kids yeah. that hit puberty at like four, and he had a mustache, he yeah, had like the little shimmy mustache. He was like super into like fingering girls, like <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, what am I into yet? Fingering girls. No, but yeah. he'd be like, dude, I'm telling you, man, like Laura's <laughs> pussy gets all wet and shit. And I, I just had a big head, and I was like, I want to see boobs. <laughs> uh, I just want to see their boobies, their lady parts. Oh, scare me. yeah, dude. There were there were these like these kids were just talking in gym class in eighth grade and they were like talking about fucking a girl yeah. and i was just like i was doing the cartoonish like leaning over way too close <laughs> they were talking about sex and they're like hey yo he listening yo he listening he ain't never fuck yo and i was just humiliated in gym class i was like well no i'm not listening i'm not i've never and the girls laughing at me like ah, yo he, you ever fuck yo man i ain't even gonna bring my iq up because you wouldn't man y'all wouldn't even believe me if i told you <laughs> and i was like What's your IQ? And he goes, and he's like, 472. <laughs> <laughs> what a dipshit. And I had nine beers, and then I took a beer. Somehow they just let me take a beer with oh, me cool. from the bar, nice. which is not, I don't yeah. know. So I'm driving, and Joe's trash, too, and I'm like, I have like a tall boy <laughs> on my lap. And then I I pass by this cop, and I'm like, immediately I'm like, fuck, shit, fuck, your cop, fuck. And then the cop's following me. I'm like, shit. And then I like, there's a red light, and I like pull halfway into it, like while the light's still red. I'm just like fucking up. I'm like, God damn it! And then Joe's like, Just take a left here, take a left here. And he's like, You know, in my ear. And uh, light turns green. I turn left. I've turned left onto like a divided highway. So I'm like going the wrong way down the divided highway. And Joe's like, Just jump the curb. Just jump. The, just jump the curb. And I'm like, I'm like, No, man. I'm like, This. I'm fucked. You know. 
So I'm like, I'm going to jail, and I fucking just pull off in the first side street. I put my hazards on, and I'm like, I can't believe this, dude. I'm fucking. Wait, the cop light lit you? I pulled over first before he could light me because I had fucked up. So I put my emergencies on. I just pulled over, and I was waiting for him. And then, you know, I, you know, I threw the hazards on. I'm like, I'm going to jail. I'm fucking going to jail. But then the cop pulled up behind me and threw the hazards on. And then, like, somehow he comes to the window. I'm like, I can't believe this shit. And I roll down the window, and the cop's like, hey, how you doing tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm real sorry about that. And then, like, me and Joe were just, we did, it. first of all, a lot of it is just white privilege. But, yeah. like, uh, you know, immediately I was like, yeah, fuck, I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, I'm driving him home. He's giving me directions, and he's fucking trashed, you know, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, Joe's, like, screaming already, you know? <laughs> he's, like, just hamming up how drunk he is or yeah, whatever. Yeah, cool. And I had, I had given the beer in Perfect. my lap to Joe beforehand. He just poured it on himself and crammed it under the seat. So the cop's like, okay, so you know why you're pulled out? I'm like, yeah, obviously. He's driving the wrong way down the thing. He's like, okay. Uh, he's like, have you been drinking tonight? And I was like, I had, like, two beers, you know? Um, I was like, I had one with, like, dinner and then another one, you know, just right before we left the bar. You know, but I'm not like drunk or anything. He's like, okay, well, can you get out of the car just so I can make sure all that smell is coming from him? I was like, yeah, sure. And then still in my head, I'm like, I'm going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. And so the cop brings me around behind the car and he's like, just hang tight for a second. And then he like talks. Just goes and just beats the shit out of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to whoop your drunkard friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Um, yeah, so they talk to Joe, and they come back over to me. And the cop looked just like David Bowie. Oh, weird. <laughs> he looked like a butt, like a jack David yeah. Bowie. Yeah, yeah, Like a cop David He's Bowie. He's like, Major Tom the Grand yeah, Control. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a couple of black guys wandering <laughs> around the back of the bank. <laughs> Young Americans. <laughs> they were black, and they were driving. Yeah. And they deserved it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so this cop looked just like David Bowie, and like drunk part of my mind is like, tell him he looks like David Bowie. Oh, he'll think that's man. he'll think that's like cool. You'll ingratiate yourself to the cop. He's gonna be like, oh, for real, man. Oh, <laughs> yo, I love that the dude. Star Child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, luckily, I didn't. You know, he was like, okay, like I, you know, I do smell alcohol. And he's like, you only had two drinks, and he's like, are you telling the truth? And I was like, yeah, it was two. It was like one with dinner, and then one just now. He's like, okay. He's like, I do smell a little alcohol in your breath. I don't think you're lying to me. You know, if you'd said you hadn't been drinking, then we'd have a fucking issue. But, you know, he's like, uh, I'm going to let it slide. So he's like, um, what you want to do? And he, like, brings me back to my car. And he's like, you just go around here, you know, uh, take a right. And then, you know, make sure you get on the right side of the road, you know, coming around. I'm like, all right, thanks. You know, and then he, um, I'm like, just sitting there with Joe. I'm like, holy fucking shit. I can't believe that worked. And as I was saying that, the cop was like, ah! He was back at the window. He's like, yeah, you forgot your ID. You know? oh. And I was like, thanks, man. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I really have no idea how I got out of that one. Holy fuck. Yeah. I was, uh, when I was 16 or 17, we did mushrooms. Yeah. Me and my buddy did mushrooms and we ran out of cigarettes. We just ate the mushrooms. We were like, we're going to need cigarettes. Because when you trip, when I used to trip in high school, I used to love to smoke. <laughs> like two packs. Uh, you must have been cool as hell. Is that oh, one? dude, I was so much sc- pussy. Actually, I wasn't. <laughs> I had sex once in high school. And that dude, was it. But um, nice, dude. Dry fucked a lot. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I on. came in my pants a lot. We we figured it out that's I, what first base is. It's a walk. <laughs> if you come in your pants. Oh yeah, I walked. <laughs> it's a, a walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I walked a yeah. lot. Um, I didn't fuck at all. But we uh, so we ate um, we both ate an eighth of mushrooms. Mm-hmm. But I ate mine first. Like probably 30 minutes before he did and mm-hmm. i ate it and then he came over and ate his and i was like yo we gotta get cigarettes and he's like all right but I, his mom dropped him off he's mm-hmm. like i don't have a car i was like drive my car drive my car we'll go get we'll go get cigarettes he's like all right so we're taking like this back way yeah something something and i'm like oh, i'll take it right here and he runs a red light like barely runs a red light fucking cop right behind us we're like fuck pull us over that's how I knew the mushrooms started working because the red and blue lights uh, yeah. on the inside of my car. And this is like dusk. So it's just starting to get dark. And it's like uh, they were like hitting each other. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, he's like freaking out. My, my buddy Mike's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Right. I'm like, just wait. So it's, it's a, a lady police officer comes to the, to the door. I'm like, miss, uh, officer, I'm so sorry. 
this is my car. I'm planning on drinking tonight. And so I wanted my friend to drive it just so I could make sure when I was sober that he could. And I was just like mushroom talking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> like, like okay. Can I see both of your licenses? And I was like, yeah. yeah. We both give her our license. And she's yeah. like, okay. And then goes back and we're melting down. My yeah. and I are oh, melting Christ. down. I'm like, dude, I can't go to jail on fucking mushrooms. I'm going <laughs> to fucking die in there. I can't yeah. do it. And he's like, dude, it'll be all right, man. I don't know. Like, I'm going to. They're going to take my license. Like, she better not look at my pupils. We're waiting for like five minutes, and it's starting to get fucking pretty. Like, are they? What are they doing? Are they calling for backup? Right, right. Yeah, you yeah. just don't know. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. And she comes back, and she just hands us both of our licenses, and she goes, "You boys are having the luckiest day of your life. There was a shooting that we need to report to, so you guys are good to go. And get like, out of here!" Uh, yeah. Like he drove away, and I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. "I'm so glad that four year old got shot today." Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's, apparently there was something at the Batman movie here. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so show, woke. But, yeah, I can't tell if yeah. she likes me or not. I love being woke. Th- nothing on this podcast is woke. We don't do any kind We're of. We're the anti woke podcast. Yeah, <laughs> you should no. call it the asleep podcast. Yeah, yeah. my girlfriend, the sleepy boys. Yeah, yeah. The sleepy boys. <laughs> we ain't woke. We ain't never gonna be woke, bitch. Yeah, yeah. We're sleepy boys. I'm on Xanax. I'm using slurs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using Those slur. Sl- I'm on it. The guy, your boy, boy on Ambien. Tells- Stories about white privilege get me out of conflicts with the police, but I'm acting like it's intelligence. You know what I hate is wiggers. I can't explain why, but there's something about them that pisses me off, just, man. When I hear PC, what I think in my mind is not politically correct, but pretty cool. Oh, yeah? That's how I think. I, yeah, I'm proud to be PC, a pretty cool guy. Yeah. So, uh, last time you were here, you were talking about Lady Ghostbusters. Oh, I saw it. I got it on uh, Torrent, but I donated money to Rain, uh, the ticket price for the movie. So, women that are raped will get the money for the Lady Ghostbusters, which I illegally downloaded at my, wow. to watch at my girlfriend's apartment. That's and, uh uh, it was great. Uh, I did, you know, I mean, I only watched the first five minutes, and then I had to, you is know. Is it true that they uh, that they vacuum them up into their pussy sock? Uh, <laughs> is that how they vacuum the ghosts? That's one hundred percent true. <laughs> uh, that's how exactly how the movie goes. That's good. It's natural, you know. Uh, you know, and uh, what I was more afraid of than the ghosts while watching the movie was uh, the men in the film. Oh yeah, because you know, what's what is a ghost going to do? You know, maybe That's scare true. you a little bit. A man, uh, well, he's going to do the wage gap. <laughs> he's going to do the wage gap at you. So he's true. not going to pay you in, uh, as much money. That that's is true. so fucking And true. I just I heard, don't think that's fair. I heard you know, it is kind of messed up that the four female protagonists of the new Ghostbusters earn the least amount of money out of any actors on that film. That's oh, yeah. true. And that the original true. Ghostbusters were around in the 80s. Yeah. And so even adjusting for inflation, they made way more money. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And the female Ghostbusters had to do so much more work considering the increase of ghosts in New York since 9-11. Like, do you, what, do you have like an EpiPen or do you have like I don't. I don't have anything. I just need the people to tell me I'm a victim until I feel better. <laughs> Please console me. Please, someone tell me how much of a victim I am. No, I mean, if you're allergic to peanuts, we, we need to get oh, like God, some medical my, I feel my here. throat's closing up. I feel, do you have I like feel an like I'm being persecuted. Contact? I feel, oh, yes, it's in my wallet. Here, call my, oh, I hate him so much, but uh, please call my cousin, okay. What's Baltimore your cousin? comedian, R- Ralph Horowski. Okay, he, I'm calling him right now. Bring, bring. Yo. Yo. Oh, yo, Ralph. This what is, the fuck is this shit, yeah? Ralph, why, it's yeah, me. Why y'all fucking wake me up, yeah? Wow, Ralph, how, you just showed up here? That's amazing. <laughs> yo, I was just in the other room taking a shit, yeah? <laughs> Anthony Kumia is my idol, yeah? <laughs> I love the way he be treating them blacks on Twitter, yeah? Dude. He got a real way about himself. Okay, so let's clear yeah, things up right you, now. What the hell are y'all up to, yo? I just had a peanut and I think I'm dying. Oh, my God, this about is, fucking Tom, yeah? Ralph, you yeah. are... A Baltimore comedian. Yeah. And you're also cousins with Seth? Yeah, Seth Seth Dickfield is my Jew cousin. Well, we call him that. He ain't no Jew, actually, bloodline-wise, but we don't trust him because he wear glasses and he be doing he be uh, eating bagels sometimes. He's just a Jew as style. He does it as yeah, style. Yeah, and honestly, that's even worse the way I look at it, yeah, <laughs> to, have, to, be, to choose that type of lifestyle. I can't. You know, my outrage has cured me of my peanut allergy. <laughs> I can't believe you're saying Seth, these uh, things. Seth, Seth you're yeah. back. <laughs> you're back. You're I'm all, back. I'm off the live. ropes, and I've had enough of this bullshit. 
bullying from my yeah, from my sh- my ethnic white cousin. So so Ralph, do you find yourself in this uh, sort of a similar political bent? To yo, uh, first of all, yo, I don't be doing no politics, yo. I'm a moderate, yo. <laughs> That's, I'm on both. So- I see the I see the good on both sides. You know what I mean? Like I say, I say honestly, yo, you want to get abortions, yo? Do that because who trying to wear condoms? I ain't trying to wear no condoms. Yeah. So you get them abortions going, but you trying to be president after you had an abortion? No, thank you, yo. <laughs> you cannot be doing that shit. Like, yo, get them shits, but you can't be hold the public office after you got an abortion, after you fucking killed a beautiful wow. ass baby, yo. Wow. That baby That's could have played third base for the fucking Orioles, yo. I know, first of all, sports should be illegal. Second of <laughs> oh all, my God. all Take it back. never. The A's, never. A's, Ravens, Ray Rice was framed. My other cousin worked at that <laughs> elevator, and he ain't seen none of that shit go down, oh. yo. Y'all ain't see the real tapes, yo. There should be a statue of every one of Ray Rice's victims. Sports should be illegal yo. except for Lady Soccer. Shut up, yo. Wow. Don't, don't, wow. I'm being victimized. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> you know, for, yo, every time Seth be talking when we was growing up, we would just molest him, yo, until he shut up. <laughs> <laughs> S- screw you, pal. Oh Even God. if he, he is doing whatever the <laughs> blackface up, is of Jews right now, sure. and that's incredibly First of all, offensive. I ain't got to no me. problem with blackface. Okay. <laughs> First of all, that's history, yo. How are you gonna take history out the history books? Okay. <laughs> All You've right, never huh? read a book in your life. <laughs> books is gay. I, I love will... books. I hang out at the library and I meet. First of all, yo. There. First of all, I read. Have you checked my Facebook? I read The Giver. Thank you very much, yo. Y'all All see right. that shit? Yo, the apple, in one scene, yo, the apple was black and white, but then it turned red, yo. Yeah, I only read the first three chapters, <laughs> but that shit's fucked up. Yo, that's a metaphor, yo. I'll just learn what that word means. You don't even know what a metaphor is. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's okay, a truck. He, it's a, he's, it, Ralph is an imbecile. He's a grade A imbecile. Why, so then why is he your emergency contact? And why did he show up immediately after you, you know, ate I was, those peanut I told you. I was, uh, I was he has at a the very Anthony fast Camilla car. Studios. I have a very fast car. Yo, that shit ain't street legal. I got six lawnmower engines in there on top of my Ford Turbo Taurus, yo. That's a special kind of Taurus. You got a turbo out Taurus. I got a turbo out Taurus, yo. I got Where a do you spoiler. work? Where do I work? Yeah, yeah. I work out the Sher- Sherwin Williams out Glen Burnie. Oh, nice. Yeah, y'all need any kind of type of paint? Y'all tell me, yo. What I you like need? the Sherwin Williams logo. Yeah, cover the earth. Cover the earth with just, paint. <laughs> hell yeah, yo. That could be the new Cuntown logo, yo. Cover the earth with jizz. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all. Y'all, I took a couple branding and marketing classes over at SS Community College, <laughs> and um, it's got to be strong. Your branding got to be strong, yo. Yo, I'm that's, tired why, of being that's why bullied. our uncle sucked your dick the most. All right. I, I don't remember that. Uh, I choose not to. Uh, I yeah, you don't I just... remember that shit, yo? He would take us to the discovery zone. So you're and saying... whoever couldn't do the obstacle, <laughs> whoever did the obstacle course the slowest got molested. <laughs> that's, that's how you train I champions. Have... That's how you breed champions I out have this fucking asthma. house. Yo. Are you can't... telling me? Okay, look, guys, I, here's my question. Okay, Rain is Ralph, saying, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're implying that your cousin... Yeah. Was molested into behaving Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, everybody knows that's how Judaism started, yo. Well, I, you know, I wouldn't disagree with that. I just don't like the presentation of the facts. I wouldn't say that's incorrect, but you know, maybe I, maybe I chose not to do the obstacle course that fast. Oh uh, yeah, uh, that's the other thing, yo. In the back of the head, everybody knew he liked that shit, yo. No. We would all get together. Right. Is there something wrong guys, with that? Guys, I know that Is there something wrong with that? Yeah, we Please would... explain to me I in know the, we're the least Lucy homophobic Goosey. terms possible. I know we're loosey-goosey here on Come Town, but Ralph, I think you're really <laughs> heading into dangerous territory. I'm just by spitting facts. About your cousin. First of all, the, history ain't dangerous territory. Historically, this is what happened to Seth. He would get molested after the suffering zone because he couldn't do the obstacle course, and we would all sit in the back of the room pretending to be watching Martin reruns, but really we was listening to him like getting molested and calling him gay. <laughs> That's it. Is that like a... I would say so. I like wearing tight-fitted shirts and eating bread that looks like a penis. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, I don't yeah believe, pause, yo. I don't, I pause, don't believe yo. women should have to... Pause, yo. My man gay still. <laughs> that I was... thought you was about to grow out that shit, but I should have known better, First yo. of all, I love women. Yeah, I, right, as yo. Both sexually and politically. Yo, I bet you've gone down on a woman before. One of those tasteful ones that you get on Times Square where they make you look like a ballerina, <laughs> but your head is very big. Yeah, ballerina, huh? I wonder why my man like that shit. 
<laughs> My man like wearing tutus. <laughs> it, no, it's a very athletically demanding sport. Have you ever seen the calves of a male Do ballerina? You just talk? Yo, ballet, everybody knows ballet is just gay stuff. The shit gay people watch to get in the mood to have sex with each other, yo. <laughs> That's how it started, yo. The prince of fucking Russia couldn't get hard, so he looked at men jumping up and down. I, y- y'all think I don't know my history, my motherfucker? I know my fucking history, yo. Punching down, you know? They're punching. I know all about punching, punching down, up. yo. I know about punching punching. Y'all ever get in a fight with me? You're, y'all, y'all only hear. Y'all only hear like fucking ten hits. You only punch down. You only hear ten hits. Well, I hit you. You hit the floor. Me and my boys hit you eight more times while you're <laughs> locked unconscious. Yeah, that's what you hear, my man. So I know a little bit about punching down. <clears throat> anyway, so, yo, this just fucking boring. Yeah, what the fuck? Y'all got any fucking uh, chicken bosses out here? Yeah. I don't have any chicken pasta. I do have chicken peanut- bosses. Chicken box. Bosses. B o x e s. Bitch. Bot. Bosses. Bosses. You don't know what chicken, chicken box boxes? is? Like a boss of chicken. <laughs> yo, I can't be around this motherfucker. Yo, there's too many Jews here, yo. You're Jewish, ain't you? I am. Seth is not. And it's... He it, might as fucking well Seth, be, I yo. just want to talk to you about this I'm not caricature. Jewish. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm a Jewish person. What you're doing, It doesn't Seth, make any sense to me. Listen. I would give my last nickel if I never had... To, well, maybe not that far, but I would... <laughs> I would consider it if oh, I could shit. never have to put up with that kind of... Uh, Do you guys uh, want to smoke weed real quick? I would love to smoke yeah, weed, dude. <laughs> Always I'm smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good, dude. <coughs> this is dank-ass weed, bro. Oh, that's good. Get this that binger out there. Dank-ass fucking weed. Get bro. that binger, dude. Get that binger popping. Hell yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> dude, you see the... <coughs> <laughs> Damn, Nick, stop hitting that shit, dude. dude Nick, look at Nick. that banger, Rip. Nick, dude. stop hitting that shit. Dude, bro. one time Nick hit a banger for a week. Hold on, I'm not even oh, lying to you. No, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do the joint on top of it. Oh, dude, you're savage, dude. Rip. Dude, Nick ah. is so savage. He just hit a banger and then hit. A, <laughs> And then hit a J without even blowing anyway, it out, bro. Well, so I worked a job last week. Can't really talk about it. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what kind but, of job? Uh, uh, I can't talk about it. But uh, there was some work. Yeah, let's say I let's say I did a little thing where I had to wear a costume. He's and in pretend, Ocean's fourteen. I'm in Ocean's fourteen. <laughs> um, I'm in Ocean's nine eleven. It's the movie <laughs> where George Clooney and Matt Damon have to blow up the World Trade Center. <laughs> Ocean's nine eleven. <laughs> that was the guy I worked with. He was like a black nerd, incredibly jacked. I had to like change with him. They're like, all the guys change over here, and everybody else is in shape. I'm like, can I just change with the women? Is there going to be like a shitty body room? But he is. Oh yeah, he's jacked. He's wearing a wife beater that looks like a Gold's Gym wife beater, but it says Goku's Gym. (laughs) (laughs) He's got like a drawing of Goku in the middle where the guy would be living in the wind. And at one point he goes, he looks at me and the other girl and he goes, have either of you ever had the pleasure of watching Avatar The Last Airbender? (laughs) (laughs) Um... Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, but no, he would have definitely fucked me up if I even, you know, remotely laughed at any of the things he said, <laughs> right, which were all great. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, hey, guys. Um, <laughs> hi. Okay, um, so this is... Hey, Brandon. It's hey, us, your friends. Hey, Brandon Wardell. Is, so yeah. I was, because uh, we're boys, I was just wanted to work out new bits that I do. Oh, okay. Well, okay. this is, you know, it's kind of a conversational podcast. Sweet, dude. Okay. Yeah, and, and Can I remember, this something? isn't Vine, so you have more than six seconds to do your jokes that you stole from oh, black no, people. Oh, no, no. That won't, that won't be necessary, my dear man. Um, okay. All right. And here's the first bit. Here's the first bit. Go ahead, um, Brandon. <laughs> so... So Drake, so Drake was, <laughs> please, here's my first bit. So Drake was, uh, t- took a, Drake had a Pokemon, and I said, what kind of Pokemon is that, Drake? <laughs> and he said, it's a, it's a Charbander. And I said, Drake, you're savage AF, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, savage AF, bro. Yeah, you got zero shit. chill, baby. But, like, this fucking guy, he's a piece of shit. His name is Haralambos. <laughs> Haralambos? Haralambopoulos. <laughs> Which is such a fucking stupid name. He's a just one of the worst people I've ever met in my fucking life. 
uh, like a lesson he gave his son was the worst thing, <laughs> the worst thing a man can be. Number one, a gambler. Number two, a faggot. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> as a teenager, I knew this uh, this big fat guy, Justin, that started mm-hmm. walking with like a cane with a skull on it. Hell yeah! And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell yes. Oh my god! Yeah. Does he still have it? Well, <laughs> but it was spelled Jason with a Y. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was Justin, and oh, he, Justin. it had a secret compartment that he would keep cigarettes in, oh, in the cane. Fuck yes! But people made fun of him for it, obviously, because sure. yeah, they didn't was, know about the cigarettes. Obviously. Yeah, well, they, yeah, they didn't know <laughs> they about, about the Newports, how yeah. cool it actually was. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, so they made fun of him for it. So then he was pretending like he actually needed the cane because he was so fat. Awesome. And it's like well, it was like a slippery slope. <laughs> like that's better. <laughs> no, like yeah. no no no. Yeah. I'm not a douchebag with terrible style. I'm medically obese <laughs> and I cannot walk. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a grown man friend that plays Minecraft. <laughs> Do you know Blake Midget? Also, uh, oh hell yeah, one of that's the, his real last name. Blake Midget. I think you should change it to little person. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. No, I wanted because I was thinking I wanted to talk about. Did you see the the story about the the swimmer kid at Stanford? Yes, oh, got six months. I can't. I try not to see that story. And it's Did you like, see the letters? Yes, from the, of course. God, it's it's like every dead. woman I know posted it. Yeah, <laughs> read this powerful letter. This is a must read. Is it's, it? I well, no, it's great. The letter the girl wrote is probably the best thing that's ever been written on BuzzFeed. Unfortunately, yes. someone had to get raped for them to produce anything that's <laughs> in- hard. I don't mean actual retarded people. Mm-mm. I mean fictional retarded people that I've made up to laugh at in my head. Right. Yeah, of but course. who are really silly and goofy and are doing funny stuff. Yeah, you know, but they're not real. It's like a fit, like Homestar Runner. Like, remember how everyone thought Homestar Runner wasn't mean spirited because it was a cartoon with Down syndrome? <laughs> Uh, a font of knowledge. His dad did have a tweet that was like, Brock is going to be enjoying a different kind of foot long yeah. in jail. <laughs> I actually, I did that tweet. <laughs> you did? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I did one today for the, the, I was like, the, the, uh, you know, the bright side of this whole shooting thing is that, you know, all the victims are up in heaven enjoying a different kind of foot long. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 oh my God. I can't help myself. You're going to hell. You're going to hell. If I go to hell, will I be enjoying a different kind of <laughs> different foot Different kind of foot long. There's a guy, there's some old black guy in line at jury duty last time <laughs> that was just carrying a PS4. <laughs> no, I like to believe that it was the box for it the was PS4 the box. he was using as a briefcase, that's, that's which what is it even was. funnier. It, uh, it's, Wait, you know it, what? It's not funnier because it's it's so sad. He's <laughs> yeah. like the guy from The Pursuit of Happiness, except the child died. Guy, yeah. He's trying to get that child back. Uh. It's Pursuit of Happiness <laughs> 2. I got PlayStation. <laughs> Yo, it was a briefcase, though. He wasn't using... He wasn't, like, playing PS4 for a It, it was the PlayStation 4 box that has, like, a handle on it, and he was oh, using God. that as a briefcase. Oh, oh my Can God. Can you imagine... Be, whatever, whatever <laughs> like, court case that is, to have to be the other side of that when you're like, actually... He should go to jail. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I wanted to print up my own Gravedigger shirts with Gravedigger on them and uh, like go to an event, like a monster truck event, and set up a little table and start selling them and see how long it takes before they notice and shut me down. But it says Gravedigger on it. Or, well, it's got Gravedigger on it. The picture of Gravedigger, and then it says Digger Lover. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And you see how many you can. That's sell. pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to be racist towards Chinese anymore. I'm I'm leaving China. You're moving? Where are I you going? Like, I'm moving to Bed Stuy. You're going nice to that place? Bro. Yeah, uh, Bed. Um, like a pretty cool Bed Stuy guy now. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm yeah. in Bed Stuy. Oh yeah, dude. This is. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't really consider myself one of the gentrifiers because it's like I'm not the one paying the rent. You know what Dude, I mean? This <laughs> is where they did do the right thing. And by the way, I disagree. I don't think they did the right thing. Yeah, there was like a shooting a couple blocks from my house the other week, so it's still pretty lit in my neighborhood. It's still like it's still a pretty cool place to live. Gang learn. shit. Gang shit, bro. The gang shit. Uh RIP to Pop Popcorn two seventy. Oh, I miss him so who's much. Who's in jail? Dude, I, I sent you the DMs I sent him right before he yeah, went to yeah, jail. Yeah. Wait, who? Uh, you know who discovered him is uh, uh Will uh Will from Chapo Trap House. Oh, well shouts out. Yeah, that is Will, Will I've, the greatest I've, I've evangelized Pop Popcorn for Popcorn a while. Popcorn 270 on Instagram. This like fat, this little fat white kid, this Eric Cartman. In Kentucky. Like, his, you know what he looks like? He looks like Eric, Eric Cartman with Glenn Close's hair from Fatal <laughs> Attraction. And yeah, he's like, all of his videos are like, 
me and my niggas hanging out smoking <laughs> weed. <laughs> it's like, he with like some other moron and a is, wife beater. <laughs> he is very, plays very fast and loose with the N word. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so funny. And anyhow, he he just got arrested and he's doing 10 years. What? I read, I'll read the DMs yeah. that I sent him. I'll, you just yeah. have fucking nacho cheese yep. sauce all over your my lips. Favorite, my favorite Latarian Milton uh, video is like, I think the third one where they're interviewing him and he's gotten so used to the news in his house that he's just going about his business in the house. He's like, because I like doing bad shit. Leave me alone. And they follow him around the kitchen. And while they're following him, he's making Kool-Aid ice cubes. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. You showed yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I don't so know if I showed you. Funny. Somebody sent me this. This kid uh, who listens to the podcast. Shout out to him. Shout so out. Who? So, okay. Gurr. This is on Trump's page on Facebook. Some woman, Terry... Terry L. Beavis Guthrie. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked. It's, I'm pretty is sure that it's real? real. I'm pretty sure it's okay. real. I mean, it's, as much as I can vet. Yeah. And she goes... Uh, she writes, Mr. Trump... I don't know if you read these posts or not. However, my son Matthew, who was born with Down syndrome, would be honored to tell Obama and Hillary they are fired. <laughs> he will be voting for you, and you are his idol. He's been telling us since he saw The Apprentice that Obama is fired. It would be the thrill of his life to be able to stand next to you and tell them both, Obama and Hillary, you are fired. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so awesome. And then I work on these commercials and like the wardrobe assistant girls are always the worst fucking people in the entire world. They're like, I'm 20 and I kind of just, you know, find my way through life by positive thinking. And uh, so I don't really pay rent. I just fuck people to stay at their place. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's I would the, love to do that. Always. Yeah. I saw this girl that I was dating a few months ago and she said to me, she said, um, yeah, after we stopped seeing each other, I realized that I can fuck any guy that I want. <laughs> so there was really no reason to go out with you because as a woman, I can have sex with any man. Yeah. And I feel like that's the Da Vinci Code. They sh I mean, if they all realize that, then it's over for us, right? No, I don't know. This is us this, personality. This boys? is getting into like shitty black comic territory. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, goes the pussy. You got a you yeah. got a scholarship sitting underneath <laughs> your legs. That was one of Ari Spears' bits where he's talking about how women how a woman not going to go to college. You got a scholarship. You sitting on a scholarship, girl. And he's basically saying fuck your way to college. <laughs> Use your pussy to go to college. <laughs> uh. When I was like in middle school, me and my friends were talking about like, imagine how sweet virtual reality is going to be. You can put on a helmet that'll plug into the Nintendo and then another machine will suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> you can fuck fake women in virtual reality. Like it was just, we never even considered that you could fuck real women. Yeah. <laughs> like, technology is good. When we're adults, we'll, able, we'll be able to fuck robots. <laughs> it just never. Somebody made that. that what age is that though? Uh, like 11. Because <laughs> the age immediately after that 13 is like when you become the most misogynistic you'll ever be. Uh, like I was before pretty... you've actually touched any anything, that's when you like see a, another t child like at school and you're like, go to your boys, you're like, yeah, I would fuck that bitch in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah, some girl is wearing like a training bra. Yeah, it's like a child, like another child <laughs> yeah, at school. Yeah. She has a bar. Yeah, I would sure fuck on. her in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was in first grade, I had a piece of paper with a mark and like a marker. I had written girls I would fuck, <laughs> and then it was just a list of girls in my class. Are you, wait, then, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. And I like folded it up and hid it somewhere oh, in my man. room. And I remember my parents never found it, but I imagine if they did, they would just have to be like. Yeah, I guess we just put this back. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I want to have this conversation. <laughs> idea. Somebody, I forget where it was. I saw it online. There was some comment section where, or maybe it was like Yahoo Answers or something where like a woman was like, is it normal for like, uh, like her boyfriend kept a cup of water next to the bed to dip his dick in after they fucked? What the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to give a bath? <laughs> yeah. To give a penis to You <laughs> reach your cock off in the fucking bathroom, it's dude. It's like a dick cup. That's terrible. He's like putting his dick in. Sick. It's not my fault. Yeah, I don't blame. We ran out of shitty comedians to talk about. <laughs> there's really, there's, you know, there's like three of those guys. <laughs> All right, and there's actually, you know what? You ever, you remember Tom Flood? 
I don't. Tom Flood, I well, I don't even know if you I wouldn't really classify him as a shitty comedian. He was like, "Oh fuck. Mike Diesel." Ooh. How have we not talked about old Mike Diesel? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm glad I remember. Tell that fucking story though. Okay, so <laughs> Mike Diesel is this little fucking he looks like uh he looks like uh you remember that show US Acres? It was the no. uh, it was part of Garfield and Friends. Oh no, I don't remember. Remember this. Garfield and Friends the TV show? It was the yeah, Garfield TV that. show. Yes, and then yes, it would cut yes. to the farm scenes where there was like you know the uh, Roy, the chicken. Yes, and yes, 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 yes. And then yes. Orson was the pig. Yeah, hell yeah. And Orson had three older brothers that were like bully <laughs> pigs. So Mike Diesel looks like the bully pig <laughs> older brother. He's this like stout fucking like I think his real last name is Cucarini. He's just like stout fucking. <laughs> yeah, Mike just real, Diesel. Yeah, yeah. His stage just name. Real, and it's just great if best. you if you do a, a Bing image search for Mike Diesel, the first like three pictures of him. The next one's something like guy deadlifting six hundred pounds, and then the one. <laughs> Underneath that is like three dudes sucking each other's dicks. <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah, Diesel was fucking. Uh, did you not? You don't know Diesel Adam? No, no, no. Oh, you, you met. I I barely met, but I only I barely came. I only came oh. contact with him once at an open mic. Yeah, well, he was great. He was like a pathological liar, and uh, and he but he would tell these stories where they were harmless. You know, he was like that much of a liar. We never right. had to worry about the stories. But he was telling. You know, his act was fucking... He was so happy when the Iraq war started because, like, you know, he would go on stage and he would start doing his Iraq war bit about, like, yeah, you know, George Bush and Saddam Hussein, blah, blah, blah. And then halfway through the bit, it would some at some point he would be like, and you know Ross Perot's over there, like, hey, and he'd do his Ross Perot impression. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you wrote these jokes 10 years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're just cycling these back Wait, in. Wait, you Perot. were doing comedy like at the beginning of the Iraq no, War? No, no, no. I started in 2005. So, you know, two years in. Okay, we're Two years into the war. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so Diesel, he would tell all these fucking lies. And one time he tells this story about, he's like, oh, so I'm at a bar, right? Uh, I'm at a bar, and uh, say anything you want to me. You know, say whatever you want to me. I don't, I don't give a shit. You know, I'm not gonna have a problem with it. You know, he's like doing that one, the thing that guys do where they do the tough guy thing, where it's like, you say whatever you want to me, but if you come <laughs> after my friends, I'll fucking kill you. Right, <laughs> right, right. He's like, say whatever you want to me. I don't care. And there's this guy at the bar, and he's talking about your shit. You know, he's like a shit talker, causing a, you know, a ruckus or whatever. I'm not thinking about it. But then. He steps on my wife's foot. And, uh, and you know, that's just a line you don't cross. So uh, <laughs> so I, I say, you better fucking apologize. And he's refusing to apologize. So I, I grab him. I get him in a headlock and I take him down to the ground. And I get him down to the ground and I, I have him there. And, I, you know, I can feel his life slip out of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. He murdered someone? <laughs> because, because, and so, like, you know... Uh, people are just listening to Mike tell it because he bullshits all the time. They're like, go on. You know? right, right, and he's right. like, yeah, and you know, the wait staff, uh, they said, Mike, we saw what happened. We'll take care of this for you. And so he told a story about how he murdered somebody at a bar and the way he's stepping staff, on his wife. Yeah, yeah. Story. And the bar was like, hey, that's Mike Diesel, famous comedian. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to fucking let him go. Doesn't he have that other thing about the advice? He oh got, yeah, he told another story about yeah. He told this another is... story about being at a fucking bar one time. He's always at a bar. He's always got these like bar stories that he tells. Was it this was a headliner he was working? Yeah, with, he was a, right? uh, no, he was working with a young comic, comic named uh, William, <laughs> uh, really good comic. Everyone knew this guy was going to be big, and uh, you know, he says to me, he says, Mike, if you just took the impressions <laughs> out of your act, you would be the greatest comedian I've ever seen. <laughs> And that was Bill Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is, he still has impressions in it. So, yeah. uh, you didn't take Bill Hicks' advice. Oh my God! Uh, I had a teacher. I had a teacher in high school that was a former LAPD vice cop and a pathological liar. He made up stories. Like we we would fact check a bunch of them. But one of them actually we thought was a lie ended up to be almost true. What, what was it? He. Basically, he was saying that during his time in the LAPD, he worked security detail for like movies, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, you know, I, uh, I was a big fan of Cosby. Uh, you know, we smoked cigars together on set. You know, and uh, 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 I was like, whoa, you worked on movies? He's like, yeah, I was in a couple uh, movies, and we're like, what? 
was the name of the movies that you were in. And he was like, uh, Disco something, uh, Disco something or other. And we're like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, so I don't remember the name. <laughs> he's a, and I was like, do you have the movies? Like, oh, my fucking ex-wife, she, is, she, she has uh, the movie, you know. But yeah, I, we, I, had, I used to have it on tape. But, uh, and then I, it was the first time I'd ever used IMDb. Uh, I looked it up, and there's a movie, there was a black exploitation movie directed by this guy, Fast Black. And uh, it was called Disco 9000. And he was a vi- vice cop number two, Richard Warren. <laughs> he was well, in, that's, that's weird. It's like, this this is pathological yeah, yeah. liars. They'll have one or two stories that are real, but then they're, you, they sound like bullshit like the other ones. Well, right. he, he used to tell us stories that were like, he was like, oh, and then she died in my arms after after dropping charges from the scumbag, beating and raping her. Uh, she, I finally came and it was too late. And I'll never forget that day, uh, April 31st, 1968. You know, and then we're like, so the, my friend was like, yo, there's no April 31st. That's yeah, not right, a day. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Mike told it. Mike, I forget who told me this story, but Mike had said this, said, uh, I think it was Rob Mayer. He told Rob Mayer at a party, he was like, you know, he's like, hey, Mike, how you been? And Mike goes, uh, ah, pretty good. Uh, went fishing with the Clintons on the weekend. So <laughs> he said, he, he, you know, him and his wife went, ah, me and Patience went fishing with the Clintons. And uh, so I guess, yeah, Bill and Hillary Clinton are good friends with Mike Diesel, the booker of Wiseacres Comedy Club. <laughs> the defunct for yeah. six <laughs> years. Yeah, yeah. Wiseacres Comedy Club. Yeah, so they went fishing. And then at the party later, he sees Mike's wife and he's like ah i was hanging out with the clintons uh, all weekend and mike's standing right there and she, you know his wife looks at rob and she's like what are you talking about <laughs> and mike just like you know in the simpsons when homer like is talking to flanders and his brain just like disappears yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. yeah mike just fucking stonewalls him and pretends <laughs> like it didn't happen <laughs> mike one time he invited me to uh he goes uh he's like I want you to... I throw a party every year. It's the only time I do cocaine with my wife. It's at this party. It's called the East Coast Comics Convention. And basically, every comedian on the East Coast is going to be there. <laughs> Which is like... Mike, that's like 45,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> is it East Burning Man? East Coast Comics yeah. Convention. <laughs> yeah, and he goes, it's at my house out in... Uh, he lived out in West Virginia somewhere. And uh, I did I did a show at Fish Head Cantina. Is Hell that yes. it? Yes. Yeah. It was in like Rivera Beach or some shit. The fish head was in a fucking uh, Arbutus or like in Catonsville. Yeah, that's where it was. It was Arbutus. And uh, I'd, so the party was at Mike's house, but after that, and okay. I drove out there. I followed Mike Stork and Cat Malone out to this fucking party, the East Coast Comics Convention. <laughs> And, uh, you know, but I know Mike's a liar. So when he says every comedian on the East Coast should be there, I'm like, okay, like a couple of guys I'm friends with. It'll be a right. party, you know, uh, I'll hang out and have fun. And I get there. There is literally no one. There. <laughs> no, that's sad. It's, it's that Mike. is sad. It is, it is that's Mike sad. Mike oh. on the couch. He's, he's, got, oh. he's in his lazy boy with his fucking legs up, and he's got a fucking afghan draped over his legs. And he's petting a shitty old dog, and his wife's like, um, oh, uh, come on in. you know. And Basil White is asleep upstairs. And there's a fucking cat eating like uh, part of like one of those long catered subs oh, on the table. Oh, that's a nightmare. <laughs> and I, you know, I mean, I had driven from like Baltimore yeah, basically to plus. West Virginia. Yeah, it was like an hour and a half. We drove out there, and that was the night. Uh, yeah, so we're all like getting high and shit, and it was me and Mike, Diesel and Stork, and then <laughs> I think Basil woke up, and we're like. You know, uh, you know how Stork is, where he'll like, yeah. you know, like just go off and he's talking about like neurotransmitters yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're talking about like therapy and shit. And Mike, uh, Mike says at one point, he's like, "Yeah, you know, it took me a long time to find a good therapist, and I, uh, you know, I had a lot of people who tried to be nice to me, and it really took someone <laughs> to just sit me down and say, no, Mike, this is what happened to you, okay? You were fucking raped.'" And, you know, immediately I'm like, fuck you, asshole. And he's, like, reenacting like, the Whoa, scene from that's... Goodwill Hunting or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. fuck you, you know, I, because that's why. Because fuck you is why, you know. Right, right, but right. eventually I just had to accept it. And, I mean, I know Mike's lying. He wasn't fucking raped. <laughs> wait, he, you think he's that's also He's just casually alive? mentioning <laughs> <Yeah>. being raped. <laughs> yeah. as... no, but wait, kind wait, of shitty wait, 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 <laughs> wait. He was doing a scene from a movie? <laughs> well, he's always, like, all of his, because re- he's a liar. So yeah, all of right. his reactions to things are like, 
like shit he saw in movies. Right. Yeah. That's you know, he's like, and then they tried to say my coupon wasn't invalid, and I said, you can't handle the truth. You know, it's like always <laughs> this dramatic interaction with people where he's like, you know, coming out on top. But yeah, that was the best part of this. Oh, and I went down to his basement to get like a soda or something. And so he's this big, fat fucking piece of shit, but he's one of those fat guys. It's like, <laughs> he told Andy Klein one time, somebody was talking about working out, and he tells Andy, he's like, yeah, I've been working out a lot. I'm actually down to 0.4% body fat. <laughs> <laughs> like Ray Lewis in his prime had 6% body fat. <laughs> and he's like, Mike, we can see you. <laughs> Just say that. <laughs> was he, was, he was fat. Point. He was fat as shit. He's <laughs> fucking bigger than Stavros. He was like twice the size of Stavros. Point, He's a point point four. Four percent body fat. Uh, that's so like a no, fucking Auschwitz victim. That's like not even four percent body fat. Yeah, like peak athletes are at eight percent. But yeah. that's not. That's that's a. Cr- that's not even like believable. Uh, yeah. No. I mean, that's very kind of bad. Shit at you. Yeah. I'm down to point four percent body fat. So yeah, I go down to his basement and he's got his little workout area, which is like a bench like an adjustable bench and then just two 50 pound dumbbells <laughs> <laughs> just, whoo, just doing like one fucking swinging curl with his fucking piggly arms and that's his whole exercise regimen uh, fuck. Uh, well that, I'm good I'm yeah. glad yeah I'm we glad I nice remembered stuff. him we'll save Tom Flood for the uh, I'm glad you know it's funny I was trying to like pick my brain trying to think of like a, a, a shitty comic I haven't shit on yet I'd love to maybe next episode we'll get into really deep into Dave Schofer yeah, Dave's He's good. He's a fucking Dave's gem, always dude. been nice to me, but uh, oh. you know, apparently people fucking hate Are you him. Kid- oh, that's yeah. hilarious. Uh, uh, Uncle Dave Doug- comedy? Uncle Dave yeah. comedy, dude. Well, Tom Tom Flood, why I brought out of Tom Flood is because Tom Flood, and it sort of ties into Diesel, Tom Flood was this guy with like, who was severely autistic. He wasn't high-functioning autistic. He could like barely communicate with you, and he pushed carts at like the Safeway down <laughs> Route 7 or something, and he would come to Wiseacres uh, for the open mic, and... Uh, you know, he would go on stage and do his time, but it wasn't jokes or anything, and everyone would laugh at him. <laughs> and, like, but people, <laughs> so half of it was people being comedy, like, we're being dude. supportive, or this is avant garde. And it's like, no, you're laughing at an autistic man. Right, this is right, exploitation. Right. That's all right, it is. Right, For right. sure. And, uh, like, one time he went on stage. And he fucking like dragged. He spent the first two minutes of his set dragging tables onto the from like the audience onto his, the stage. And he lines them up and puts four chairs behind them. And he's yeah. like, "Oh, the 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 uh, 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 the nineteen eighty four uh, NBC four afternoon news uh, broadcast from September uh, you know thirteenth. And he like he's like and uh, like uh, Mitch Douglas sat here and uh, Kate and he reenacts <laughs> some afternoon news broadcast from like nineteen eighty four that he remembers. Members, and it's not jokes or anything. Hell yeah! And I remember Mike Diesel, like he was like, "I'm telling you, if you brought that act on the road, it would <laughs> kill." <laughs> He is a genius. And it's like, no, Mike. If you brought that act on the road. Jesus it Christ. Would kill. <laughs> that is Andy Kaufman level genius. It's like, no, you're you're just fucking laughing and disabled. Oh now. god. Yeah, he's so dumb, dude. Twitey saw, Twitey met him. I re- I, re- I saw Twitey at a party. And he was like, do you know this uh, Mike Diesel guy? And I was like, oh, yeah, dude, I know Mike. And he's like, yeah, I just work with him. He's like saying he's been a comic for 30 years. And like, he's like, I only got four teeth left. But like, you could see all of Mike's teeth. So <laughs> Mike was literally lying through his teeth. Um, which is great. Uh, just two of us today. I'm sorry, seven. Episode seven. Episode seven. We're just, just two of us. We're a little. Our uh, our leader, Nicholas Mullen, is not here. He's actually at a uh, rape joke convention. <laughs> uh, with, yeah, there's a keynote. Uh, Daniel Tosh uh, keynote. Tosh will be in there. Uh, Brock Turner, I think, is Skyping in. Nick is going also to an N word convention headlined by <laughs> Kramer next week. Yeah. <laughs> So it's uh, so Nick isn't here. So, but listen, you're gonna want to stick with us. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What's up? We dumb boys. That's right. We yeah, dumb boys. We Sorry. are dumb boys. Uh, guys, without further ado, Doctor Evil is here. Woo! Huh? Thank you, Stavros. Thank you, Adam. It's oh. a pleasure to be here at Come Town. 
Oh, we're so happy to have yeah, you. Yeah, so I mean, I've been a fan for years, really. For I, years. Yeah, you're too kind. I didn't know you were a real <laughs> person. I thought you were just from movies. Yeah, but. a lot of people make that mistake, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> they think I'm a silly character, but no, I'm real. You're a real person with I'm, a faint Canadian accent. A very faint Canadian <laughs> accent. Yes, uh, a faint Doctor Evil accent. Some people would say <laughs> yeah. it's, it's almost true. like I've I think... forgotten my own personality since uh, 2000. Three years. <laughs> what have you been up to? You've been trying to take over the world and stuff? Still trying to take over the world. That's nice. Really? You haven't That's made a nice. lot of noise. I've gone into startups mostly. Uh-huh. Evil apps. Perhaps you've heard of Grinder. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Tinder, yeah. except it's for spreading AIDS. <laughs> wow. Well, you're Dr. behind Grindr. We make a noise. We them boys, dude. Wow. Online, online account yeah. uh, who I'm mostly worried about yeah. uh it's this guy uh woke bastard <laughs> oh woke wow. bastard you know what i would love to hear about woke bastard but i really have to go to the bathroom oh stop so, yeah, we're in the middle of an interview dude man. i know it's very unprofessional you stop you can't leave us i oh have to go God. i'm so sorry you guys i'm going to go i should be back really soon though all right so. dr i'm sorry you know, Dr. I was wondering, your voice sounds a lot like Caitlyn Jenner. I was just <laughs> thinking. We had the same kind of surgery. <laughs> On your voice? I take the hormones because I like the flavor. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Not this guy. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. It's, it the, it's, it's the woke bastard. It's woke bastard? I'm dead sexy. No, I'm you're not. woke bastard. No, you're not woke bastard. Yes. There's nothing sexy about you, There's okay? no place for that body negativity. To hear <laughs> Dr. Evil. You're, you're too fat to be lovable, okay? That's not true. Being hot is every body type. <laughs> Don't listen to what the patriarchy tells you. Wow, I didn't. Whoa, well, that's true. That is, yeah, that's a good point. I'm what, hot. I'm dead sexy. <laughs> what I don't understand is the difference between fat bastard and woke bastard. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're the same person. I think fat I bastard used... is more uh, like less accepting of his body. Well, exactly. Let me explain. Yeah, yeah. You might not know because you're not. A, even though they weren't, you weren't in the scene. There's a very emotional scene where fat bastard's sad about being fat. No more. <laughs> now I love my body. I love my curves. I know that just because society says I'm disgusting doesn't mean I'm not lovable. Yes, yeah. it does, actually. Take it okay. back. What you should do is get a tiny clone of yourself that might weigh a fuckable weight. Oh, are you talking about a baby? I... Yes. <laughs> so everyone is going to get a clone in your socialist utopia? In my socialist utopia, oh. yes. Everyone gets oh. their own baby. Now they're going to be cool. baby-sized. <laughs> I'll tell you something, guys. If I had a clone, I just would not <laughs> stop 69 with a clone. <laughs> Answer the question. Are they well, going to be baby? That's size? why you get a tiny clone. Oh, oh, it's a giant reach. It has oh, to suck your disgusting. dick, but you don't have to suck like it. Like the size of a baby. Oh, like a shrunken clone. I love eating babies. So, is Austin Powers still at large? Did you, did you win, or did he, he win? I don't... Austin <laughs> Powers has actually been replaced... Uh, there's really? A, I have a new uh, foe powers. by the name of Autism Powers. Autism <laughs> not Powers. Sir. Yes. Wow. He sounds pretty cool. Adam, don't you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> not really. I don't have to go to the bathroom. I mean, I can go to the bathroom. I oh, have a call, look. actually. I'm getting a call. Oh, wow. Adam's really good at improv. Yeah, I'm, going to the, I'm getting a call. I got to go, and then... I'll be right back in one second. I just don't want to be the only host here. Well, just go. We'll okay, hold I'll down go. the fort. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, no. It's autism it's power. Autism power. <laughs> Do trains make you horny, baby? <laughs> Yeah, he's a li lot like Aust Austin Powers, except he's uh, mentally retarded. <laughs> and I have absolutely no sexual desire for women, baby. That's that's essentially what the character is. But you're lovable. Just because just you're retarded doesn't mean you can't have love. Well, hold on a second, woke bastard. You're not allowed to say the R word. <laughs> I'm doing it uh, uh, ironically. Oh, okay, that's fine. Because I'm woke, it's okay. Yeah, baby, that's not very woke of you, baby. I mean, you might want to, you might want to stop don't that, know baby. What the woke is. You barely know how to tie your shoes. Can I? T uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, baby, I, 
I was at home memorizing every line to every episode of Goon Moogles. <laughs> When I heard my arch nemesis, Dr. Evil, was on the Come Down P cast. And I'm here to, to arrest you, Evil. Uh oh. Yeah, arrest him for yeah. his crimes against the blogosphere. I, frankly, I've done nothing against the autistic community. I don't understand the hate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, my baby. Sister. It's Caitlyn Jenner, baby. <laughs> Surprise, girl. <laughs> Here I am. It's an easier impression to do. <laughs> it sounds a lot like Dr. Evil, baby. <laughs> I guess maybe it's very similar, but I'm, uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing. Caitlyn, yeah. you're a hero. Thank you. Can I just say you're beautiful? Uh, I agree with that. You're a beauty. I've had a lot of surgeries to make this happen. Thank you. I'm attracted to you sexually. You know okay, I well, I have to go now, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I thought I was getting somewhere. Yeah, baby. Well, I, I, I have to go, uh, I have to go fuck a train, baby, so... <laughs> Wow. So, so I'm going to go, so. but, uh, uh, woke bastard, uh... It's me, woke bastard. Yeah, keep it, keep it 100. Uh, I will do that. All right, bye. Oh, hey guys, I'm I'm back from the rape convention. <laughs> oh, it's Nick Marlin. <laughs> uh, and woke bastard is also leaving. I've got to go now, <laughs> even though because I hate and because I hate Nick Marlin. <laughs> Fuck, I lost the accent. <laughs> and <laughs> a scene. Or two, they killed a ton of GIs yeah. from laughter. They died well, that's, from laughter. that's that's yeah. that move is actually how the Russians won the 1980 Olympics. The gold <laughs> gymnastics. <laughs> yeah. They coordinated it. Um, Svetlana Sharanka, she, you know, she put out the banana peel and everyone's like, what is she doing? This is going to be fucking ridiculous. And she did. And then, uh, and then yeah, she she pulled it off with her partner, uh, Igor, uh, suck kids go? off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Igor suck kids off. He's, uh, Igor suck kids off. With a V uh, at the yeah, end. With yeah. a V. It's, it's pronounced off, but it's a so That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. My name is Igor suck kids off. <laughs> oh, Igor's here. I'm here now. <laughs> 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 they escaped wow. me into the... <laughs> The audio I, fidelity in my headphones <laughs> is just perfect. Uh, oh no, Igor's gotta go. Oh, no, no, goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon the characters are just gonna be one second, like just the name and then yeah. Bye. Yeah. Oh, good eye, everybody. I'm retarded. See you later. <laughs> Who was that, that guy? Was the Australian <laughs> retard. I've got a good one. Hold on. I gotta go. I've got the trans hatter. <laughs> Hello, I'm the trans hatter. <laughs> You're not allowed to call me ugly anymore. <laughs> it's Caitlin, here. bitch. Here I am, bitch. Here um, I am, bitch. Here we are, the real trans wives of Target bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reality show, one bitch. We're all here in the bathroom for a big birthday bitch celebration. We're cutting Miranda's balls off. There's like a family coming in. They're like, get out of here. We're having mimosas. <laughs> and Target has to sponsor it. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, the Whoa. rape joke convention was great. Uh, Bob Cosby goes to jail. It's like he would be the king there. There's <laughs> every, no way that they wouldn't. Abs him. Everyone in prison would love Bill Cosby. <laughs> that would be the greatest time. Of, uh, his life would end beautifully. People would be bringing him cigarettes and Doritos from commissary or whatever. <laughs> That'd be great. Hey, Bill, how's it going? You're the reason I almost didn't end up in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you just stop with the cuss words. Oh, my yeah. God. Bill Cosby's here, everybody. <laughs> I was at a restaurant oh, with Christ. my wife. <laughs> restaurant? Uh, and she said, if you just stop with the cuss words and the raping God the women damn. and the jalom, the oh, no. pudding. Bill Cosby had to I go. had to go, yeah. I mean, Cosby, okay. It's uh, me, everybody, the oh, other yeah. Bill Cosby. That's better, yeah. The, 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 I'm more of the Cosby that you remember from Why growing are, up as a kid. Oh, Why oh. are you doing an impression of me? <laughs> Right now, <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> All right, uh, Joke Jokar uh, Tsarnaev. He the got Boston. not guilty. No, I just don't think he's guilty. Oh, oh, oh just some, I thought you meant they had a trial and he was <laughs> <No>. <laughs> somehow. I missed that. Yeah, he's not guilty. It's too beautiful. <laughs> no, first of all, you can't be a stoner and be a terrorist. It's not possible. 
That's just, are you going into a Tom Myers <laughs> yeah, are bit Are you now? working out bits? What the <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. are you talking no, about? Let me ask you this. Did, did <laughs> Jahar have a bong hit transplant? <laughs> I mean, you'll be... You listen, you're telling me he's going to hit the bong and then get up and <laughs> do plans? I don't think so. You're telling me my I man's going to take a before. toke? <laughs> yeah, on his way to the, on his way to the, the blueprints, he's going to see a bag of Cheetos and that's it, my friends. <laughs> the most good... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom Myers. <laughs> I think someone that's never smoked weed talking with authority about weed yeah. is the funniest thing in the entire world. <laughs> just, just smashing his massive foot against the ground, like fucking up the recording equipment. <laughs> that Tom had to ask his parents to <laughs> rent for him. I'm a, like, listen, guys. When Bernie drops out, we will be one step closer to Tom Myers eating that pussy. Yeah, well, I'm That's writing. The only reason I'm, I'm writing that in on the ballot. Tom Myers has to eat the pussy <laughs> away from Bel Air, but still, yeah. Any, I mean, anything it's, longer than it's it's one the fact, block. The fact that Tom Myers has a fan. Yeah, it's but just, it's like that makes sense. That that's who would be. The, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like just the most off-brand Reddit guys. <laughs> like not even cool in the Reddit world. Yeah, would he? <laughs> Like he he's intimidated by guys that wear bazinga shirts. <laughs> like he's like, oh, they're looking at me. I hope they ask me to sit with them. <laughs> Holy shit! Imagine being on the low end of that totem pole, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that's the worst. Oh, remember that Mexican Reddit guy we <laughs> yeah, saw yeah, at the yeah. pool hall? Yeah, no. yeah, he was uh, wearing a fedora and a bazinga yeah, shirt. Yeah, we were shooting pool like a year ago, <laughs> and there was this fucking guy. Uh, it was like a Mexican guy with another Mexican guy, and he's wearing a bazinga shirt and he's got a fedora on. They're speaking Spanish. And to I think each he other. was vaping. Or he was, there was another element. Yeah, there was a third element. Like suspenders like vaping or vaping or, or something. Yeah, there was a third Reddit and stuff. I was like, this is just like a Mexican Reddit guy. <laughs> And we're, he's just speaking Spanish, so the whole thing's like, yeah. eh, Los uh, Feminismo es eh, uh, cancera. <laughs> El Feminismo. <laughs> it was awesome, dude. Es es una cancer. And the guy with him was just like in a, like, just Mexico soccer t-shirt. Like, it was just, he was clearly just, I don't well, know, Mexico, it was, it was incredible. Yeah, he got bullied out of Mexico. Yeah. That's why he came here. He, he had made fun of so hard in Mexico, he had to come across the border. Teens harass people. Oh, the best. I was on a, a, um, a bus when I was like 17, and uh, there was these three black teenagers uh, harassing this middle-aged black woman who was like kind of overweight, and they were just making fun of her feet. Oh, and, you, yeah. like, and so they're like, uh, ah, bitch, your feet look like Shrek 3. <laughs> like, just a, a, a woman they just a, wasn't talking yeah, to? Wasn't her talking to oh, Like, bitch, your feet look like Shrek 3. <laughs> your toes look like fucking rotten grapes. Oh. And she's sitting there and just like, you know, stoically looking ahead, trying to ignore them. And there's like tears streaming no. down her face. Like Holy Denzel shit. and Glory. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no. And that was like a classic moment of bullying. <laughs> That is some fucking very good shit. Like Scarlett Johansson, they cast Scarlett Johansson. All these idiots on Twitter are like, "Um, here's who you could have cast instead. That's actually Asian. Uh, uh Bob Bing Lao, uh, Lin Zhao <laughs> Xunzhe." And it's like, <laughs> who the fuck any of these people are? <laughs> it's like, see, yeah, it's like, I know who Scarlett Johansson is. Maybe I'll go see this stupid fucking anime movie if she's in it. I don't know who. Oh, Ching Chang Sally. It's like, I just, <laughs> Ching Chang <laughs> Sally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was on a TV show in Korea in 1992, <laughs> so she should be the star of this blockbuster movie. <laughs> yeah, that one's going to get me in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we should just send that directly to your girl, Sadie. Yeah, Sadie should find out about that. You need to apologize to Sadie about being racist to Asian people. Do you know the rule with, like, uh, Mary Cohn and Cabron? Mm -hmm. There's, like, the two of them. This Peruvian guy told me, like, ten years ago, but he's like... You know, like, if you're friends with Mexican guys, you can call them cabron. Like, that's like a term of endearment or whatever mm -hmm. among them. He's like, but don't call other South American or, like, other Spanish-speaking people cabron. Because, really? like, cabron apparently just means, like, top faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want to be a yeah, cabron. Yeah. Right, right. And then maricone is, like, the bottom one. But that's only, Oh, like, you mean top, like, top yeah, and bottom. He's, like, top like and bottom. So ass. it's like, you're like a pimp. If you say it to a Mexican, no, I don't. I didn't check any of this. Yeah. <laughs> Peruvian guy told me. Peruvian guy whose name at a bus station. No, I worked with him. I mean, we took the bus together, but I worked with him. So maybe he did tell me at the it bus station. It was on a bus. It was on a bus. It was a Peruvian. It was a fat Peruvian kid. I love it. And I swear to God, his name was Nick Nolte. <laughs>
<laughs> he told me he wrote that down as his name on a thing, and I was like, "No way, that's hilarious." Like, you put that down. That's a good reference, dude. That that's was not a cool, bad. That was yeah. a solid reference. Sexiest Cape Fear, I love it. And then he was like, "What?" And I was like, "That's." not your name and he was like yeah it is and he was also a pathological liar mm. and he we were i think we were talking about that the other day it's like pathological liars about yeah they about have all these bullshit stories and diesel. then one of their stories will be like real oh yeah, 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 yeah you're yeah, like yeah. you fucking actually oh, beat up a chimp yeah. you know, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, that actually happened for real he's got like pictures of him and the chimp he's got blood all over his face but yeah no so he pulls out his id and there it says nick nolte spelled the same way spelled and exactly the same way that's and awesome it, yeah and i was like that's insane he's like like, yeah, it's a family name. I'm like, well, <laughs> every name is a family. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, That's what does that mean work. when someone says it's yeah. a family oh, name? Oh, well, it's a family name. It means they don't know how to read. Yeah. That's what it means. <laughs> it means they've never encountered another human being in the world. Pool with like things you should do in the pool versus things you shouldn't do in the pool. So it's like someone running and it's pointing at the kid running and it says not cool. And then it's like a guy holding his baby and it says cool. Uh, but every one of the not cool ones is a black person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Is it a real picture? Or is it like no, it's brown a cartoon. cartoon? Yeah, that's. It'd be great so if it awesome. was just because then you couldn't complain if it yeah. was just a photograph someone happened to take of a pool, right? And all the black people had to happen to be doing breaking all the rules. <laughs> you can't help that. That's not the Red Cross's fault. <laughs> The cartoons were all brown. <laughs> it's the white guys who weren't were breaking any of the rules. <laughs> and you know what's funny is like Shackleford, man. Hell yeah. So all these people are mad at the Red Cross. There is absolutely no way in hell that was on purpose. Right. No way. There's no, no way it's at all. Deaf, yeah. yeah. But what's so funny so is, is funny. that they were like, they probably did one draft and they're like, ah, put more black people in there so people don't get mad about us for like not being you know diverse yeah. enough. And then, uh, and then that backfired. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine yeah. if it was some guy who was like, this is how I get him. <laughs> this yeah. is how we set him back. Finally. This is yeah. last day. Their favorite place, the pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's where. It was like when that, that, guy, that guy tweeted that picture, the, the United Airlines account tweeted that picture, the woman with the with toy, the <laughs> toy yeah. plane in her pussy. With the, oh, the plane You remember that pussy. shit? Yeah. That was awesome. Oh, that was incredible. That's the best way to quit your job. I love the auto fucking... When someone has their shit set up for auto retweets, and it's just like, the Beatles fucking suck dick, yeah. and then the Beatles <laughs> thing will just retweet it. Yeah. It's the best shit on earth. Yeah, I love seeing that uh, shit. Corporate man. Twitter accounts are still figuring it out. Remember that? What was the makeup account? There's some makeup company uh, when the Aurora shooting happened in Colorado, <laughs> oh, and they yeah. were like, Aurora's trending. That must be our new Aurora makeup. Line. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Hell and then yes. the makeup they tweeted. Guess what, guys? It was the Joker makeup. <laughs> <laughs> they tweeted the Joker makeup. They tweeted out a tutorial of how to do your own Joker makeup. <laughs> Sit around. If you like freelance or something, mm -hmm. it's great. You bring your laptop. You can like just write. That's awesome. Yeah, you don't really have to do shit. You're in like a scene for maybe like five seconds. Oh, that's cool. Do they feed um, you? Yeah, you get free food. You know, you get your dick sucked. And then 10% of the people there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like 89% of the people are, you know, just like, just. They drop. know what's up. 10% are, uh, you know, trying to be serious actors. <laughs> and then 1% are like batshit insane. <laughs> Mentally course. ill. Just people. like, yeah, there yeah. was this one time I was in, in holding for a show, and there's this woman with like aviator sunglasses on, rail thin, like anorex. It's like very tall, lanky. You know, just veins everywhere. Just a very vascular, creepy yeah, woman. Yeah. She's like hunched over like a fucking gargoyle on her chair. And some guy was like, uh, oh, well, my friend uh, David Richards, he's a writer. He's like talking to somebody quietly. And from across the room, she goes, oh, yeah, I know him. He raped me. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking uh, Yeah, Christ. I know him. He raped me back in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Jesus, I don't know. What are we fuck. supposed to do with that? Yeah. And then they start talking. She's like, oh, never mind. This must be a different guy. And it was like somebody with the same name. or she Was confused. Was he a manager at a Chili's in Newark? <laughs> yeah. The only uh, set job I've had is the one you got me when yeah, we were yeah, truck yeah. boys. Truck boys, dude. Uh, well, Didn't you have a good extra? Well, I was about to tell, oh, okay. I was yeah, about yeah, to tell yeah. an extra story. I forget what the fucking lead into it was. 
I think we were talking about that. Oh, yeah, the Jesus allegory thing. But there was this one guy at that Friends of the People thing who just had, like, 90s asshole hair, you know? Hell like yeah. Bo- yeah, yeah. Like, both of his parents were named Zach. <laughs> <laughs> like, a fucking, like, always wearing eyes odd. Like, like penis eyes haircut. Yeah, that yeah, 90s yeah. penis yeah, haircut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is about. a very, like, like, a very nicely shaped glands <laughs> helmet of hair. <laughs> and, like, nice. anytime they would call cut, he would immediately turn and face the camera. And you could see him on all the monitors and no one's paying attention oh my god just trying to fucking ignore him and uh and then i had to fucking listen to oh yeah so i went into uh uh yeah i forgot what okay yeah we're sitting and holding and one of the producers comes in and like they tell us like okay guys so basically the sketch idea is like i don't want to shit on the show or whatever Mm -hmm. i mean but like they're just telling you the pitch of the sketch so Mm -hmm. it's like even even if the funniest show in the world they just tell you like here's the idea you're like okay you're not going to laugh at yeah, it. Right, right, right whatever. Right. It's just yeah. the, you know. They're just telling you so you know what's going on. It. Yeah, yeah. So he, she's like, uh, okay, so basically the setup is like, uh, <laughs> you know, um, they're throwing a house party and the president shows up, Barack Obama shows up, and he eats all the food. And, uh, <laughs> and again, I don't want to show the show. But, you know. So Why are you prefacing and that? And then this guy, he like leans in. He physically leans in and he's like, oh, wow, that's so great. And I had to like, you know, step out of the room for a second to like you know call him a slur under my breath <laughs> yeah. like laugh at him and I come back in and the producer's talking to him and she goes no uh, President Obama won't actually be here oh my god he thought the president of the United States <laughs> was gonna pop in was gonna do a quick drop in uh, you know, spend a day shooting a sketch where he eats too many Cheetos <laughs> right for true for, TV for true TV Jesus Christ <laughs> but yeah no we were leaving uh, that's so we good we were in like a van back to the city or whatever at the end of the day and like Somebody was talking about something, and, you know, he's like, well, what is your favorite film? And they were like, oh, The Matrix or something. And that guy goes, you know, that uh, that whole story is actually an allegory for Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no that way I'm going children. Union, man. Yeah. No way I'm going Union, bro. <laughs> I've raised nine kids on this. That's so fucking On this funny. parking game. Yeah. Holy shit. No, what jobs. is he feeding those fucking kids, dude? I don't know, man. But production is the funniest job for meeting those kinds of people. Oh, it's the best. The other, the other extra, I did extra work on Blue Bloods. Oh, one yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tom Selleck? Did you see Tom Selleck? No, but I saw Donnie. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. I saw Donnie. Oh, and there was this fucking guy there. This older black dude who was like in his like mm, probably he was probably in his early sixties. Okay, and um, you know he clearly had taken elocution lessons <laughs> or at least knew how to approximate them because you know he's like always had his fucking eyebrows vaulted, you know, like speaking in a you know very like erudite way or whatever. But then bull about bullshit. It was right, always right, bullshit. Right. And, uh, like, the minute I saw this guy when we're sitting and holding, I'm like, I'm going to listen to every word this guy has to say. Yeah. yeah. For, uh, also, a lot of the extras, <laughs> they have their own cop outfits because they do extra work so much. They oh, wow. Just, they go and buy New York police officer <laughs> outfits. I come with my uniform. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what they do because it's like you can get a job as, like... Uh, you know, a, yeah. uh, the guy that's permanently a police officer on the background of like CSI or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So we're there and he finds this girl. Um, I forget her name. We'll call her Gabby. And she was like younger, like kind mm. of attractive, but not TV attractive. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, or she's like, yeah, I'm trying to become an actress. You know, right, like, that's right, what right. I want to do is I'm going to be an actress. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, I mean, whatever. She's 19. So yeah, yeah. she has time to She's like figure out that, you know, don't She's do not that. not going to be an actress. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this Lawrence guy immediately hones in on her because it's someone that he can spew all of his bullshit oh, to. Oh, God. And, uh, you know, like I'm trying to remember a couple of the hits, but, you know, there was a good one in there where he's like, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I show up on these sets and, I, you know, I'm ready to go, you know. And I, I <laughs> one time they say to me, Lawrence, you know. We need you to move up, and we need you to speak a couple of lines in this one. And I say, I'm ready. I can do that. You know? <laughs> uh, but they uh, they give me just my sides, and I say, well, I'm going to need the whole script. I need to understand my character's motivations. Oh what is he feeling God. in this situation? You know, <laughs> like, and the line is like, yeah. Um, has has anybody seen the coffee maker? You know, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, she yeah, just yeah. pokes her head in or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's never. They went any... that way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, I need to know my motivations. And then, you know, it's like everything's like, 
uh, just filled with all this like bitterness. There's like a, a, a subtext of, 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 you know, jealousy and anger. And there's one time he was like, I just heard him and he's talking to her. He's like, and I told her, you know, you know, I mean, next time you're going to be working for me. I'll be producing on the next one. I'll be directing. You know, you're going to be working for me. So, you know, no, you can't talk to me that way. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, I forget who said the line, but my, one of my favorite lines is, uh, I'm going to show them who's never been boss. <laughs> yeah. And I think that applies. I think that applies to Lawrence. But so he's going off about, you know, the whole time. One time he's saying, uh, you know, I've been here since season one. I've been working here on this project together for, since season Season one, it's like you know, you've just been booked as an extra, yeah, for seven years. Now. Yeah, on the show. Oh, blue yeah, 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 on Blue Bloods, <laughs> the show with nineteen granddads where everyone has a mustache, yeah. <laughs> the mustache granddad show. Uh, yes, yeah, no, you know what? So it's like Tom Selleck is supposed to play the major, uh, the patriarch on that show. Yeah, he's yeah, like yeah, this yeah. like cop granddad, and then his son. Like has a son, so he's like the great. He's the granddad, right? And then Tom Selleck's dad is on the show too. So there's another grandpa. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Really? There's like it's there's like, that many grandpas? Nine generations of Irish cops. But the guy who plays Tom Selleck's father on the show is only like three years older than <laughs> yeah, Tom Selleck in real yeah. life. Because that, that math shit. doesn't make any fucking sense. But so yeah. after like a whole day of Lawrence going off about how much you know everybody loves him or whatever. He's talking, he's like, you know, me and Donnie have been working on this project for years together. <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg shows up. You know, nobody's seen Donnie yet. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's Donnie Wahlberg. And he walks by and Lawrence sees him and he goes, good morning, Donnie. <laughs> and Donnie Wahlberg takes one look at this man and goes, been seeing too much of you around here, Lawrence. <laughs> and just walks away. <laughs> Been I'm seeing like, too much. Oh, yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. He's completely <laughs> oh, annoyed. My God. And then he goes, uh, he like turns <laughs> to that girl and he's like, "We play games with each other." Right? <laughs> <laughs> we, we like to joke around with each other. Oh boy. Oh man. Okay. So if we're talking about like career extras, <laughs> I feel. I mean, Tommy Myers is coming up again. Have you guys seen his acting reel? It's the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. His acting reel. Really it's the absolute best. He's it's like, like in the investigation discovery. Yeah, shows. It's like yeah, he's yeah. a priest. And like an investigation, and he discovery. looks surprised. He looks like he learned emotions from like uh, emojis. Yeah, <laughs> he learned how to react to things. Whoa. From, okay, well, I'm supposed to have dollar signs in my eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is the dollar sign tongue emoji all about? I keep, put your money where your mouth is, dude. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. Yeah. it took me years to figure that. I, out. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, Good yeah, for yeah. you, man. So. Um, so, Tom, your motivation in this scene is: uh, I want you to imagine that your character is confused. He's just been hit with all this. Information information about this missing girl I, it's almost like I want you to imagine that you've just had like a bong hit transplant <laughs> <laughs> like that's what, that's what you're doing this <laughs> Is it just a, okay? So Tom, you're so this you're is, in the hospital, Tom. <laughs> yeah, you're in the hospital. You just had a bong hit transplant. <laughs> and the EKG is beeping yeah. next to you. Okay, so there Tom, were complications just, during your bong hit uh, transplant. Yeah. Tom, I, I, first of all, thank you for uh, being a part of the reboot of West Wing. Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. So basically, in this scene, you know, it's a walk and talk scene, and you are there next to Madam President, <laughs> and you're walking down the hallway of the West Wing, and. Uh, uh, and then you know you have to eat her pussy. <laughs> if you can do that for us, Tom. She wants to get revenge on Bill. <laughs> Tom, I want you to imagine. Okay, so pretend like you've smoked pot before. <laughs> imagine you're Paul Revere and you're on pot. <laughs> I think the British are coming, dude. <laughs> the British are coming, man. <laughs> so the. The Brexit. What do you guys? Think? Oh, yo, the, you know that old joke though about the guy that goes to Africa to kill the lion. No, so is it poor, uh, poor old? He thinks it's a Cadillac. Is it that one? No, no, no. He goes oh. out to kill the lion, and and he sits back and he, he unloads. He unloads on like, bang, 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 bang. The dust settles. The lions. The lions still standing there. He, and the lion goes up to him and he's like, um, you know, you missed me, so I'm gonna give you a choice. Like either. You, uh, I'm going to eat you or you can suck my dick. So he's like, all right, I'm going to suck your dick. Right. And then the next, the next, you know, season, whatever he goes out, he sees the same line, bang, 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 dust settles. It's like, you miss me. You're going to have to, I'm going to eat you or you're going to have to suck my dick. And then like the third season, obviously. Yeah. He's like out there and he's like, uh, yeah. Um, the lion like comes up to him and he's like, he's seeing his life flash before his eyes and he look, looks him square in the eyes and he's like. You must really like sucking my dick. 
That's, my grandfather told me that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't make any fucking yeah. sense. I thought the punchline was going to be something like, uh, you want to just skip it? I don't know. I don't know what. But I thought that was like a very well-known old joke. That's like, no, no. I've never heard that. My grandfather told me that joke. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. That was like, there used to be a joke about his wife a, or something. Like a genie when I was like in middle oh, yeah, school. Yeah, and yeah, it didn't, yeah. it was like, what was you it? get two wishes. The first one was like, I want to suck another guy's dick. That's what Mike asked for. That's like the punchline is like somebody being gay being gay yeah. Yeah. but there's a genie involved oh yeah oh, I remember there was uh, there was a fucking yeah I there was another one where it was like a gorilla it's like we'll give you they told this poor zookeeper we'll give you uh, $80,000 to f- get fucked in the ass by this gorilla and he's like or he's like for eighty thousand dollars, get fucked in the ass. And he's like, "All right, I'll do it, but uh, you're gonna have to give me some time to come up with the eighty thousand dollars." <laughs> and it's like that was like a fucking <laughs> joke. I used That's to tell on joke. buses. On, on that one, no, uh, uh, R.I.P. Oh, Harambe. R.I.P. Harambe. You, can't, you gotta plug that. I'm sorry, man. I'm this picture of. Uh, it's like SpongeBob SquarePants, but his eyes are all red, and he's got a bong and like pot leaf behind him, and it's you know it's like Sponge Bong Hemp Pants, yeah. <laughs> Sponge Bong Weed Pants, and they're dying laughing. Yeah. And this one kid goes, uh, "Oh man, I gotta show my dad this. <laughs> my dad'll love this, dude." <laughs> it's like, that sucks, man. That's like worse than if you he was just like, yeah, my dad molested me when I was a kid. It's on par with that. Is that how much of a slip up that was? My dad loves proto memes. My dad loves sponge bong weed pants. The shooting happened. Uh, the Matilda girl. Uh, oh, yeah. Mara, yeah, yeah. Mara Wilson was like posting on Facebook. She's like... By the way, guys, I'm queer. I don't know if you know that. She like used that day to be like, I'm uh, I'm queer, not gay, queer, which just yeah. means that like you know, Yours. I got my hair cut Sometimes, too short one yeah. time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I was at Pride the other day, and nice. I saw you know what I love sucking off guys. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it's Pride, dude. Not oh. Prude. It's Pride. <laughs> you gotta have fun. Damn, man. Fleet Week. Uh, Fleet Week is a real pride. That's the Let's real be pride. Honest. That's real pride. Yeah, that is. Those are the most prideful men. <laughs> <laughs> semen outfits. Pride. They're called semen. They're literally there, called. There semen. has to have been a hat comic that made a joke about like people thinking that it was like white pride or whatever, right? Um, no, but not, I'll take it. I don't okay. think so. I call that one. All right, that's yours. That's all Thanks, yours, man. You guys see these Donald Duck racists out here? They're all dressed like Donald Duck and they're white supremacists. Uh, so. <clears throat> yeah, no, I was at Pride, and there's, you know, like, it's all, like, people that are naked or whatever, and they're, like, yeah. kissing mm-hmm. each other. It's, like, ex- like yeah, expressing yeah, yeah. sexuality. Yeah, yeah. And I swear to God, I was walking down the street, and in the middle of, like, the parade, and, like, one of those, like, East or West 10th, there's a fucking, like, probably homeless older black lady, like, in her, like, you know, early 70s, <laughs> rail thin, you know, like, kind of like a, an emaciated crack yeah, body. C- correct. And she's in a wheelchair, and she's got her, like, jeggings pulled down over her, like, you know, the diameter of her legs was mm-hmm. probably, like, four inches each. It's, like, beanpole Jesus legs. Jesus Christ. Uh, and she's got her, her jeggings pulled down. She's masturbating with both hands. <laughs> and oh. she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> Oh my fucking god! And she's fucking just rubbing her pussy, and everyone's just trying to ignore it, <laughs> like shielding their eyes and trying to ignore it. Like, why doesn't she have her own float? This is, <laughs> yeah. this is what should, this should be in the parade. That's can we get so her? Great. Can she she's... be the grand marshal? <laughs> This is the the most powerful display of sexuality of anything here. What, we're supposed to be proud of some fucking hot 20-year-old girl with pasties on her perfect tits? Yeah, yeah. yeah. To give this woman a fucking TV show. Yeah. Some ripped jarhead guy with, like, ultimate warrior, like, yeah. like rubber tassels. bands around tassels, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, that, I love that, too, because she's probably just beating off to all the gay dudes. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> just, what she was doing. Yeah, yeah. She was just staring at all these men and masturbating. Just looking so. incredible. Yeah, Seth Dickfield, unfortunately, was... He was on vacation in Europe um, last week, and he oh, he was boy. visiting Auschwitz uh, just to see the sights and take it in. And he slipped on a banana peel and cracked his head open on one of those novelty oh. penny smashing machines. Oh no! And he died. He's, I can't, I can't deal with this man. And I know it sounds like that's a very funny way to die. Yeah, especially considering he's not even Jewish. He's not. 
but it, it's, it it's the actual way he died. I know that like like that guy the from Star Trek that died. You know, like everyone was pretty chill about not making jokes about the ridiculous way. <laughs> yeah, like, don't laugh yeah. at it, dude. I'm sorry. Up, There's man. nothing funny about Anton Yelchin being crushed by his Jeep while trying to check his mail <laughs> by driving over himself. There's nothing funny about yeah, it's this. Not funny. I can't do this, man. This, and it's this, not funny to that there is a steakhouse <laughs> themed. There's a there's a Holocaust themed steakhouse. That's not funny. It's not funny that Seth was there and that yeah. guys. I can't. This tone is well, too light. I can't do this, man. I don't want to disrespect the dead. I gotta go, man. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I'm, luckily, I'm luckily we have. Uh, we have someone here to, you know, send Seth off. Oh, no, yo. Oh, what's up? Everybody, please welcome Ralph, Ralph Orowski, <laughs> Seth Dickfield's cousin. <laughs> My beautiful cousin, Seth, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the saddest day of my fucking life since the O's lost to the fucking Kansas City Royals in the fucking AL Championship Series. <laughs> yeah, they, the fucking good ones always go early, yo. You know, um... That's true. The good ones always go early. The good ones, the, al- the good ones always go early. The good ones? The, the good ones, ones, yo, please do not the- fucking antagonize me right now, yo. I just lost <laughs> my fucking grieving. baby cousin, yo. Nick, I will not have this right now, yo. He's grieving. I'm grieving, yo. What are the fucking seven stages of grief? Fucking sadness. Denial. Beating up a fucking Jew that talks to you funny. You know what I mean, buddy? And right now, I'm getting close to number three right now, okay? I'm sorry, Let me mourn I'm sorry, my Ralph. fucking cousin, yo. I'm sorry, Ralph. We're here for you. Yo, I don't know, dude. It's tough, man. This is tough now. My family, now we got to find a new gay cousin to make fun of, yo. <laughs> yo, I think it's going to be my cousin Mark who cried during 9-11, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, that's not the kind of family we are, yo. We are vengeance family, yo. We find some Sikhs and we beat them up afterwards. We don't fucking cry about that shit. So Mark is, but it could be, you know, it could be who knows, man. Is there is there going to be a funeral for Seth? Yeah, there's going to be a funeral. Um, We're going to... um. <clears throat> We're going to um, stuff his body up into a uh, crab cake. And we're Are you gonna, getting him taxidermied? Yeah, we're going to get him taxidermied, and we're going to actually, um, we're going to put him just in the den, uh, in Uncle Mark's den, where uh, it was his favorite place to visit. And we're just going to, we're going to put Steeler, put a Steelers jersey on him, and we're going to give him the finger just for like full time's <laughs> sake. Um, that's how we want to remember him. As uh, a guy we fuck with. <laughs> was he a big Steelers fan? Um, no. No, he wasn't. We would actually hold him down and we would toss Steelers memorabilia onto him. And yeah. then we would send him out into uh, uh, we would send him out into the streets of Baltimore. And we would tell people he loved the Steelers. And then people would commit acts of hate uh, against him. And also yeah. we would tell them he was gay. <laughs> and Could um, you... I mean, I know it's tough in a tragedy like this that you didn't... You obviously feel like you were robbed of the opportunity ro- to absolutely. say goodbye and to say, yeah. If you could say something to Seth right now, like, what what would you say? I would say, Seth, yo, don't be doing no gay shit in heaven, yo, because I'm about to be up there and I'm about to be finger popping some bitches. And if they hear, if Marilyn Monroe hears that I got a gay fake Jew cousin, yo, <laughs> that might fuck my shit up. You know what I'm saying? That's who you're so, going for in heaven, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yeah. well, no, yeah, Marilyn Monroe. This um. Yeah, this fucking uh, cross-eyed black girl from uh, Dundalk High School that was killed in uh, junior year. And, uh, <laughs> oh. Her name was Mar- Is there a different Marilyn Monroe? Yeah, Marilyn? yeah. She sucked my dick out back behind a Mars once while I was eating fucking burger cookies. Oh, you're... <laughs> you're gonna go back for doubles. Yeah. So I'm going back. So don't be fucking my shit up with Marilyn. I know she got that good heaven body up there now, Seth. What do you think Seth would do if he had one more day on this earth? Honestly, yo, I think he will probably get on Grinder and then message a guy and then uh, be about to meet up and then uh, delete his account real quick because he realizes he's still in the closet and it'll be tough. He didn't know what he would do if anybody ever found out he was gay. I think if he had one last time on this earth. Do you think Do you think Seth would get bullied off of Grinder? perhaps? <laughs> yeah, I could see that definitely going down. Someone might, someone might make fun of Seth on Grinder and he has to delete his account. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see that, dude. Because he got PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's gotten PTSD before, yo. Um, but but you gave it to him. You gave, gave him PTSD him. by, by yeah. teasing him. Yeah. Well, well, that's how that's how that's what family does, yo. That's so, the kind of family we was, yo. But, so I um, 
I actually, when I heard the news about Seth, I reached out to my friend who lives in Silicon Valley. He's an app developer. Oh my god! And so he developed Seth this. Loved gay shit like apps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he developed. Um, he developed an app. Oh yeah. That it's basically they can create a facsimile of your loved one oh after they die. Oh my god! So you, you can just click on the Seth app. Oh my god! I got him to make a Seth one. Are you serious? So man? we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hook Seth up to the soundboard right now. Yeah. And I'm gonna give you the opportunity to say goodbye. Oh my god. To your yeah. cousin. Yeah. Okay. Does, is you. that all right with you? If if you're not re- if that's weird if to you, ready. I don't. I don't know if I'm ready for this right now, but um. Okay, so I'm gonna just click him in. I'm just gonna. Okay. Uh, Hello, everybody. It's Seth? me. Yes. Hello. I'm not dead anymore. Seth is so good to fall. He's talk to inside you, yeah. the phone now. He's in a phone, yeah. Yeah. He's... I live in the phone now, everybody. <laughs> oh my god! I can always have him in my pocket, yo. <laughs> Seth, yo. Hi, it's me, Seth. Seth, do you know how you died? I'm not dead anymore, everybody. <laughs> Seth, yo, one big ass question, yo. Are these coins in the lost and found for anyone? (laughs) Seth, listen to me, yo. I'm trying to ask you a serious fucking question, yo. Hello, it's me, Seth. Seth. I'm not dead anymore. Seth, you fucking little slut. Shut the fuck up, yo. Oh my god, yo. Yo, have you seen my coupon for half off steakums or or what, yo? Can I bring my own coupons? (laughs) Yo, this fucking app sucks, yo. This is some more you yeah, fucking Yeah, I don't know. They... Hi, it's me, Seth. I'm not <laughs> dead anymore. This is, yo, honestly, I'm oh, tired man. of this shit, yo. Fuck, it, you're ruining the fucking tone. Well, Adam. I think you're making a mockery of me and my I'm fucking family, I'm not making a mockery. Yo. I just thought it might be nice. I think you're fucking my shit up I thought right it now. might be nice yeah, if dude, you could Adam, see your Adam, don't use that app anymore. Okay, just... I'm going to, all right. I thought it might be nice if you could see your cousin. No, again. that's disrespectful. I mean, even I wouldn't do that. Dude, don't you ever do that. I'm, I got half a mind to slap your ass over this fuck. You're lucky I respect Anthony Cumia in the studio too much to do that to you right now. But I feel like... Well, you better calm down because I'll tell you right now, everybody here in the Anthony Cumia studio has a concealed carry permit. Yeah, and I'm all well, all, all the way 100% up there with c- carrying your own fucking arms, yo. I think, honestly, I take my own gun, my gun to paintball, yo. We only got <laughs> we only got three amendments we care about here in the Anthony Cumia studio. Yeah, yeah. Number one, free speech. Number two, guns. Number t- 27, podcasting. <laughs> right to podcast. Yeah. Yeah, my, listen, I think... I think we need to send Seth off, yo. I think we need to say goodbye. I think we need to. Well, luckily, um, beautiful ass piece of fucking music. Seth left us a song um, that he wanted us to play, and we're gonna we're gonna end it on that note and let Seth himself take us out. I will miss you, Seth, yo. R.I.P. Dickfield. R.I.P. You. We'll never <laughs> forget you. We'll miss you, Dickfield. Okay. Come town, episode eight. The I don't know. The, the eighth episode. That's what this one's gonna be called. Goodbye, Seth. I love you, yo. I fucking love you, yo. I'm sorry, yo. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me, Seth Dickfield. Hi, it's me, Seth, and now I am dead, and I'll complain all about it when I see you again. It's been a long day, fighting Republicans, and I'll complain all about it to none of my friends. I don't have any friends. Bye, everybody. I've had a great time here on the podcast, uh, telling everyone about all my various uh, circumcisions and political opinions, and uh, it's been so much fun being woke, but I'm in heaven now, uh, where you go if you're perfect like me and beyond criticism. You know, I I know I've complained a lot about uh, the Bernie bros and MRAs, but, you know, we're all people. I, I don't remember exactly how this song goes, and I'm not looking 
at uh, the lyrics. So um, I just want to reiterate uh, that I'm dead now. I slipped on a, on a banana peel at Auschwitz, uh, uh, and my head hit. Uh, oh, oh, geez, it hit one of these uh, penny machines. Oh boy, and here comes the loud part of the song again. You know what I can't stand? Loud noises. Some of us have PTSD, folks. Some of us got PTSD from being teased as children. I was bullied relentlessly by my 32 older brothers who uh, all hit puberty before me. I have actually never hit puberty. I still don't have puberty. Now I'm up here in heaven with Harambe the gorilla. And he's been having sex with me. He's been demanding sex, and I have to give it to him. Because, first of all, it's right to refuse sex uh, if you're a man. And uh, also because he's stronger than me. And with that, folks, I'm, I'm going to have to say goodbye once and for all. And I don't know what... I don't remember this part of the song either. Goodbye, everybody. or odd coming in. I mean, it's just, it's not that uncommon with the fucking web. Well, yeah, they, well, it's mostly because like I'm screaming in the kitchen or whatever. Yeah, we're like, just, she got, she got mad at me because Adam <laughs> said that like, Adam told this story about, uh, he's like the other guy we do this podcast with. Adam was like watching, uh, well, fuck, because now his friends listen. I can't, I can't tell his story. Okay. <laughs> well, whatever. He said he overheard, like some girl, he's watching like Game of Thrones with some girl and the episode ends and the girl was like, it's just so cool that we like all get to be a part of this like cultural event together. <laughs> it's like a cultural movement. She was referring to Game of Thrones as like a cultural movement. And then, you know, we were like making fun of her in the kitchen or whatever. And I was like, yeah, like, you know how like Dr. Martin Luther King wrote Game of Thrones. <laughs> and the receptionist is, it was like, uh, she's like a black lady. Yeah, yeah. And I saw her like fucking snap and look at me as soon as I said Dr. Martin Luther King. You're just taking free cereal. It's 6 p.m. You're loading up on their yeah. breakfast cereal that yeah. they have there and eating and drinking All coffee. All special K they have there. And she asked me like three times. She's like, who are you here with? Does he know you're here? Yeah. And I almost kicked me out. That's they you do. You dick. get nourishment yeah. like that. Yeah. That's the way you eat things is by sucking it off. Classic. So what? Uh, Speaking of getting sucked off or, or jerked off, somebody has a little story. Oh, oh. yeah, tell the story. <laughs> Ooh. Somebody got their little. Should I? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I already told everybody. So <laughs> you said it during the first half. No, no, no but no. I've been we telling should've. people. Yeah, I got a <laughs> massage. Uh, <laughs> full service massage. <laughs> What happened, dude? That's when you get Probably jerked in. off in Jersey. Yeah. It's a full service massage. Yeah. yeah, they actually <laughs> don't let you jack off by yourself in Jersey. Yeah. It's yeah. a big problem they have. The they union pump the gas the un- and they jack <laughs> The union is too strong. <laughs> um, I, was, I had a slight headache. I was walking down Canal Street at about 5 in the afternoon a couple of weeks ago. And I saw, and I had a, my back hurt because I had my laptop in my backpack. And oh, I saw sure. a massage, $25. Night so twenty five. Like, twenty five bucks, thirty minutes. Where was this deal? Place? Tell me off air. On Canal, Canal, and what? Uh, we'll talk about. There's it. like the thirty five of these places on Canal. There's like a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Every I, single one of those places where we'll they have like a, a discount massage, they'll jack you off. The best, <laughs> the best part yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Give us the, the whole best experience. part of it is like she's like, you want hard or soft? And I was like, hard. And so she just starts walking on my back and it hurt. It's Ugh. like very uncomfortable. It was a terrible massage. She actually fucked up my back for like four days. That's hilarious. But uh <laughs> but, but she jerked you off. She like So wait, turns you go me there. Over. You think you're gonna get beat off or no? I didn't re- it really wasn't in the front of my mind. You had an inkling though. I was uh, <laughs> if it happens, it happens. <laughs> Listen to this motherfucker. Oh, I don't know if this <laughs> if this twenty five dollar <laughs> massage place will beat me off in the basement of a fucking Shoe store. Yeah. This is like a, that Jim Carrey movie where he can't say no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Adam's version of it. <laughs> liar, liar. No, yeah, no, yeah. there was another one that was just like yes man, ripping yes off man, Liar, yeah, Liar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Yes Man. How did he make that movie? Well, twice? I mean, <laughs> I, I consider Liar, Liar, the Quran, and Yes Man, like the Hadith. Yeah, yeah, Like yeah, they expanded yeah, yeah. on the lessons of that movie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, the best part was she's like, okay, hand or, or mouth with Ooh. condom. And I was like, I don't. 
My sister listens. Okay, whatever. It's too late. It's too late. All right. When I was 19, I was in Israel in a strip club. You're worried about your sister hearing about sex on the cum (laughs) podcast? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I was in Israel at a strip club. There was this Russian woman with braces and fake tits, nice. and she had a necklace on that said sex on it. Oh, <laughs> where do you get that necklace? <laughs> just said fuck. Sex. And I was there with like It came boys. with the braces? Yeah. <laughs> yeah the orthodontist. I was on my occupation tour with my of friends. Of course. And, uh, you were there to boys, steal the rightful right? land of Palestinians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, uh, and uh, lap dances were, were 20 shekels. I love Which it. is like $5. And we're getting like a ton of laughs. I love that so you're complaining a, about yeah, the price of No, no, no. He's talking about what a bargain it is, dude. Oh, Incredible. Right. He's Incredible, chewing dude. it up even further. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was there's only no way, 20 no way, shekels. <laughs> yeah. There's no way a Jew can complain about or it's mention the cost of something without it sounding like a complaint. That's, <laughs> that's, where, that's where all that like Sheldon Adelson money goes. It goes to subsidize strippers. <laughs> <laughs> for birth, right? uh, that's we'll actually, pay for $15 of the lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty smart. Uh, I know. I was... Anyway, yeah, she's like, uh, you want private room? So I went, and she was like, blowjob with condom, 200 shekel. Ooh, and I was nice. just like, which is like And you talked her down? <laughs> <laughs> no. And I, I, had I, don't like, know. <laughs> I had my meal stipend thing for the month. Like, uh-huh. the program gave us a meal stipend. Yeah. And I had literally had an envelope of cash in it. And I like fumbled through it. I just so like good. handed her the cash, <laughs> and I got a blowjob with a condom. Came in three minutes. That's maybe insane less. To me maybe less. Ahead. Okay. And well, because the I braces, think, you know, the braces tear it off immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smart. <laughs> she knows what she's That's less time than it takes for the Iron Dome to block a missile. Exactly. <laughs> Same technology. Yeah. That's Same what. Technology. That's what actually they call that braces blowjob. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Iron Dome. That's her nickname. There he is. There's the mole dog. Oh god, this is so extremely online. This is so good. Oh. Yeah, well, I love getting Iron Dome. Yeah, Dude, it was Iron Dome. Yeah. I love getting Iron Dome from retarded girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah she horrible. mouth retarded. Yeah. Her mouth retarded as hell, dog. <laughs> left, left my entire meal stipend for the month. In, in this that, girl's mouth. In that <laughs> <laughs> in that strip club. That's hilarious. And I starved. Literally for a month, I would eat at five o'clock once a day. Yeah. I'd st- I'd wait to Ironic, eat. Ironic, that's like Ramadan. I'd eat at five <laughs> 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 It was like my Jewish Ramadan. <laughs> um anyway, I felt horrible about the whole thing. Yeah. Fast forward. Fast forward two weeks ago, she turns me over, she's like uh fifty. So you're fully <laughs> nude? <laughs> She pulls no, not yet. I'm in my boxers. Okay, she, th- that's the point of the story. That's the funniest por- part of the whole story. Which th- what does this person Sorry, look like, by the way? What's that? How are we looking? What does she look like? You know, I don't want to do the accent, uh, but <laughs> do the <laughs> accent. Chinese woman. She's do like, it. but is she hot? Is what I'm getting at here. She was really attractive. I know yeah? that people can't see this because this is a podcast, but Adam just put on a straw hat. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he's really stretching <laughs> his yeah. eyes. Yeah. All right, he's got tape all over the place. <laughs> yeah. All right, gong sound. Do 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 do. We're in the massage parlor. <laughs> so she says, "Do you want?" To- uh, do you want to touch me? And I was like, uh, okay. So she takes my hand, puts it up her shirt, and I'm just like squeezing her boob. I'm like, okay, this okay, is that's cool. not bad. And she was hot. She's like, yeah. She's like, okay, hand or mouth. And I was like, I'm not gonna go for mouth with condom. I think I'm gonna go hand. This is an expert okay. practitioner. I see what you're saying. Uh, you're thinking she's much better at. I've never gotten a good hand job in my life. I'll agree. Not with that. either. From, yeah. Not even from me. Yeah, I abuse my shit. I'm re- you don't have a good technique. She did. Down? She did a fifty million times better than I've ever done. So she's a pro. Incredible. Oh, that's. But great. the best part was I was wearing my boxers. <laughs> she pulls out my boxers and she looks at my dick and then she looks up at me and she goes, <gasps> like, it <was> <laughs> 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 like it was the biggest dick she'd ever that's seen so in my funny. entire life. And I was like, oh come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> please. I and hate she's that. She's like, it's so. Dude, a girl I hooked like, up no, with is not a girl like that was doing the same shit. She was like, "Oh my god, it's so big!" <laughs> oh She's like pretending to choke on my. And it's like, listen, I've had my dick for a very long time. I know exactly how big my dick is. It's is not a big fucking dick. She was doing fake gagging, dude. It was so <laughs> embarrassed. I was embarrassed for both of us. She was actually just gagging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From repul- yeah, yeah. Hey, what the fuck? Disgusting. Anyway, I left. 
I came so she, super quick. Also, she, was she beat you off. She like beat me champ. off. It was it was amazing. How much did the whole shebang run you? It was uh, seventy five dollars. I left and I was just like so mad at myself. I was like, New York City, you've done it again. You just fucking <laughs> vacuum seventy five dollars out of my pocket. Whatever, man. Like that experience. could have been a decent pair of pants. Could have la- lasted true. me a couple years. That's true. And I just fucking paid for <laughs> sex work. Nothing. Not not. There's anything wrong with that. Right? <laughs> no, a, that's legit. And then I told the girl that I was used to be dating. I'm not dating her anymore. But uh, and she was like so mad at me. You told the girl you used to be dating that you got beat off. Yeah, we had like an open thing. That you paid that you paid to get jacked off by someone that looks exactly like her. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So she was (laughs) what her life would be like if her parents didn't. But I thought like it was like this progressive thing where she's like, yeah, I want to fuck other people too. Yeah, that's totally a Bernie Sanders move, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 (laughs) (laughs) She does cam work so or she did cam work so i didn't think that it was like a big deal to her and she's like you're disgusting <laughs> that's disgusting yeah, yeah. Yeah. there was a guy i saw on chatterbait one time who had to be <laughs> like 89 years old he looked what, like what a start of a sentence <laughs> yeah. there was a guy i saw on chatterbait one time he's this old ass man <laughs> Wait, how does called, chatterbait work it's you just people just, just jack off on get camera paired with yeah, people yeah, jacking off. no 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 yeah. that's chat roulette chatterbait that's is that's like also it's a linkedin gallery. premium yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a gallery. You can choose somebody to watch masturbate so you or whatever. Watched an eighty nine year old man beat. Yeah, on. I was like, look how old this man is. <laughs> I mean, there is there is a market for everything on oh, camera. Yeah. Like that's well, half of bodybuilders support themselves by like jacking off on their stuff. That's how they buy Anna. Really? Is they no, do gay for pay stuff? Yeah, hell yeah. 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 There's actually a separate room in GNC where you can do all that <laughs> for supplements. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. that guy. Like <laughs> Walt Whitman? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked like Walt Whitman. Um, Walt Whitman fucked kids, right? Yeah. yeah, but yeah less yeah. of Boys. less of a sexual deviant than the actual Walt Whitman. This was just a guy that <laughs> yeah, jacked yeah, off yeah, on yeah, camera yeah. instead of on little boys' faces. <laughs> right. And he, so he's got uh and he's got like this distended belly and like Hell you know, yeah. just like an old fucking ass man. He's got nipple clamps and he's like Ooh. beating and be, uh, hitting his dick with shit and he's jacking <laughs> off. And uh, he just yes. seemed to be having like a great time. And I'm like, you know what? Good for him. Right. He figured out the computer. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know, living an active life. This isn't like, it's not deviant if he's like, you know, like his family's probably like, yeah, grandpa loves the computer. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> They're like, yeah, he's using the camera to keep in touch with friends from the war. He's Skyping all Yeah, yeah, he yeah. loves Skype. He's just on <laughs> Skype all the time. Uh, he doesn't really use uh, any of the email software we got him, but it's, yeah, he loves that camera, so... You know, he's holding out. I mean, every comic. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, this guy, Big Ron, he came in, and he's, like, you know, immediately, like, I don't write down shit. I never write down shit. <laughs> it's all, you know, imp- improvisational, you know? <laughs> I'm, like, saying things off the top of my mind. And uh, so he goes up, and it's, like, a nice restaurant. And then he's talking about, like, you know, in jail, you know, you think that <laughs> hearing people being raped would be bad, but it's not that. It's when you hear a motherfucker getting stabbed. That's the fucked up part. <laughs> there used to be this big motherfucker, and he used to jack off to to the little Michael videos. When Michael Jackson be coming on the TV, pull his dick right out and jack off to Michael. And, uh, you know, people are just trying to, like, eat dinner. Or <laughs> and, then, oh. and then my favorite thing about that guy is he handed me my bi- his business card. I was, like, talking to him afterwards, and he had, like, a business where it was a detailing service, but just for Lincoln Town cars. <laughs> 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 I don't, yo, I do not do fucking uh, Escalade. Yet. Only thing I touch, Lincoln Town Car. <laughs> on Pride last year, did I mention this? I mentioned. I said. This Was there time. a Chabad float at Pride? I well, don't think you said it on the. Podcast. I, I don't know if I said it on the podcast, but last year at Pride, I was walking home and I walked through Pride, and there's a protest. There's a counter Pride protest, and at the first it looks protest? like they're well, yeah. Protest? At first it looks like they're Hasids, and I get closer. And they're Mexican guys <laughs> wearing the outfits. <laughs> and they're holding signs. And they're these, like, you know, tired, you know, that, like, five foot one Guatemalan type yeah. where you can tell underneath the hat he's got, like, a faux hawk. Uh, yeah. Like those guys. I was like, what the fuck is this? This looks like Hasid's just hired day laborers <laughs> to protest pride. <laughs> And it didn't, like, make sense. It was just too absurd to make sense. Right. And then the next day, I saw in, like, the New York Daily News or something, 
that uh, yeah, Hasid's hired day laborers <laughs> That's to go protest Pride. I guess it was you know because it was Shabbos or something, or <laughs> they so couldn't good. they couldn't be there, <gasps> or they just didn't want to go themselves, so yeah, they hired God. day laborers to dress up like them and protest. I, I did the opposite of that when I was a kid. There is a like you had sex with day laborers. <laughs> <protest Yeah. Hasid. laughs> no, there was like a Puerto Rican Day Parade Pride. Or Puerto Rican Day Parade in Chicago, or yeah, like yeah. some type of Latina parade, and like my mom knew the person who was organizing it, but for whatever reason they couldn't locate Latino children to do it. <laughs> and I was eight, and I was like, I was way darker as a kid. Uh, I I'm glad really... things worked out for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, God. it was a scare for a moment. You prayed yeah. every yeah. day. Yeah, thank God. Uh, but I bleached. Like yeah. one of the reggae singers, yeah. but uh, give me the asshole kind. <laughs> yeah. I need the extra strong asshole kind. And then uh, he's like four percent African, so he's like, "Here's the results, everybody. I'm one percent African, four percent, uh, one percent Pacific Islander, four percent African, ninety-five uh, percent. Who cares?" Oh, so he was, and very, also those, by the way, are like that's the. That's within the margin of error. Yeah, that four yeah. percent. Like I was like I was like six percent Jewish or something, and it's like, it's no, not not I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. Stav it's, immediately got on the phone and said, "What's going on with this?" <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah. Margin Jewish. of error. It's the margin I of want error. My sir. Money back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? There's a thing. Yeah, we were at that Halloween party with those giant M and M's. We were listening to uh, Fleetwood Mac. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> when we uh, we met up with Tommy, and then he was in the bathroom for like four and a half hours. Oh yeah. Do you ever? Do you ever uh, do you have a blow guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh holy shit. That, we were to so find... oh my god, dude. That, that's so funny. <laughs> this is a completely separate story, but I was we were trying to find Coke and uh I went up to uh to our friend Tommy, my friend Tommy, and he's sitting there and I was like, Hey, do you got a blow guy? And I said that to him and it was like kind of loud where we're at, so he like reflects for a half second. He's like, Nah, but I fucked a tranny once. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? And he was like, did, did you I ask? ever blow a guy? Yeah, he's yeah. like, you asked me if I ever blew a guy? And I was like, no, I said, do you have a blow guy? But why is that your response? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My friend, there was this dude in college that was like, his whole persona was he was a total alpha. Yeah. He was like a Long Island, Nassau County Jewish, like fucking blowout. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, looked like a Jersey Shore Guido. Mm -hmm. And my friend, uh, my fr it was always strange because he had a Leonidas from Hell yeah. 300 poster of just this jacked ass Gerard Butler, like yeah. six feet tall in his bedroom. Nice. We we're like, why does why does Brian have that in his room? Dude, and then my my dude. friend, for some reason, who was his roommate, like took his laptop to go on Pornhub, and then like saw the last 10 searches it was like guy kisses guy for first time oh, <laughs> oh. No. I, totally fucking closeted I, straight guy, guy fucks straight guy <laughs> <laughs> I two do straight that. guys fuck yeah. <laughs> you're yeah, a yeah. real problem I, she wants to reestablish the caliphate <laughs> I got friends that they got a dog um and they named it Strayvon Barksdale after. First of all, any kind of dog pun name or cat pun the name. The worst. You, you're an idiot. Avon right? Barksdale isn't bad, but not Strayvon. Well, it was a stray dog, so yeah, it was yeah, like uh -huh. stray. I mean, yeah, Avon Barksdale already works, so you don't yeah, need you to. Yeah, you get it. Exactly. Well, they changed the dog's name to. The dog's name was Strayvon Barksdale. Mm -hmm. And then, like, two weeks later, the George Zimmerman thing happened. So the dog's name is Strayvon, oh, no. and it's this like black oh, lab mutt no. or whatever. It's called something then, else. It doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, well, then you can't bring that dog to the dog park. <laughs> yeah. If I had a dog, he'd look like Strayvon. Oh, come oh, on, man. man. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Robbie Ebert. Yeah. yeah. His face was fucked up as hell. Yeah, and that poor motherfucker bad, almost had a. Did we? Didn't we talk? Yeah, about this? yeah, oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. That his his body rejected, rejected the, the jaw. jaw. Yeah. yeah, what a so sad just shit deal. Yeah, imagine having to fuck that dude like with that weird. Chaz did it, dude. Face. Yeah, she she, she, grit, she a lot of doggy. You think? You think she's looking at him in the eye? <laughs> oh god, she's got to be. <laughs> she can't be looking at him, right? That'd be terrible. Nick, your thoughts? <laughs> on who? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's played by uh, by uh, his wife. Jada Pink. Jada Pink. Jada. 
Jada Why would they just have Willow? Yeah. 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 Oh my God! His yeah. daughter. He has Willow Smith. <laughs> Willow. We, all, we yeah. all, before we said it, we all locked eyes and smiled before we said Jada two in the pink. One in the stink. <laughs> Damn, I love being smart as hell. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Where there was a group of people doing cocaine, and I the first it. thing I heard in that room was this guy saying, "Bro, Staten Island smokes the most weed." Right. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. Hey, hey, can I get a ball for my fucking kid, please? <laughs> you know, and the guy ignores him, and he's like, Yeah, keep doing steroids then, you fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of his son. <laughs> his son's like right there, and he's like, Fathers are faggot. so important in a young child's yeah. life for moments like that. Yeah. <laughs> keep doing fucking steroids. Yeah, keep doing fucking steroids. <laughs> like, he knows about that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like he's reading funny. some yeah, blog <laughs> accusing him of... Yeah. She's just wearing like an FDNY shirt with a smoldering Twin Towers on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They, they really have not forgotten it. Yeah. Well, they haven't shut up about it. <laughs> they cannot That's stop. That's the other slogan. Never shut up about Never it. Never shut the fuck up about it. Hey, yeah, you're listening to 9-11 podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do a fucking podcast every week about 9-11. You want to say goodbye? Uh, yeah, I I just appreciate you guys for listening. You're probably not listening at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been closing. No, an I hour. just want to see if I can get to a full hour. Oh, How close um, are we? we're like five seconds away. Oh, hell okay, yeah. cool. Uh, Anyone want to say the N word? Anyone want to be brave enough? On three, we all say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, three. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Well, the final episode. We did it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Up with the gay. Because I am secretly gay. What? Oh, Can you edit that out? Yeah, we'll edit that out. So there is no... <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just I've hoping you won't be. i Wikipedia a lot because I know some of his... To be honest with you, the only thing I've seen that he's done is Run, Ronnie, Run. Okay, yeah. yeah. I don't know what that is, but... Uh, no, he was in... Uh, you know what? Elephant that sounds like I picked the, like, the most obscure reference, but it's, uh, it's actually true. I've seen yeah. Run Ronnie Run like yeah like three or four times. Oh, Is that's he good? A when I was like fifteen, I yeah. thought it was hilarious. He's in Pooty Tank for a second. Is he? Yeah, we should ask him. We should a- ask him. You know, whatever we. What that was. Like. Was he in the Smurfs? We got to do. We got to do. Was a, he Gargamel? <laughs> we got to do an hour with him. So we're doing a full hour. Full hour. We're gonna aim for that. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. If it goes much shorter, if he's like mad about the setup, he I don't even know. Doesn't have a lot going on these days. He hasn't. Been... Well, we'll talk about Sorry. that with him. <laughs> Uh, we got a minute left if you guys want to plug anything I have like half of an apple <coughs> that I'm thinking about eating I'm celibate night. from now on that's what I want to plug um, stop sending me t- pictures of your titties which right. I get uh, a lot of I'm, I'm going to call them now okay. yeah call them a minute early it's fine all right, then you know what? That'll seem professional. Yeah, he'll be yeah. like oh these guys are, yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. professional radio we are, guys we're professional radio oh, guys oh shit now it's 530 we'll just Fucking explain asshole. to him that we all can right. well I'll tell him that we were going to call is Are it re- ringing? <laughs> what if he just... Is it ringing? Gave you the wrong number. No, it's not ringing. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking oh idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, there it is. That was probably the problem. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. <laughs> Announcement for four, four zero four location. What was that? All right, hold on. His phone's off. No, no, no. It's, it said the call cannot be completed as dialed. They did something wrong here. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. We're unable to complete your call. To speak to a customer service representative. Please hang up and dial star six one one. Announcement three five zero zero. Location eight zero five zero two. No, I don't hear. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen, this is so funny. How fucked up this is. <laughs> Listen to what happens when I try and call him. <laughs> this is our waiting for Godot. <laughs> this is this is I think the cell phone tower's down. Oh no, there it goes. We got a ring. Oh sick. Yeah. Okay. Get those headphones on. Take it out, bitch. It's ringing? It rang once. 
<laughs> no, I I legitimately oh. think I legitimately think the fucking cell phone tower's down. It's like there's a problem, and then they give Everyone's me some error code. This is a bit. He, he ran, not yeah. a bit. I don't know how to Fuck. fucking make this. We're shit. so fucked, dude. We Fuck got. This. <laughs> I don't know how to. We make... could legit edit this part, like I for real. Maybe you gotta be fucking place. kidding me. No, I think the storm knocked out a cell phone tower or something. Welcome to Verizon <laughs> Wireless. To We're unable to complete your call. To speak to a customer service representative, <laughs> please hang up and dial star six one one. Announcement three five zero zero. Location eight zero five zero two. <laughs> should we try? Yeah, I guess I phones? should call customer service, and we should ask them. Should we call? You try Adam's phone. All right, yeah, we can try Adam's phone. Give me your phone. Cool. I'm gonna save his number. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. You, you talk for a second while I plug the wires. All right. Up. Okay. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> we're just sorry about that, folks. Um, this really <laughs> sucks for us more than you. I know this is probably not this, very good. Listening. Honestly, we could just edit this. There's no shut, reason to talk right now. Up, dude. Not, I don't say that we as if I'm... Nick, uh, you don't have... I'll edit it, bitch. You say, send me the fucking falls, bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. Shut the fuck up. How are we looking? It's ringing. Sick. But you might not pick up because it's Vegas, man. It's not a trustworthy number. We could try mine next. Hold on. But my phone's fucked. I'm so nervous. All right, uh, maybe this will work. Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I can I can hear you now. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, that, I'm assuming that was you who called earlier uh yeah did it not oh i was getting some like uh i'm like dead serious there was i guess there was some like like cell phone tower error code every time i called it would tell me to hang up and call customer service Holy shit. But this, uh this is david cross this this is <laughs> this is customer service oh shit uh what uh is it david cross at customer service this is customer service for david cross yes uh, oh. I'm employed by David Cross. Was he? Okay. Uh, well, it's we got David Cross's customer service on the phone. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, well, that's just as good. That's fine. Um, I, I I mean, uh, we'll we'll work with that. I have to just let you know up front. Um, uh, I, I'm here. My name is Nick. Uh, I spoke with uh, uh, David, and we we planned on calling around 5:30. We I actually did. Uh, dial the number at 5.30, but then there was that error code. So I apologize that we're uh, a couple minutes late. Uh, but I'm here. Uh, my friend Adam is... Hi, hi, hi uh, David. How's it going? What's well, not David? It's customer it, service. Oh, hi, customer. No, no, it, it is... I mean, it is me. I'm acting as my own customer service representative. Oh. That's just oh. the way uh, oh. I save some money. You know, I try to do that Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's oh. okay. Wow, that's if, if you call on Tuesday and Thursday, you'll get uh, Desi, who's the regular customer service. Well, I guess I'm regular because I do it five out of or three out of five times, but uh, uh but Desi acts as the customer service rep when I'm not Whoa, doing it, so or vice, vice versa, I guess. Well, I thank you, thank you for taking the call. Um, so I, I, I mean, I, I, I do have to like apologize, How can I be a service, yeah, and I, what, what, uh, do you have a complaint, or is there something you want to register? Was uh... uh, well, I don't. It's it's not a complaint about about you, but I guess we do have like a bit of a communication issue. We unfortunately only have one set of headphones to plug into uh, the four track. This is mostly uh, you're. I've, you're got, a... I've got two with me. If that helps. Uh, well, we would need them here. That's the problem. Uh, okay. Um, I could. What's he saying? Let me think here. I am. Uh, I'm in. Uh, I'm upstate right now in, in New York uh, capital. So uh, there's not the best direct route. I mean, I if I left, well, I can't. I've got. Um. Well, Jesus. All right. we were gonna think, we were I, gonna get we were gonna we only have like an hour to do our podcast, and then there's a frozen uh, yogurt place in Astoria. I can't get them to you, yeah, uh, in that kind of time. I mean, they'd have to be like helicoptered in, and then the helicopter couldn't even land. They'd have to literally like hover over where you are and drop them from a height, and they might break. So that this is that's not gonna work. That okay? Well, we actually plan to only use the one set of headphones. 
Um, but it's oh well, then what's uh, well, then what's you, the I, oh sorry, I was just explaining the the, the plan is where, where I'm going to use the headphones, and then Adam is here. Adam uh, Friedland. Uh, if yeah, if you, can you hear Adam? You have to scream. Hi, David. Uh, nice to meet you. Can you hear him? Uh, yeah, it's a little uh, muffled because of the yelling. Uh, it, it's a little. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he's on the other but, side of the room, and then. Uh, so, well, can he come closer? Yeah, Adam can come closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. And, Hi. But then we have a third guy Hi. here. Hello, big fan. Stop. My name's Stavros. Stav. Stav yeah, Stavros uh, is thank also thank here. You. Did you say thank you? Uh, no. Okay. Oh. So am I supposed to wear the headphones or not? No. I See, I'm wearing one one of the ears, and then I'm, I'm going to share the other ear with Adam and Stavros. Um, and I, we're, we're really just expi- – I think with as far as us goes, the four of us, this will sort of work seamlessly. It will take a couple of seconds to figure out – you know the ins and outs of how this will work, and then it's mostly just right, to so there's, ex- explain. So there's four of you guys there. There's three of us here, but then you is four, and uh, this mostly. Got it, got it, got yeah, it. the exposition uh, is is all for the audience. This is, um, you know, so wait, they. Understand. Am I supposed to be? I'm not supposed to be there with you. No, no, no. We we wanted to do it over the phone, so this actually it's. Uh, okay, got it. Yeah. All right, then then, then there seems this seems to be going. Because to be honest uh, with you, uh, you're you're our first phone guest, and we wanted to like sort of have like a dry run with to someone s- that was small enough to like. Hey, come on, come on, dude. That's fucked, dude. No, no, he can hear you. Yeah. So we just yeah we we want to like uh, just see make sure it works, and I I mean it's going well. So um, yeah, you don't want to shoot your wad yeah, on like uh, you know a, a Seth Rogen or something like that. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, we don't. I get it. This I get is, it. I get it. This is actually not even really much of like a comedy podcast. We have last week we had on um, uh, uh, Amber Frost, who's she writes stuff and uh, she's my roommate. She, I, I pay rent to her, but she's like a journalist and uh, so got the Brexit. yeah. So yeah, we did like a whole we'll episode on like on Bre- on Brexit. Uh, so yeah, it's have like you heard of that. It's like the political stuff we do. Um, the shampoo. Uh yeah, I guess we could talk about champ like the shampoo cri- like if there's a shampoo crisis, uh anything anything yeah like political stuff. But you are like this. It's an honor to have you on. Um, we're all f- um, you know, we're all fans. Me and Adam and Stavros, big are fans, big, big big fans. I think I think uh, I think you're doing great. I think Seth Rogan will respond to that. That's a smart thing to say up front. Do you have his uh, number or something? Um, say what? Well, Let's go ahead, Adam. Do you have his number or uh, email? Yeah, yeah. It's 213-698-1842. Okay. okay. Thanks, Thanks, man. Thank yeah. you. What was that? What did he yeah. say? Um, he said his no- Seth Rogen's number. But let's, oh, nice. Dude. We should intro you for I love our, Pineapple Express, man. Uh, we should intro you for our like our guests uh, on the show, or I mean our, our listeners who listen to the show who, who may not be familiar. Uh, David Cross is... Um, you know, uh, probably like our, our biggest, our biggest, uh, guest so far. For he's, sure. Um, he's been on television. He's been in, uh, feature films. Um, do, uh, you, have you, do you have a book? Radio, radio. I've done radio. He's done radio. Um, have you uh, authored any, uh, any done pe- feature radio? I've done, uh, feature podcasts, um, you know, PSAs. I did a PSA. Uh, okay, so you're no stranger to the the podcast format. Mm-hmm. So uh, in the upfront, you know, you just intro the guests and uh, tell us some of your like your your biggest hits. What's yeah? What are you yeah? What are your like your big hits? Uh, we in what in what sense? I'm not sure. Like if they did, hits. if they were like here's, if they were like here's the guy, and then here's like. Play the hits, you know, and then they pointed at you, like a, a presumably like an audience of some kind. Well, I don't, uh, you know, I'm not, a, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not a musician. I don't have, I don't have hits per se. Um, like top, like I, as a, as a comedian, I don't, we don't kind of rank our, jokes that way there's no like chart uh hmm. I, I guess if that if that's what you're that's yeah, really interesting I mean, i'm just i'm just gonna yeah, yeah so there's there's no yeah. he said it, that he said that he's not a musician and as a comedian um you're like your top 10 lists mm-hmm. they don't they prefer comedians will oh. prefer not to do top 10 lists who's so, your favorite band then well yeah. no that's not that's not 
what I said. I, I, I just say we don't prefer to. Do, I, I just say they don't chart. There's no. You can't. Um, you can't really keep track of a. You, you don't purchase. You don't. Uh, uh, a joke isn't like a commodity that's. So you don't sellable remember. Or, you don't. Like, you don't remember your top hits then. No, he's saying he, re- no, we, he remembers we, them. He just they don't. You don't rank them. It's like if you had children, you wouldn't be like, hey, you know, John's the best and Stevie's the worst, even though, you know, Stevie has, like, uh, you know, mental d- disability or something. You would say they're the same. Mm-hmm. Even both though of, in your heart. I love both of them, even yeah. though one of them is it's better. It's yeah, better. I guess that analogy would apply if you were to re-rank your kids weekly, but it, uh, we, that doesn't really happen. And I, I guess unless there was an introduction of a new kid every once in a while. I, it, yeah, that's not the best okay. analogy, really. But, um, but yeah, just to go back, there's no. I if I would, you know, I'd, I'd probably just sort of give them a, a funny look and say, "What are you talking about?" Okay. If somebody asked me to name my top hits. Um, uh, let's talk for a second about. Uh, well, we'll talk about that. But uh, uh, many people might be familiar with you from uh, a little thing called Mister Show. And uh, I would be lying if I said that I haven't seen a, an episode or two. And I'm, cer- I'm certain that uh, um, my friends here... I've watched a lot on YouTube. Yeah, I've seen a lot on YouTube. Uh, yeah, we were, we're fans of the show. Uh, but for you know, listeners that may not f- be familiar, why don't you, uh, can you tell us a little bit, a little bit about that? Uh, sure. It was a sketch show that ran for a couple of years with uh, Bob Odenkirk and uh, a bunch of other talented, funny folks, um, back in the mid-90s, mid to late 90s, I guess, uh, oh, yeah. on HBO. Um, and, and HBO, that stands for Home Box Office, is that correct? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't really checked in, but it used to. It, I don't know if that's changed. Um, I know they have uh, Game of Thrones on now, so I don't know if that. Yeah, it might be like one of those, uh, like with like a KFC situation where it used to be right. Kentucky Fried Chicken, and then you know the government actually made them change it because is that true? The chickens are so genetically modified that they're n- legally that they're not chickens. They're legally they're not allowed to call them chickens anymore. Did I, you know? Did you yeah, know that it, before? It, I saw. Um, it. I you know I, it, it could be on one of those sites that I visit when I get drunk uh, websites. I, I I thought it was. Kinder, it's not Kinder Fried. There's Kentucky okay. Fried. There's Kentucky Fried Chicken, and then there's Kennedy Fried Chicken, and they're right. Uh, but only one of them is KFC. Mm-hmm. KFC was the one that used to be um, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and then they they shortened right, it. And right. now they brought uh, Colonel Sanders, who was their um, you know their mascot. mascot. They brought yeah. him back, and now sort of to come full circle. They have comedians playing Colonel Sanders. Mm-hmm. Is that something you would be interested in doing? Uh, you know, it. De- I mean, it totally depends. Uh, um, I I doubt it, but um, you know, uh, I think if things progress the way they've been progressing, uh, given time, I, I might have no other choice but to. Accept that offer if that was to be made. Now, when you're saying, um, but I, I mean, I could also I'd hold out for Kennedy fried chicken. I'd be that mascot too. I I, I don't agree with all of her uh, uh, points, um, and I haven't seen every show she's on. I know she's on Fox. And whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, maybe I'd hold off. No, I don't. It. I don't think it's. I don't think it's named after her. Uh, Kennedy, well, but her name is Kennedy. Yeah, and she's the only one that's still alive. Is she a part of that right. family? Do you know? The what Kentucky you know? Fried Chicken. No, oh, Kennedy, Kennedy is Kennedy. Is she one of the ca- probably? You know what, folks? Probably the only Kennedy. Political. Yeah, yeah. The only Kennedy that should be murdered. Am I right? <laughs> she's the only Kennedy to not be murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess a brain tumor counts as a type of murder. <laughs> Dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you, if yeah, I mean that that uh, you know, God is a murderer in a, in a sense, sure. Yeah, hold on one second, Adam. We're talking about Kennedy from mm-hmm. Fox News. Adam, the, uh, the currently VG. the the earbud situation is I have one and stop. I have one now too. Yeah, I have no earbuds. Adam, I can't hear anything yeah, you're saying Dave. 
Adam has uh, at no earbuds, so we were just uh, catching him up on that. So uh, obviously, you're uh, not a big fan of Fox News. Um, How about are you uh, are you like a Bernie Sanders guy or? Uh, yeah, I was. Um, oh, you, uh, you gave up on him, or? Uh, well, I don't think he has any uh, viable course to become president. I, it's not like I gave up on him. I'm, I. Uh, because I'm, I'm thinking about voting for him still. Okay, well, you that's your prerogative. Um, how about this, I, tr- how about this would, Trump guy? You know. Uh, I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, what do, you, what, do you, what do you think about him? Um, you know, I mean, I, I, mean, I wouldn't. It, who's, so who's your second choice? You're going Hillary then, if you can't get. Do you tell him I got a dog? No, not yet. Um, I, I, I mean, it, part of me is interested in kennedy you know yeah that'd like, be maybe pretty that's cool. what i was getting at yeah you know a, a sexy lady president how about yeah, that Yeah, like a kind of a, a a female contrarian uh yeah that would be cool a sexy lady you probably do you probably do pretty well with the honeys as a <laughs> a celebrity <laughs> Well, uh, I'm married, so... Oh, but bef- uh, yeah, like, but before you were married? Um, you know, I certainly uh, Does he fuck? hung out with a bunch of honeys. Who's the, ho- who's the hottest woman you've ever fucked? Come on, Stav, don't be gross. I want to know, man, everyone wants to know. Well, we're having a political... You know, you kind of I mean, started tones. that, honestly. I just, I made a comment, you know, there's... I'm doing like you didn't even let him answer. You know, I'm sorry. Go, uh, go ahead, Mr. Cross. I apologize. Uh, it's all right. Um, uh, I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, really get into that. I, I, I have okay. too much respect okay. for um, the women in the past. Uh, um. What do you, when know, you say Alyssa women Milano? in the past, you mean... Oh, Wait. Alyssa Milano. Nice, nice, man. Yeah. That's, Whoa, sick. Hell, wow, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Sick. I beat off the Charmed all the time when I was younger. <laughs> Charmed. What's the one uh, Embrace of the Vampire? Have you seen that movie? Uh, no. She it, is... I, she's I, did, con- I didn't hear exactly what you said, but I heard the word vampire, so I'm definitely... Oh. Uh, I haven't seen that movie. She's in a movie. I think it's it's Embrace of a Vampire. Oh, yeah. Her She's are completely out. nude. In oh, that those movie. are awesome, dude. You can see her tits. She's also um, underage in the Joey Botafuco movie. Nice. Which, is, that's just a, a tidbit I happen to know about her. Not that that adds any appeal. What's he saying? He's sure, a, sure, sure. He's, he's not saying anything right oh, now. Okay. Um, Adam's got it, by the way, guys. I don't have it. I can't hear it. Hi, David. Um, I just got a dog, um, and I don't know if I should change the dog's name. What is the dog's name currently? Isis. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't. Um, I mean, is it named after the terrorist group or the, the old TV show with the lady? I don't the, know. I, you know. I just, she, she's from bedside. She's like used in dog fights she's a pit bull and my friend rescued her and then he had to get rid of her because his landlord wouldn't let him have it so i took it to my apartment and i just call her icy pretty much but you know i don't know i i feel like if i change it then the terrorists sort of win you know so i don't, I don't really know sure that. yeah yeah and and it's also going to give the dog a complex too and it right. teaches the dog you know uh exactly that that the that What's you saying? know, fear and terror work. Up, so, um, you know, you can maybe get another. Uh, get a, you can maybe figure out a way. To continue make to call her ISIS, and then you know if I mean? people get upset, you can say, you know, when when the dog is out of earshot, you can say, "Oh no, uh, her! You must have misheard me. Her name is Mysis. Mysis. Yeah, because yeah. I was in the dog park, and I said, uh, I got a phone call, and I said, I'm training with ISIS right now. Right. Yeah, you can you could probably see how that yeah. might come off. Did but, uh, he did, dude. Uh, nice. Uh, David uh, thinks I should keep it. Nice. Um, thank you for the input on on that. Uh, I apologize I if that's sort of unrelated. Um, I car. 
Oh, yeah. uh, we're not going to ask him about fucking Stav's my, car. My car got we, stolen recently, and I don't know. Have you ever had that happen? Could you please respect... I'm sorry, but we have hand signals set up so that uh, Adam and Stavros understand when it's appropriate to speak or not. And uh, he's just not... He's not... Uh, sorry. Go ahead. Ask him about... I'm sorry. Stavros asked you a question about his fucking car. So we'll do that. Uh, my car got my car got stolen recently. I mean, I didn't want to, but Adam kind of put me on the spot. Um, so yeah, my car got stolen. Did that, did that ever happen to you? Uh, yes. That sucks, right? Um, yeah, it wasn't the uh, wasn't the greatest thing to to have happen to me. No. What kind of car was it? A Honda Civic. Holy, Holy shit, shit, dude! That I had a <laughs> mine was a Honda Civic too. Yeah, Fuck. stop those Honda Civic boys. Dude, this is big. Podcast. Uh, what what color? It was a silver. Uh. 98 though right. maybe it was you know mine was a 98 did you when when did yours get stolen i had an old one um right? y- y- this would have been uh probably 95 uh, no but what year 96? was the car oh shit i don't know a 93 uh, maybe oh fuck all right well okay well you we were guess, hoping it was right. the same year whatever man yeah. that, that would have been cool if you guys had the sa- like imagine if you guys had the same exact type of car and they both happen to get stolen yeah and we i mean what we could kind of car you drive go to those meetings together i guess what what kind of car do you drive now uh toyota highlander toyota hey. highlander that's a great vehicle that's good a lot so, of room thank you um well you know what thank you so much for uh coming <laughs> on um you're, you're an inspiration to us and um you know does he have any questions for us well uh, yeah if you have any questions for us or if there's anything you want to plug or anything um I, you know i have uh zero questions for you um <laughs> none i and i let me give it a second uh he said he has zero questions for us <laughs> no i don't have any i don't i can't uh i don't anticipate ever having Okay. Any uh, questions for you? Uh, uh, that's all right. It, like it could be like I've general. Gotta, it could be general. No, it doesn't have to be specific. It's, it's okay. Um, but yeah, man, thanks. Thanks for coming on. Um, we look forward to hearing and seeing um, all about uh, stuff coming up. And uh, you know, sorry about the the tech issues or whatever. But we're trying our best. And you know, I mean, sometimes in life you just gotta you. I think it you good. just make it work. That so, was, you know, I, I th- thanks for uh, hanging out with us, and we'll, we'll see you on yeah, the flip side. Yeah, sure. I am, I'm happy to be part of the experiment, and uh, I, I truly believe you when you say you are trying your best. I, I believe this is what did he say? Quite literally the best that you can do. He said he believes All right. Thanks, man. Uh, I actually don't – I don't know. how I can't hang up the phone, so – um, no, you hang up. <laughs> yeah, we're doing like a no, you hang up. No, sort you of hang thing. up. He probably won't even. He probably wants to keep talking. Oh, he hung up. All right. Well, did you hang up? Nope. Oh shit. Oh, uh, uh, um, at it's Adam's phone. So if can you tell? It's here, Adam. Can you can you help end the end the call? Thank you. Yeah. So I just David. I, they said thank you for on it, being on the podcast. I just want to say thank you from me. Just they didn't say that I was saying thank you. So. Um, uh, I I just I like how um, they're mean? not uh, emotionally capable or physically capable or maybe even legally capable that? of hanging up a phone that's not theirs. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking. He's it's talking I don't. It, he had to do the uh, the pin the pin number before I could get to the button. But we can hang up now. But uh, oh, okay. yes. Yeah. So uh, whenever you're ready, we'll, we're going to hang up the phone. Okay. And, oh yeah, you have my number now. So if you want to text me, or... and I'll just I'll just shoot you a text uh, on Adam's number. All right. All right. See, I'll give you, see you later. Th- thanks for coming in, man. Okay, we did it. Oh uh, yeah, man. Hell we yeah. Hung up. Yo, that's that was fucking tight. Sad. I think that went good. Yeah, dude, that yo, went great. Hot, yo, sick. I love you guys, man. We fucking. Killed this is that. honestly. Yeah. I didn't think this was gonna go anywhere. We but that. We did it. Um, we talked to him. I think he he seemed a little mad at the end. He was doing a bit. I think. Was he? He's people like that are always on. You know. He's on. He was. He's always on. He's always yeah. on. Oh, okay. You can't, you know, yeah. Um, that went great. Yeah, I think we had a great time with that. 
Uh, and like we're f- it's like we're we're building relationships, you know. It's kind of cool in the, in the industry, man. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we're gonna take a break and then uh, come back with the second half. Um, yeah, just like a we recap. Talk about the coop we, in Turkey. Yeah, we gotta talk about the coop, and then we guys, not to fucking get your hopes up, but we might give a little minister David Cross a call back. <laughs> <laughs> See what else he has to say. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, uh, all right. All right. Later. Uh, Stav is like literally <laughs> shitting himself. <laughs> he thinks it's funny, but he's gonna shit himself. Off mic. And he's wearing he's wearing cargo shorts. It's, so. They ain't got no fucking cargos. <laughs> yeah, you keep the turds in them pockets. <laughs> you got all them extra pockets for the turds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, how about I? I heard they ain't even eat ice cream. That's really like yeah. Why are they so smart, dude? If they just NASA. Yeah, yeah. It's just, they just had fancy mattresses and like, you know, shut up, NASA. Stop. <laughs> And yo, and NASA, <laughs> stop fucking listening to my phone calls without my permission, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. All right, yo. Oh, yeah. So they got this place called NASA. NASA, they like listen to phone calls, this, this, emails, dude. There's a brother named the, N-Word Snowman. The meta. <laughs> <laughs> my man, N-Word Snowman, be telling people that NASA, <laughs> yo, for real? <laughs> Yeah, hold on. Hey, yeah, my, man hey, my, I'm about to, hey, my man opened in my house. <laughs> yeah. Paul, Paul Mooney, 2016. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Paul yo. Mooney and Ralph should have it their own TV show. Yo, this is some good shit, yo. Yeah. And my man, what? it's okay if you if you doing a voice, <laughs> go ahead and drop the M bomb. That's, that's yo, <laughs> man. Somebody found out Twitter. It's today. a character. This is a good search. Yeah, you go yeah. on Twitter and then you type in, you search for N asterisk 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 A. And it's all fucking white people being like, where are my n- niggas at? They, like, <laughs> Astrid, they censor it. You know, like, so like, they the like, know it's wrong. Yeah. Uh, but then they do it anyways. That's pretty good. That's some extremely good shit. It is. Uh, a lot that, of, I have never listened to Two Dope Girls, but I do you know queens. that two it's... Two Dope Queens. Re- two Dope Queens, but I know that it's remarkably popular on the iTunes oh, comedy yeah. list. Well, w- uh, women listen to... That's the problem. Is it's women a listen women to listen to podcasts. <laughs> we got to Men do <laughs> sports. <laughs> <laughs> the Men do sports. Men do yeah, sports. we should do sports If talk. the woman just stays in the kitchen <laughs> and the man plays the video games. <laughs> that's the rule, bitch. That's why I don't understand understand why people are mad about michael vick he's like let a man kill some dogs yeah yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> steve harvey is the best comedian he's the, the number one yeah. he's, he's so our fucking favorite. funny what the hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking he just has the worst takes and it's, it's the worst opinions yeah, possible the worst, yeah he's yeah. talking about like he's like they mad about iraq they mad about afghanistan saying they shooting babies over there shit send me I shoot the fucking baby myself. <laughs> He's like, a baby come up on me. I'll be like, kak, 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 kak. Lord Steve Dunn shot the baby. <laughs> Wait a second. Is that a real bit? Yeah, it's like a real bit. He had a bit where <laughs> in the Steve Kings. Steve Dunn shot, shot the, the baby. baby. It's fucking- Chinese nanny recently. And like my the first place my head went was like, uh, oh, uh, Mr. Sheffield. No, I was about Mr. To Sheffield, say. please. No, Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she's a freshy girl from freshy <laughs> the nanny named flan <laughs> fucks those there, there's a certain type of drone that fucks the queen and that produces everybody in england i thought it was just a it's bunch just a of chimney sweep yeah, a yeah. specific kind of chimney sweep fucks the queen yeah i, think I like how they, they named like bees they named like the queen they're like oh that must be the royal one because it's the biggest and then it's just the biggest whore yes <laughs> it's just this sex slave that lives in the middle of the hive no. Oh, she's the queen because she's the boss, dude. Uh, she's I think not the they boss, just all dude. fuck her, right? They all just fuck. She's just a big fuck hog that lives in the middle of the beehive. <laughs> that sounds pretty chill. Yeah. Imagine dude, if we she... could just go every time we want to fuck, just take a train to like to yeah. the queen. The middle of, I guess, Midtown or <laughs> yeah. something. And then the top just of the fuck Empire State quick. Building, the Anthony Kumia <laughs> Studios. There's a there's an 1,100 pound woman <laughs> that everyone has sex with. There's some good pussy underneath <laughs> that stomach, boy. I'll tell you what. <laughs> It's House in a cat. bodega. Hey, see, yeah. too. Me and Stav are doing the Anthony Cumia show next week. Which, oh, hell yeah. Which, by the way, seems like an error on, like... Their like booking? No, no, like, political season to be on the Anthony Cumia yeah, show. Are they, like, <laughs> Trump? Oh, boy. 
Uh, oh yeah, are dude. they Trump? Oh so, yeah. So uh, you know, and, and like just last week was like you know at that shooting at that nightclub in Florida. <laughs> as soon as it happened, he's on fucking the Twitter. Teen, the teen club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. He's, he's on social media and he tweeted, "I guess Black Lives don't matter." With like the Black Lives Matter emoji, and it's oh like, oh my god, what do you stand to gain? In this exactly. <laughs> what is the point? You're just happy that black children are dead. You're happy yeah. that black teens are dead. <laughs> Staten Island is basically a police station. <laughs> the entire island is like a police station how do they, if, built how, on top of garbage. How does the economy work <laughs> if everyone is a firefighter there? If um, it, literally every single male in Staten Island is well, FDNY. every 10 years they have a 9-11. And <laughs> that <laughs> brings in a, a lot prop. of business. Yeah, <laughs> Just think about all the pins and little flags that they... Yeah, it's they not sold. just firefighting; it's firefighter memorabilia that they produce. Yeah, yeah. That night. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> they also make little yeah. fire, little hats, little yeah. helmets for the tiny hats. To wear. Yeah, <laughs> the good prophet Tim Allen teaches us. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, uh, like you know how Buddhists have like Om. Yeah, yeah. And, like that's their noise. That's his mantra. That's his Om. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Namaste. And it's like he has yoga, but it's to make your you less flexible. <laughs> It's so that you fucking slip a disc trying to pick up, you know, your wallet when you're 40 years old. Oh, fuck. I want to be a jacked fucking fat guy, dude. I want to be a fat guy with big ass arms. Um, well, you're not. He was like, uh, he was like, yeah, I guess you like them uh, Amazonian girls, huh? Because his girlfriend's like 5'9", you know? <laughs> and so he's like, I guess you like those Amazonian girls. And uh, Seth was like, you know, watch it, buddy, or I'll knock that coffee cup right out of your hand. You know, and, it, <laughs> and uh, Harlan's mood immediately changes, and he's like, yeah, that'll be the last fucking thing you ever do. <laughs> and like, <laughs> Seth was like, uh, oh! <laughs> like terrified. Oh my God. I love there's that aggression for no fucking reason, just always hoping to get into a fight in yeah, the back yeah, of your yeah. fucking mind. I'm God. so scared of those kind of guys, though. Yeah, but everybody wants to be those guys. And that's what, what the good prophet Tim Allen teaches us. <laughs> Doesn't Jinko sound like like an Australian racial slur? Uh, every Australian word sounds like a racial <laughs> slur. Look at those fucking Jinkos over there. <laughs> hey, so far, this, you, you, fucking big you let him stick his didgeridoo dick inside <laughs> of you? You know their cum has got AIDS in it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that, it's got that didgeridoo bog semen in it. Yeah. Remember when we saw in Heather West Graham? Village. And she looked at us? <laughs> yeah, she wanted to fuck us dude yeah. Heather Graham <laughs> Nick and I walked past us on this past Heather Graham on the street and she like literally just wanted yeah, to fuck both of us she did she no, looked at I us. actually fucked her before she saw you and she said she didn't she was way skinnier in real life yeah she yeah, walked I by and I was like I fucked you six times I fucked you six times I fucked you six times that's the best cat call yeah I fucked you six times cause it confuses <laughs> we already <women>. fucked <laughs> yeah. we already fucked and it wasn't that good <laughs> I, I fucked you six times <laughs> just start yelling that at women I already fucked you and it wasn't that good I fucked you six times that should be, we should start doing that. <laughs> oh, that's good. All guys. the cum boys out there, take videos of you doing that and send us vines. Yeah, at yeah. Brandon Wardell. We're catcalling women to raise awareness for ALS. <laughs> uh, just run up to a random woman on the street, honk her tits, and then ice bucket her, <laughs> and say dicks out for Harambe. Brandon yeah, Wardell made Brandon me do Wardell. this. Did Brand, Brandon yeah. made? Okay, guys, I don't if you're talk in college, to him about it. Brandon made that up. What dicks out for Harambe? Yeah, I don't, it's like a big deal. Though. I don't know if he I made mean, it up. Dicks out for Haram. I mean, did he get behind it, I've, dude? Who well, knows? Brandon's never made anything up in his life. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know who Danny Trejo was. You know, what you forget because yeah. he's a celebrity. How much of a fucking Guido name Leonardo DiCaprio is? Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's such a blue-eyed like spaghetti de, de pasta sauce. <laughs> Guido <laughs> Bolognese. Yeah, yeah. Guido Bolognese. He confronts him and he's like, "I've got a dossier on you." Like, I, you know, he's like. uh I can expose you at any time and right. I want. And he's like, well, what do you want? And he's like, I want you to tell me about, you know, what it was like to kill people or whatever. Whoa. And then they have this weird sort of homoerotic relationship where they never actually fuck. But then there's this extended, like, showering scene where, like, boy, young boys are showering in the movie. And they called in a bunch of extras for that scene. And uh, they filmed it. And then, like, you know, he was directing. He's like, all right, now take off all your clothes or whatever. Because they were supposed to be in, like, bathing suits and, like, 
you know, you, a film production is like such a high stress thing. Right. They have the cameras pointing at them. They're like, they're just going to do it because there's all this pressure not to fuck up the, the shot. Yeah, yeah. Or also, you just, they're little kids, right? They were 14. Oh, okay. And yeah, then their moms were all like behind the camera, yeah, like, yeah, take yeah. your fucking chance. Yeah. <laughs> do it, Stage Michael. Moms. We need another boat. Do it. Do Michael. It. Show your dick to that man. Such so we can dick, get Michael. Mommy needs a Ferrari. <laughs> so they, you know, they, and, they, you know, they, then there was a, a lawsuit and the lawsuit got dismissed or whatever they're like no it's not it's, it's art. art it's not exploitation and then like years later it came out that yeah Brian Singer was like molesting people so is he is he still fucking and sucking off little kids or apparently yeah. there's like a ring of powerful powerful Bill Clinton's uh, a part of it dude yeah. Bill Clinton yeah. is part of this child molestation yeah, it's true What's, I never even like read anything about that the pedophile the Lolita Express that plane that you just fuck children on what I don't know you know what I'm talking about I the know. Lolita Express no. that guy Epstein that runs like a child fucking service or something <laughs> yes Epstein <laughs> You know him, Adam, right? Yeah. All aboard the Lolita Express. Flight logs reveal... This is why we need a producer. Mm. A good ass Somebody song. could read this to us. Flight logs for Jeffrey Epstein's private plane, dubbed the Lolita Express, were mm. published for the first Welcome time on all. Thursday. Yeah, it's a sex slave ring. <laughs> uh, alleged victim, Virginia Roberts. That's a good victim name. Yeah. Uh, says she was recruited as a slave when she was 15 Whoa. and she was forced to have sex with both Prince Andrew and Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz. <laughs> Harvard Law <laughs> Professor? What? Yeah. So, that's, that's why he couldn't be in L.A. for the O.J. trial. Yeah, yeah, because he, he was, was busy in, on, in, the, in the on the kid fuck plane. Like, we prepared a lot for that interview. People, people uh, can tell and as we can't give that effort I read every, every word of his Wikipedia. Page. My little Absolutely. sister when I saw her at my dad's birthday took me aside and said that she thinks that we spoiled a really big opportunity for the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Everyone says that. <laughs> Do I? And my roommate said I had to turn it off. That was another review that the critics have been. <laughs> the, the critics have been. What are they uh, talking about? That was a great interview. I yeah. thought it was hilarious. Personally, we should be on NPR. No, it was good. But, it wasn't hilarious. And I said this in the first hitting. half. Apparently, what people were most upset about was that after we hung up with him, we were all stoked. That yeah, we we're dude. all excited about. We yeah, we just talked about having to, a good interview. That's what we we did. just talked to Daniel Cross, the <laughs> star of HBO's Veep. Yeah, people I mean, are so, whatever such did. fucking idiots, dude. Um, yeah. Well, yo, what you know? What I was thinking about is like, you don't hear about bronies much anymore. They had like a big <laughs> year in 2014. You don't. Did they just realize they were wrong? I went to BronyCon. I told you. Oh yeah, Eric. that's right. Yeah. When and my ex girlfriend Joyce, yeah, uh, oh, Joyce, back, who was back, back also. Uh, <laughs> gong. <laughs> anyway, um, BronyCon was weird as fuck, and there was this, there was this kid. There was a circle of kids that were just chanting and screaming, and like I didn't know what was going on in the middle of the circle. I sort of fought my way through it. There were in the middle. It was uh, just a boy with two My Little Pony stuffed animals that were just putting the private parts of them, like, smushing them together. <gasps> oh, and just all these kids yes. are, like, cheering and just being like, <laughs> ah, ah. It was the, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my entire life. And Holy this dude was, shit. like, purple. His face was purple from, like, that's, just that's being incredible, so dude. intensely, like, uh, I don't know. That like so just good. Just having a n natural hand. I wanted to get Tom Sizemore guy. We get Tom Sizemore. Sizemore is the number one goal. You no, just want to eat Tom Sizemore no. got arrested for beating his wife. Yeah, and, and that's why we can't get him on the podcast. Uh, so I tweeted, I tweeted, I was like, my good friend Tom Sizemore wouldn't do this. These allegations are lies. And he favorited it. <laughs> Tom got back on Twitter to favorite uh, my great. defense of him. Well, it's true. So Tom, if you're out there, you owe me one. Form, conservative, no. orthodox. And my dad's like, he like took me aside. He's like, and then he went from Al to or Alejandro to Eliyahu. And then my Hell dad was yeah. like, uh, you know he had three circumcisions. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, what was <laughs> left? Yeah, because they do it differently. What Each was type left? does it differently. No, he said that the second time after they take the force, he had an adult, he was an adult man oh, who had geez. a circumcision. Which is fucked up because all those tools are made for babies' penis. It's true. <laughs> so it's, true. it's very <laughs> difficult to get an accurate cut on a man's penis. Especially when he did it orthodox style and he had a grown man suck the suck blood out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you actually have to get a baby rabbi 
If you're a grown man and you get to circumcision, <laughs> you get to, it. Yeah, it has you to be a baby, a baby rabbi. It's that only your fair. Penis. It's only fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dick, it's like a well, pacifier. It's it's a sin if either party, rem- you know, one of the parties has to not be able to remember what happened. <laughs> right. Then there's plausible deniability. <laughs> Absolutely. That's how it works in the eyes of God. <laughs> you get a cannoli, you get your dick sucked by a 17 year old named Giuseppe. One of my favorite Little Italy moments. I was at the San Gennaro Festival like two or three years ago, and I was just walking with my cousin. And some like, like just this complete stereotype, like this yeah. fucking, you know, we're like a guinea wearing a guinea tee, you mm-hmm. know, like fucking wiping his mouth with a <laughs> handkerchief. <laughs> and he's just got this fucking white handkerchief and he's just wiping his fucking mouth as he comes up to us. And we didn't say anything to him. <laughs> we're just like, you know, standing on the corner and he comes up to us and he's like, you know, sucking his teeth and he's like. You want to have the best fucking thing you ever had? <laughs> you go down a, down a block, halfway. There's a place called Cannoli King. They got a thing. It's not a cannoli. Looks like a cannoli, but it's not a cannoli. It's, got, it's like an ice cream cone with the cannoli filling in it. You try one. <laughs> Start off with one. <laughs> See if you don't get a fucking other one after that. <laughs> Is that when you started your alt? No, that was actually when I was just in Secaucus and I couldn't stop saying Secaucus in that voice. <laughs> Secaucus. Hey, Secaucus. When I see caucus, I suck caucus. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, they no. were really chill yeah. towards Muslims for a really long time. Yeah. That yeah, they fucking, were so welcoming. That truck thing was insane. I mean, I really had no idea. They were like, he killed a hundred people with, with a truck. With one truck. Jeez. Yeah. And it was like, what, the truck explode? They're like, no, he just ran over people. Holy, that's, he's just playing Grand Theft yeah, Auto. Yeah, it's like, just... Get out of the way of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they were dude, watching you can dodge a truck if it's coming at you. Well, it was a, like it was a parade. He just drove through like a mile oh, worth of like a parade. Oh my god! Yeah, so that's so funny. Me and Adam just clearly show that we've never even looked this thing up once. Yeah. I, well, you yeah. know what? You know what's funny is <laughs> like, oh my god, really? That's this headline. shit happened like a month ago. No blacks on the TV screen. Sketch. Did we talk about that? <laughs> no, I don't remember that. You remember that? That Chris Rock like no blacks on the TV screen. No. And it's like, uh, uh, yeah, he goes through every network and he's like, UPN, underpaid Negroes, oh, uh, yeah. ABC, anything but collards, <laughs> uh, WB, where's the brothers? Oh, no, I was talking about the yeah, shirt. Yeah, the Warner Brothers shirt, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. With, yeah. The, with the Warner Brothers font. That's Warner like Brothers. When yeah, you yeah, see yeah, the yeah. police warn a brother. That was a good one. Yeah. That was a good That one. was back when police brutality was still funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Before camera phones yeah. had to make it too <laughs> real. Yeah. Everything. Ugh. Yeah, I remember that was like a like people are like, "Wow, can you believe the police unfairly target black people?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's we knew that, didn't yeah, we?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we kind of just sort of laughed at it. That it's was, like, yeah. Now we, that was the trade off. You get to be cool, <laughs> but the police are going to kill you. But that's you're cool. Right. You are really cool. You're that's really a cool. Fact. Uh, one time, uh, it was my great grandmother's hundredth birthday. Is she dead now? She's dead now. Hell yeah, fucking bitch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> that old bitch dead as fuck, babe. I have a, I have a little so respect. Fuck that old bitch. I'm about to I'm teabag so her happy. fucking coffin. She's I have a little dead. respect for the I'm dead. I'm so what, happy. Uh, what cemetery she Thank d- buried in? Christ. Uh, I want to dig it up and piss I don't know. in it. I mean, she went into the towers and her body vaporized, so. <laughs> <laughs> she actually We're not going to have a funeral with no body. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. She died. She, died she was 100 9/11. years old. Uh, she actually yeah. died in 9-11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a tragedy. She had so much more life to live. Yeah. Well, she was a firefighter. Yeah, she was a first responder. She was a 9-11 firefighter. Uh, my grandmother, Steve Ranazzi. <laughs> you see how the L he be, took on the battle? Be, if, if I was like 100 years old, I would go around lying about being a 9-11. Hell yes. Dude. That would be the funniest 100%. joke to me. If I was like 100 years old, I'd be like, I was one of the first people in the towers. <laughs> 9-11 <laughs> happened. <laughs> I, I, I carried 30 just in a wheelchair yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna been on dialysis since 1979 <laughs> i carried 15 people all the way from the top floor down to the ground floor <laughs> and i saved them actually one of the towers didn't fall down for, for a while because i was holding it up myself <laughs> is this mr jack lemon are you here yeah, right yeah, now yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh what you do God. is, see, you're gonna. I tell you, I get her right there, and I bend her over, and then I, I, here's what I do: I fuck her. That's what I do. <laughs> Jack Lemon describing how he would have sex with a woman is. It's a bit we do on the train, me and Adam. <laughs> pretend we don't know each other, and then we uh, go up and pretend to be Jack Lemon. <laughs> just whispering how he would fuck a woman in the other person's ear. You see what you yeah. Have you heard about this? What you do is you bend her over, okay? Right, right when she least expected, you jam it right into her fucking pussy. And I tell you, I had her right there. 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 She was sitting right there, and then I I I just I I I, I, I closed. Her. I, I closed. I tell you, God damn it! I tell you, Shelley still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Shelley, I still got it. I still got it. Uh, um, yeah, what were we talking about? Oh, 9-11? Your grandmother, it's so funny, your dead-ass oh, yeah, yeah, grandmother. Yeah. So she's telling a fucking story. We're there for like 100th birthday. Ugh. And I, uh, well, yeah, no, it was t- disgusting. But like, so my grandfather, her <laughs> son, she's is sitting there. she old people shit on her mouth. The yeah, she's, her mouth. she's sitting where you're sitting. And mm-hmm. my grandfather's sitting where I'm sitting. And I was sitting like over where... My uh, this helps the listener. My yeah. Milwaukee seven and a half inch tilt lock uh, power <laughs> yeah. saw. Nick's got a saw for some reason. Yeah, I got a big fucking saw, bitch. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I was sitting over where the saw is. Keep, and yeah. my grandfather's like watch, it, like he's like, you know, like listening so intently to the story and leaning forward. And one of his balls <laughs> is just <laughs> completely like jackass. Bitch. It's like one of his That's fucking balls awesome. is just completely hanging out of his shorts, <laughs> and it's like a fucking tennis ball. He had this <laughs> huge ball, this giant ball, just That's hanging awesome. out of his fucking out of his shorts. Anyhow, the story she's telling why this why this is a good anecdote that'll lead up time is uh, you know I guess she lived she was living somewhere in in D.C. off Georgia Avenue I guess when she was like a kid and she was like and we lived uh, on the corner of Georgia Avenue and I remember we would go outside in the afternoon and there was this Chinaman. That was, <laughs> That would sell apples, and me and my friend Suzanne would run up, and we'd pull his tail and steal his apples and laugh and laugh and laugh. And I'm like, oh, my family's, my family's just like laughing at this story. I'm like, that's a hate crime. Pull his pull tail. His t- yeah, she meant like his cue. He's yeah, like yeah, boxer yeah. rebellion right. cue. They'd pull his fucking hair and steal his apples. This poor Chinaman. Oh, that's just trying to live hilarious. his life selling apples. Which, by the way, what a hilarious Chinese immigrant business. Absolutely. <laughs> Yo, you want apple? <laughs> oh, <hey>, apple, too, sir. <laughs> My grandmother had severe Alzheimer's yeah. uh, right before she went, Hell and yeah. we were in the nursing Bitch. home. And she's an old South African woman in in Las Vegas. She completely lost her mind at this point. The nursing home was only for Alzheimer's people. So oh, that must the, have been the funniest it's fucking the best. place Yeah, so ever. it's just like, it's, it's scary. How many N-words get said in that fucking well, place? Well, <laughs> this is the story. Oh, sorry, not to step well, she, on it. No, 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 she didn't say the N-word, but um, this old... Uh, this older uh, black woman in a, like a muumu that was like see through. You could like just Hell see her yeah. nipples like three. It, you'd clearly been washed like a thousand times. She <laughs> she <laughs> she sat down at the table. She just starts blabbering at me and my mom, just not even in like in words. She's just like shouting at us. And my grandmother looks at her and she looks at me and my mom and she's like. The natives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the natives. <laughs> That's all they're native. My yeah, grandfather yeah. one time referred to black people as the Negroid contingency. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is the funniest thing I've ever. Negroid <laughs> contingency. Yeah, I have no idea. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, where? He, how well, no, that's, that's like one of those scientists that claims that fucking skull size is smaller. Oh you know? yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. what they call phrenology. It. Yeah, phrenologist. Yeah, that's, they use the word. And that's, that's, the old, there's actually some truth to it. That was the old terminology uh, for the three major racial classes. Yeah, Negroid, Caucasoid, Caucasoid, and Mongoloid. Mongoloid, and Mongoloid. Mongoloid yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is, what, uh, is um, now a hilarious word for like retard. the Devo song. Mm-hmm. Um. Um, actually, that's where, and I think I've definitely mentioned it on the podcast before, but the, uh, the, where the term Down syndrome comes from. Right, right. You have mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, uh, my grandmother, my mom was reading a book about, like, Greece, Greek immigrants in the 30s in, like, Russia, and the, my mom read a passage where the woman said, oh, I can't believe it, you know, it was like a predominantly Jewish area, and all the Greeks were scared of the Jews because they drank. They were told that they drank 
Gentile blood on oh, yeah, Passover. Yeah, yeah the and blood Bible. Right, right. So yeah. my mom's telling this story, and she's like, <laughs> "We're all la- it's me and my cousin. It's like yeah, the yeah, holidays. Yeah. We're all together. We're all laughing." And my grandmother just has <laughs> the most confused look on her face. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, "Why is everybody <laughs> laughing?" And we're like, "Grandma, isn't this hilarious? People used to think that Jews drink blood on Passover." And she's like, "Yeah, they." <laughs> they do. <laughs> it was just like we just started laughing at her, and then she, it was so fucking. Well, I'll tell you, nobody believes the rabbi dick sucking thing. That yeah, they're giving babies herpes. I tell people that, and they're like, "Shut up, man!" I'm like, right. "It's fucking it's real. True, yeah, it's real." Coming from you, it's tough to it's believe. True. I don't that know. Ra- you say the phrase "rabbis are sucking children's <laughs> dicks," <laughs> and they're supposed to believe yeah. you in your Mountain Dew shirt, <laughs> in your fucking it's just self-made your cut off House of Cards T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, nah, there was another thing people didn't believe. Me. You know, Coco the gorilla. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Coco the gorilla, when they would introduce new female researchers to the gorilla, Coco would demand to see their breasts and play with their nipples, and the handlers would be like, "I mean, you got to do what she says. She's an eight hundred pound gorilla." And so there's uh, multiple women were like sexually assaulted by really? by Coco the gorilla, and I've told numerous people that, and they're like. That's not true. Is that well, true you, for you real? told me that dolphin story. I was like, Nick, what just, dolphin story? The thing about that, they were trying to like, they filled a house like. Oh, the CIA. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great story. Yeah. Well, it wasn't CIA. I looked it no, up. It was, it was somewhat CIA it was some government. Funded. It was like it was a government thing. Yeah. There was government funding, but it was like a. Reason, they cut it was the. A they cut the funding when they put the dolphin. Uh, okay, so the, for the listeners, <laughs> here's the story. In the 1950s, and that's important because this is after. Like we won World War Two. <laughs> right, oh right. yeah, yeah. This is after. <laughs> There's no reason for any kind of like bizarre, you know, right, right, right. experiments. No, we like were this. riding high. I mean, yeah, we yeah, were yeah. like, let's fuck well, around with we, dolphins. The Ruskies were coming out yeah. next. So okay, so this is like the era where there, you know, like there was that plan to freeze bats and attach fire bombs to them <laughs> and like uh, that was like another plan uh, <laughs> 9-11 bats yeah they're, they're gonna freeze bats <laughs> and then uh, like attach fire bombs to them and drop them so that they would wake up mid-flight and then you know start spreading fire everywhere that's hilarious or, or you know sorry that they would nest they would nest and then explode or some shit I don't know right something retarded yeah so there was this uh, experiment where somebody hypothesized that Dolphins were intelligent enough to speak English, <laughs> um, and the pro- the problem is because is, they have advanced hearing. Yeah, like, they have advanced hearing, and they're also you know they have smart. They're they're, they're emotionally smart. intelligent. Yeah. They rape the each issue other. Was is like you know you don't know how to teach a dolphin English, so they thought like the answer was just complete immersion. So they developed this house. It's like a specially designed house where it could be flooded about the waist height. And they put this woman who agreed to, like, you know, be in the house. She was a research assistant. Okay, yeah. yeah. So a research assistant, um, which in those days, indistinguishable from magician's assistant. (laughs) Pretty much the same fucking job. Sometimes you'd be working with graduated cylinders. Sometimes you just get cut in half. Uh, So uh, they had this research assistant volunteer to, to live in this house that's flooded halfway with water with, like, a dolphin. That and they were like, yeah, just talk to the dolphin all the time, and you know, let us know if he starts speaking. <laughs> and that, that was, was the- <laughs> that was the plan, and so of course nothing happened. Of course, and uh, well, the dolphin's also a young dolphin, so it started going through adolescence. All right, well, th- nothing happens. So what they do next is they're like, all right. Uh, and then again, this is the 1950s, and it's like I think I'm pretty sure it was attached to the CIA. It might have been an independent study, but there was like CIA money or something involved in it. Yeah, and uh, just say it was CIA. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. This so is the fucking CIA, man. So it's the 50s. So of course they were like, okay, well we're gonna put you on acid. We're gonna <laughs> give you LSD, and then we're gonna see what happens. And the fucking. Uh, Eventually, they're both on acid, and the dolphin starts like rubbing against the woman's this like is legs. Where you're wrong. What do you mean? So the dolphin is like uh, an adolescent, right? So it starts getting horny. This is before they put them on acid. Okay. So he starts making it sexual. No, they put the put the, them on acid, and then they started fucking. No, they didn't fuck. I think she jacked him off. Yeah, she. Well, yeah, she <laughs> sucked the dolphin's dick and jacked it off. I mean, she sucked him off. So the dolphin was like started getting horny. And started taking a liking to the research assistant. Of course, she was So hot. at first, he'd like, just titties. bite her ankles, and he found out that that would piss her off. So then he was like, all right, 
you know, I can't go in so aggressive. So he started <laughs> trying to be sexy with her, uh-huh. and, like slowly sliding the side of himself off, like against her leg and stuff, uh-huh. and trying to be like real sexy. Did you like, read the like erotic novelization <laughs> of this fucking story? No, it's true. It's like a paragraph long. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Because no, they... you told me when you were like probably blackout drunk, I was like, Nick made up the stupidest story about this lady <laughs> jacking off a dolphin. <laughs> and then I looked it up and I'm like, holy shit, he's absolutely right. So remember, okay. remember when Andrew Bucket admitted that he was molested <laughs> in Are junior we, high? <laughs> Are we talking and then, about this on the podcast? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he admitted that. Yeah, yeah. I think well, he was no, doing he a did, bit. He did a joke, oh, but he was doing flat. a bit that he, fell he, flat. He, he, he no sold it, and then we were like, did you get molested? And he's like, I, I, I don't know. And then we didn't talk about it for a year. We just assumed what he was had the been bit? molested. So we were like, yeah. we are getting high. <laughs> we were like, at my old apartment, we were <laughs> Wait, a pot. bit just in the room, not on stage? In the room, yeah. yeah, yeah we were yeah. just sitting around okay. talking. We were smoking weed, and then he was like, um, he's like, yeah, w- it's yeah, weird how gym teachers are also the school nurse sometimes. And we're like, that's not true. And he was like, well, you know, they would like make you do like a testicular exam every day. And we we're like, every day? No. What are you talking about? And then he was like, yeah, that's what, that's what Craig told me. My gym teacher, he used to let me call him by, by his first name. That's yeah, gotta like, be a bit. He didn't even, yeah, I mean, he he was joking, but the way he told he it. He sold it so He was so fucked well. up, but you know, he's always yeah, oh, fucked yeah, up. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was after 7 yeah, p.m. Yeah, we were like, that's not normal, dude. Were you fucking molested? No, and I think we changed the subject. Yeah, we yeah. felt so bad. Yeah, we just had to change oh, the subject. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. Damn, so Bucket might have got molested. Shouts out, Andrew Bucket. No, because he <laughs> asked him. Adam asked him about it after. I asked him about it after, and I think he said he was doing a bit. But how much funnier it would be if he got molested? Hopefully he did, and we just talked about it on the podcast. No, cause that's what we were talking about. Yeah. No, we were talking about how they used to do um, scoliosis testing. By yeah. putting a couple of like, in your ass? Making the, the nurse would make you bend over in front of her. Yeah. And then she'd like look at your spine and see as you bent over. Like, if it was and it was so embarrassing if you just had diarrhea in the nurse's face. <laughs> <laughs> just spray. Diary all over the <laughs> well, my friend face. got suspe- suspended because he he told the nurse he did like a retarded voice. He goes scoliosis in my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Made no sense. That's a good bit. Yeah, was, that's a classic elementary school yeah, bit. Yeah, you know pretty, how they had like extra good. clothes in the nurse's office in case you like shit yourself. Did you know that? No, oh yeah. Know. Well, you'd wear PE clothes when well, you shit yourself. I, I I mean I remember that they had extra clothes, clothes in the nurse's office in elementary school for people that shit themselves. Mm. Um, but those had to have been just clothes that someone else pr- had pr- previously, previously yeah, shitted. Yeah, yeah. Got bleached. And then they've cleaned, and then you're just wearing secondhand shitted. You take <laughs> off shitted clothes to put on other it shitted clothes. It keeps refreshing itself. There's this kid yeah. we went to second grade with, this kid Eric Ross, who shit his pants. And um, literally everyone from that second grade, like, he is a, he's get, he got an MD, PhD. Which meant Holy he went shit. to he went to Law- medical, medical school medical. for four years and then a PhD in science for four years, and literally everyone I know it was like a small private school. I keep in touch with some of them. Are like, oh yeah, you mean Eric who shit his fucking pants? <laughs> 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 like no matter how accomplished <laughs> he is in his life, he'll always be the dude That's that shit funny. his fucking pants and then cried about it like a bitch, dude. <laughs> like, well, uh, so there's this guy Scott that used to. I mean. I think he used to date my sister or my stepsister. I can't remember. Did he fuck her? I mean, I'm sure. I don't know. <laughs> nice. But, uh, well, I don't know. I knew him. I knew him. Me and Adam High Five. I knew him. We had like a, a mutual friend circle or whatever. Uh-huh. But, uh, yeah, so he was at a party one time, and I wasn't there, but he was at a party, and he like went into the bathroom, and he was all fucking drunk, and he like locks the door. This is in his house. He like locks uh-huh. the door to the bathroom, and people are like pounding on the door and like trying to get him to come out. And he won't come out. And eventually they just knock down the, the door to the bathroom or whatever. And he's in there and he's completely <laughs> naked. <laughs> and he's ripped off. It's like one of those sliding doors to the shower. He's ripped the door off the shower and he's using it to cover himself. Oh and my the God. toilet's all backed up because he's tried to like flush all his clothes down the toilet. Because oh. he like shit himself or whatever. And they were like, just go home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so like, he like, destroyed this bathroom, destroyed their toilet, shit himself. Very embarrassing. Embarrassing. And then, like, I don't know, two years after that, there was one night where me and, and like, all my friends are hanging out, and Scott's there, and I was there with, uh, yeah, my friend, like, Danny, and Danny was trying to, like, hook up with this girl, Alexa, and we were all hanging out, and uh, we were walking around, and Scott was, like, really hitting it off with Alexa. Oh, really? And Danny's there, and he's, like, bummed about it, and uh, we're, like, walking, and Danny just says to me, he's like, I got, 
I guess you just have to do it. Uh, hey, Scott, remember when you like shit your pants at that party <laughs> and then fucking like left? And Scott's like, yeah, man, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but I just love the way Danny was like, That's hilarious. yeah, I guess I have to do the it. The nuclear option. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I black out for a while and I remember like people shaking me awake. I'm, Laying down on her deck, smoking a blunt that I don't know where it came from, and they're and I'm holding a pop tart in my hand, and they're like, "Stop! Did you shit and throw up all over the bathroom?" <laughs> and I'm like, "No, it wasn't fucking me." And I'm holding up a, a strawberry pop tart. There was a trail of pop tart from the bathroom to the deck. Wait, you're eating while you're shitting? I don't. I mean, I don't fucking know. That's I just, so I just know that I was like, "No, it wasn't me." And there's a like car cartoon trail of pop tart <laughs> yeah, yeah. to this fucking it's deck so and good. i still denied it and then i just threw and then I, I just woke up in and then all i remember is waking up in my fucking parents house in jorts which and uh, no underwear and then anna found the my underwear was in her neighbor's tree covered <laughs> in throw up <laughs> just fucking i just <laughs> thrown it <laughs> off her fucking deck yeah i've never shit myself i've definitely thrown up all over myself yeah. numerous times while drunk but i've never shit myself yeah, dude. Uh, so and not only did funny. I do that, but when I when in her bathroom, I like I was holding on to the shower or something, yeah. and like grabbed the pipe. And it was there was a the only reason they even saw the bathroom is because her fucking downstairs <laughs> started flooding because <laughs> I fucking ripped a pipe out of the wall and I ripped oh, the shower God. curtain and I was just laying on her <laughs> fucking deck. I did that in my mom's <laughs> apartment when I was like fifteen. Shouts out to I was Anna. like all fucking like uh, drunk or whatever, and like tried to take a shower and just. Just trash the bathroom. Just rip the fucking. It was like the shower curtain rod was yeah, one of yeah. the ones that attaches to the wall. I just ripped all the drywall out. <laughs> 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 Destroyed. Knocked all the shit over. She was like, "Were you drunk?" And I was like, oh, "No." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just had trouble getting into the shower. <laughs> I just do that for fun. <laughs> I just destroyed the house because I felt like it, bitch. Get off my fucking back. Uh, I have man. ADD, mom. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. ADHD. <laughs> I'm fucking. The I'm school ADHD, system mom. says you're not allowed to be mean to me. I don't have to do homework. <laughs> they put me in a special class for people who don't have to do homework <laughs> because we have potential. <laughs> I'm in a special potential class <laughs> for kids that don't understand how to read. <laughs> I was in one of those. They took me out of electives. They took me out of electives and put me in like a fucking, uh, in this like, please do your homework class. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we just sit there. They would literally give us candy if we like didn't like did our homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I, it was like eighth grade. And I remember there was one time, there was only like 10 kids in that class, all, pretty much all of them had emotional problems. Right. One kid was just like, he spoke Spanish. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, I was like, he was like, well, thank you. He was like, he was like 12 and he already looked like one of those Home Depot day right. labor contractors Four, outside. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three foot two, yeah. faux hawk, yeah. <laughs> wearing like Oshkosh, Bagash, Full junkos. mustache. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and like, so... There was, like, sixth graders in gym class, and, like, it was, like, you know, the windows face, like, then they were, like, walking somewhere, and somebody just started going, like, fuck you, fuck, and then everyone was at the window, like, you fucking faggots, fuck you faggots, you fucking faggots, and we were screaming, and the teacher was like, guys, 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 calm down, and just all at the window, screaming. Like dogs, <laughs> like dogs, and one starts barking, and the rest yeah. of you have to fucking chime in. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> I yeah. sometimes wonder about you know people get fat enough where they can't wipe their own ass properly. Yeah, I, um, I've heard of some stuff like that. <laughs> it's probably a wives' tale though. Yeah, I deserved it. I fucking deserve that. Oh yeah, cheeseburger and fries. So I'm, our new character is. Uh, oh, that's good. Is, uh, dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I fucking I, deserve. I this. don't suck cock ever, <laughs> but I also love sucking <laughs> cock. That's my duality. Right. It's all unemployed contractors with like forearm autism, hmm. where they know a shit ton about screws and they have no social skills. <laughs> and any anything anything you fucking ask them for at Home Depot, they're gonna try and use it as an opportunity to tell you why you're wrong. I went in there looking for like um, like a like a pocket hole jig, like a like a, a jig to drill holes mm -hmm. that you know mm -hmm. went smaller than like a quarter inch for like smaller than quarter inch drill bits. And the guy was like, 
I'll tell you, I've been in hardware for, for uh, 20 years. I'm not saying you're lying, but I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> I'm not saying you're lying. Yeah, yeah. Well, nothing's going on. I've been watching Can we get Flashlight to spoil, spoil on HBO? Yeah. Real good. What are, you, what are you talking over me for? What were you saying? I stopped talking. I said, can we get Fleshlight to sponsor us? Probably, actually. They Let's sponsored try. Moon Tower. I got a free Fleshlight. Did I ever tell you that story? No. <laughs> I got a free... Everyone who did Moon Tower a couple years ago got a free Fleshlight. Yeah, yeah. And then I tried to bring it back on the plane with me, and I thought, like, they probably see these things all the time, so I just put it in my bag and didn't think about it. Uh, it completely incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> they they pulled me aside. TSA? They took my bag. TSA. Oh, they took yes. nine agents and they brought the fucking manager over and they pulled oh, out. Oh, that's incredible! And they're like fingering it. I'm like, it was free. I just did this festival. They gave them to everyone. I didn't, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, I don't fuck it. Oh, you took it on your carry on. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I only ha I only ever take a yeah, carry on. Yeah, I don't yeah, ever yeah. check a bag. Yeah, I you know, go out like of town for bucks, a fucking yeah. week. I don't need to. Right. That's for women, I think. If you go on vacation, they're like, you, yeah, know, yeah. you have yeah, to bring no. every piece of clothing I have. Yeah, to bring a hair dryer, on. like wherever <laughs> you're going, is it going to have a hair dryer? I don't even bring a toothbrush because uh, most hotels they yeah. just have them at the desk. Mm -hmm. They have little shitty ones. Yeah, but then you know if you bring a full size tube of toothpaste, they make you throw it out at the fucking right, airport. Right, right. Unless you keep those travel things. What happened with the flashlight, dude? Oh yeah, so it was horribly embarrassing. <laughs> um, did everyone were they know. just laughing at you when they found out uh, no I mean they were like smirking or whatever I'm sure that made their fucking week <laughs> yeah of course fuck them I hope they get you didn't did you take it with you well yeah I mean I was like I just like I ran with the it, it was inside out so the vagina part is like flapping around <laughs> while I'm like running to my gate because I was late for my flight and then I ended up fucking the thing like one time and uh, it's great yeah but as soon as you come it's like uh, like the amount of shame absolutely it's almost like you had just Fuck fucked your sister <laughs> <laughs> it's like that kind of feeling <laughs> like that this incestual feeling yeah when you ejaculate into like a contraption <laughs> yeah i mean just coming in general the second after you come no matter what no i like just beating off like regular because I, I always go dry you know of course i'm there oh, with yeah. you. dry jack i don't think i've used lubrication to beat off and like, i'm a dry jackman probably myself probably 12 years and, yeah, I did uh, it a couple times, like, when you're little, because people always say you have to. Yeah. But I'm dry. Yeah, dry. Um, Every time. Yeah, and so I was so ashamed, and I put it in this bag of shoes <laughs> in my room. <laughs> that I just, like, shoes I wasn't wearing anymore. <laughs> you, wait, you didn't clean it? They just <laughs> no. I mean, there's, oh. no, there's a way to there's clean a it. There's I didn't, a baby. I wasn't going to go dig up. the instructions out of the fucking... Can you just run through water or something? I'm not going to... I live with nine dishwasher. other people. I'm not going to go into the kitchen <laughs> to be like, oh, it's thermos. It's for soup. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Dude, just, so I put it in uh, that bag, and then I like went to go help my mom like uh, remove the flooring in her apartment. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I came back, and I was like, I feel like there's something I forgot. And then she like called me like uh, two days later. She's like, Did you leave your fucking pocket pussy here <laughs> <laughs> in that bag of shoes? That's so fucking. And I was funny. like, Yes. But don't uh, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> so your mom has your flashlight. Uh, she threw it out. Oh, oh what, what a bitch! bitch. Itali you know, it's it's hard to decide who's more disgusting, the French or the Italians. Oh, the Italians by far. Really? Uh, I yeah, think darker the skin. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Damn. No, nah, I've been using the N word a lot lately. You have been, dude. But soft A N word always. It's, it's because I figured it out. I thought it was because I was in a. It's in a group DM that somebody labeled, uh, I'll just say it. They, well, <laughs> so, I think we can imagine. The somebody name. changed the name to, to, to gay niggas up front, <laughs> which is so funny to me. Like, uh, like how we say like or uh, right. Yeah. Whenever they have like a beat or something that they can't fill, they say nigga. Like they go, oh nigga, nigga, uh, go to young guy, what was your job? I love how it's just double racist. Yeah, it's like well, no, they say it. I swear to God, dude. No, I know, but your yeah. impression is double racist. Uh, I also used to work at a Dairy Queen that Here was owned go. by these two Chinese brothers, uh, uh, Charlie and uh, Henley, and I'm pretty sure <laughs> Henley. His name might have been Henry, but I wasn't gonna like be like, oh, you're saying your name wrong. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, yeah, Charlie and Henley they own the Dairy Queen, and you know they add like an A to the end of like everything. So yeah. like, but they say, but so they would say my name with an A at the end. Oh, so they'd yeah. be like, Nico, you live or work, and they'd be like, you can't say that, man. <laughs> I'm also like the only white guy that works here. You don't say that to anyone else. <laughs> the Bolivian girl. I was thinking I think about. I you uh, can say it if you change Nick Mullen to Nig Mullen. Yeah. Oh God damn. Probably. I don't know. I've already. I already feel bad. About <laughs> I can't believe I said it. Now. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm God. the only one who hasn't said it on the cast. Yeah. Right. See, that's the thing. It's like, let's not pretend like we don't all say it in private. Everyone did it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I I feel like we grew up in the era where beating off was just so out in the open. Oh yeah, I talked about beating no, off. Maybe all in the your time. household, your weird Greek household. No, I mean not in my house, but amongst friends. Yeah, I did beat off though in very close quarters to my family. I would like the the computer was like right next to the fucking family room, <laughs> so I just like beat off, and there was no lock on it, so I would just beat off with my foot holding the fo- like I would beat off like f- one. Just with a wide stance with the foot holding my the compute the fucking thing <laughs> and I just beat off and I remember one time my mom found me. I don't know why I was beating off to crackwhoreconfessions dot com, but it's like once you like go through every So you porn, beat off to crackwhoreconfessions dot com, you're gonna say you've never used the N word. No. I've n I've never have. Yeah, I was I beating know. off to the white crack whores. No, all right. I uh I was thinking about remember that show on T V one that I showed you? Uh, oh, black black, black men, men exposed. Reve- black men revealed. Revealed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the best show. Of yeah, all time. black it's, men revealed. It's gold. Yeah, it's it's one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. I I I was like in San Diego at my like cousin's house, and they got this channel TV one. Mm, yeah, and yeah, it was just it's on. Like public and access. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. like it's basically public. It's access. not public access. Isn't that like the black channel? It's like a new black channel. I, I don't know, man. But it's like roundtable format, and it's like. Uh, <laughs> four or five middle-aged black guys. You can get on YouTube. Too. You, you can find yeah. it on YouTube. Oh, hell yeah. And then they just, you know, they, it's basically a podcast. Uh. But then they got a coffee table that sometimes has dominoes on it, <laughs> <laughs> which is it's great. And like the one episode I saw, they're always talking about women or whatever. Hell yeah. Uh, like but, Steve Harvey level yeah, wisdom no, of There's women. like one yeah, where yeah. they're like, I don't need some black bitch. <laughs> 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 I've seen just, that one. Yeah, yeah, they just fucking berate black. Black women, and <laughs> well, no, like half of them date white women, the other yeah, half yeah, yeah, like yeah. don't date white so, women. Yeah. It's like a debate, open forum and, debate. And show. Well, there was one episode where they were talking about pussy hair, and, the, <laughs> and this guy, this one guy, he he's got his fingers tented. <laughs> He's Uh-oh. got like tight braids and his fingers <laughs> tinted and he's sitting there and he's like, yeah, see, I prefer a woman to be uh, au natural, <laughs> as they call it, you know? And uh, as soon as he says that right underneath him, like, you know, like the lower third or whatever, it pops up and it says, uh, it says Alonzo, uh, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Fuck has gay has being gay ever come up on that show? I don't know. I mean, I, I I've only seen like two or three episodes. I'm sure it has. I'm sure it has, and I'm sure they're very very. You know what probably has <laughs> uh, the DL. Yeah. That's like a big issue. Brothers on the DL spreading AIDS in the community. Missed. There's a lot of gymnast stuff. Oh out yeah, there. I've seen that before. There's yeah, I was, I was at some bar the other night and I was watching like beach volleyball. I was beach at volleyball, stand, yeah. And some guy came up and he's like, I could beat off to this. <laughs> what? It's like, why? Why yeah. would you? <laughs> why would you beat off to it? What are you in jail? <laughs> Just download pornography like a fucking normal human being. Yeah, right. Like the president or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah. And you if think, I, you know, you think you could still be the president? Well, I did talk about having a sex slave beat me off on this podcast. <laughs> That's fine, dude. It's so. all out there. Trump, Trump's so Trump's had a fat Howard Stern. That's the thing, man. You just stay problematic, and you never have to worry about it. That's what Trump taught us. Yeah, you might be president, Nick. <laughs> I know. Trump might be president. <laughs> He's not. I mean, you say that with such confidence. No. Yeah, I have no confidence. I wish the I did. The math, the math doesn't work. Oh, the yeah, math whatever. doesn't work. Yeah, the math. Do you know, math? math doesn't work. I don't. I don't know, folks. Maybe six million, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's maybe crunch, the Second Amendment people could take a look at let's those numbers. Let's crunch those numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I'm, I'm Chelsea Pierce, and I'm rich, and I just love shopping and having sex. And then her friend is uh, Madison Square Garden, <laughs> and then they have a Korean friend, uh, Kim Park Slope. <laughs> <laughs> but she just she just looks Korean. Kim she's Park Slope. she's like I'm a real New Yorker, just like the rest of them. She has like a normal voice, <laughs> right, right, right. But she's right. Korean. That's I mean, always funny when you're in Chinatown. You see like a, a Chinese cop in Chinatown, yeah. and then they just talk. They're like, "Hey, what the fuck are you yeah. doing?" Well, no, there's a lot of like, there's a, a lot Chinese of old guy. school Chinese Chinatown guys that are like. Hey, who's this guy over here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're like wearing like a fishing vest and yeah. aviators. And they're yeah, still Chinese as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm trying to play Mahjong this afternoon. <laughs> you know, a place where a fella could hang out. You know what I mean? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> but they still fuck up the LRs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah this, you want to get to this, Williamsburg, this you train, take the R this train. train. <laughs> this plane's 40 minutes late. <laughs> what the hell is going on with this plane? <laughs> oh, do you remember when you, me, and Jake were, <laughs> were laughing about it? A girl using twi- uh, having the LR problem using uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Tinder. Yeah. I was trying to do that Swipe as a bit. A that lot. wasn't me and Jake. I was trying to do that as a bit on stage, but it was too racist. <laughs> as if I kept matching with Chinese girls on Tinder, and it was like I was joking. It was because she was using like the the Siri speech commands. Speech commands. And she's yeah. like swipe left. <laughs> it says swiping right. Swiping right. Yeah. No, swipe a right. <laughs> <laughs> the what? funniest name for any show I saw. Ever there was a show here that was just called Dog Shit, <laughs> and that's so funny. You know, my favorite there. movie of all time is Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and mm-hmm. yeah, Roger Rabbit is chained to Eddie Valiant. They're handcuffed together for about mm-hmm. an hour. Yeah, and then they're in that back room in the bar, and uh, Eddie think- finally Eddie finds a hacksaw and he starts hacking through the handcuffs. And while he's doing that, Roger Rabbit just slips out of the handcuffs and he, like, starts watching him. Oh, and yeah. And Eddie says, you mean to tell me you could have taken those off at any time? And he goes, no, only when it was funny. And <laughs> I sort of live by that code. <laughs> that oh, anything man. can be justified if it's funny. <laughs> and so uh, I'm not responsible for hurting Seth's feelings. And he's a bad guy. But uh, <laughs> What do you mean? I thought you said you had nothing against him. I don't have anything against him. I mean, I'm just saying objectively, he's a bad guy. <laughs> God, uh, that's even better. Yeah, not that you don't want Seth. you don't want uh, me to just uh, let Seth speak for himself here. This is know. a recording you're playing, right? Of yeah, Seth yeah, reading yeah. his I, post. Yeah, play the recording. He went live on Facebook Live. Uh, Finish the video. I don't know. Well, if 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 you're gonna have a problem, continue. It's no, it's, you already said. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'm just a big bully. <laughs> <laughs> I guess everybody just thinks I'm just a fucking asshole. <laughs> like I love that through all of this, he's sort of kind of angry that he didn't go viral under his own terms. Yeah. Like what he really wanted to go viral for is like. People being a, lo- being a oh, woke wow, hero. This white guy that wants to die. A good what a point. fucking hero. <laughs> And then that uh, Seth eventually did uh, block that guy. Jesus. And uh, then that guy messaged me, and he goes, uh, you don't know me, but I went to high school with Seth Cockfield, and he just unfriended me because I called him out on some of his whiny, pushy, leftist (laughs) bullshit. Where can I check out this character you created about him? I would love a good laugh over this. This is incredible. (laughs) Seth is getting us listeners. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I've never seen some. He's Dude, like, that's a hilarious. Getting yeah. owned by just a guy who barely knew you, and he's yeah. like, "Look, man, <laughs> like we don't really year. know each other. <laughs> I'm the closest to an objective observer here." Yeah, and yeah. I gotta say, and he was even kind of like, "Well, let's talk about it." Yeah, yeah. And what's funny is Seth was even like, "I'm happy to talk about <laughs> my. I'm happy to talk about my tweet with you, but yeah. not about your uh, fucking objections to how I'm behaving. I won't talk about yeah, that." Yeah, yeah. No, Seth is just, like, Damn. constantly stepping on rakes and having them smash in his face. That's I have this horrible. fantasy in my head I'll do where, like, uh, you know, like, someone will ask me to get out of the seat. And then uh, where I'm just, like, uh, you know, I'll, like, be like, well, um, 
yeah, that's fine. Uh, but just to let you know, I'm like a veteran. I was like, and, <laughs> and I lie to them that I'm a veteran, and then people find out somehow, and then everyone on the train beats the shit out of you me. You steal Valor. It's like I have a, like a fantasy I have that'll <laughs> play out in my head. <laughs> of yeah. trolling gone wrong. Just, yeah, you, you just want your asking. life. You just want your life. Your way of life to end. <laughs> you just <laughs> want to be freed of this prison <laughs> you've made guy, for yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some guy, uh, some guy pretending to be a veteran on the train so he doesn't have to give up his seat to a pregnant woman, and then people find out and beat him to death. That's how I like to think in my head. That would be honestly, uh, yeah. If I heard that's the way you died, I would feel so happy for you. Yeah, dude. that's no, going that's out the, the way most, you would have won. The yeah, Mullen yeah, yeah, way, yeah, yeah. dude. Give you any credibility when it comes to making sandwiches? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Firefighters aren't known for their sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah, you're just trying to cash in on the fact that you're generally sympathetic. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah, so dude. funny. Well, it's, it's like, like, why are you so busy? The bit was, why are you so busy making it? Is that why we lost both of the towers? Yeah. Because <laughs> you were busy sandwiches? fucking around with meatballs? <laughs> Get in those towers! <laughs> Put the fucking sandwich knife down. <laughs> That's um, a good bit. Yeah. I do love... And it was great when it would tank, and then I was like, oh, it's because it's a 9-11 joke. And then people were like, what the fuck is Firehouse Subs? Yeah, it's hilarious. You were just being mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love... Firefighter is a great... Like, if you're a racist, yeah. just be a firefighter. Yeah. Instead of a cop. Or just be a racist and do whatever you want. No, I don't be... Like, that's what I mean. If you were a racist, though... What do you mean, though? Like, in terms of feeder occupations for racists, like yeah. blue-collar you be, racists... You could be a racist computer programmer. But, but I Is mean, your if boss those... coming like, ah, Jeremy... Uh, no, great work, but why are all of your variable names uh, <laughs> just slurs? <laughs> I don't know anything about programming. I just context clues laughed at that joke. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. No worries. Well, Adam uh, didn't. Adam's, Adam's not even holding the microphone to his face yeah. anymore. What do you mean? Well, I know, man. It's been 51 Sorry I didn't minutes. laugh it's at the racist computer you're program. You're fucking bit. better, dude. Dude, are you a sleepy boy? You've been very yeah. woke this podcast. I've got to be honest with you. Listen. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm say something offensive right now. Yeah, say it. Right uh, now. Bitch. Say rape is good. Say something say offensive. Say all that rape stuff you were saying. Tell the story. No, I'm not going to tell that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, don't tell it. Damn, in the context of what we were just talking about, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, you have to say something offensive, though, for real. Right now. I don't, I don't like uh, identical twins. I don't trust them. Okay. That's right. That's, That's just more of a. Uh, I think fraternal twins are worse because there's one of them that like clearly got fucked up, the fucked up genes. Really? Yeah, no, there's I always one that's cool. got like red hair and like can't dance or sing. <laughs> I feel like if I had an identical twin, <laughs> you know, Dalmok at Tanagra, and he just says shit like that, and like Picard the whole time is like, "Yes, but what does it mean?" <laughs> and I was like laughing with people on Twitter a couple months ago, where, like instead of like the stories, the Aliens are just being like, the pussy, the asshole, and the vagina. <laughs> and Picard being like, yes, but what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> the asshole. The, woman, the woman's asshole and pussy. What is that? Some kind of warning? <laughs> uh, fuck. The woman's asshole and vagina. Pussy. The pussy entrance. <laughs> what is he trying to say? <laughs> this yesterday. Demanding. White people... Asking black people not to use the N word so much. Oh my god! <laughs> my it is the best thing in the world. Yeah, and then it, oh, could you also just not use the water fountain either? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it offends me. <laughs> <laughs> well, they used to drown people like you, so I'm a, a little bit worried about you using the water fountain and then also the bathroom just in case. <laughs> oh fuck! Hey, Springsteen mm -hmm. is uh, by no Billy Joel. Uh, Billy Joel uh, yeah, right? by Billy yeah. Joel. Uh, 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 Jewish. Well, I'm on the Down syndrome, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> and then my hands are up on her tits. Whatever you change it, but then you put in the uh, the Atel, um and they say she's slow, but them titties ain't retarded. Yeah. <laughs> what a great joke! Yeah, <laughs> man, I changing all those. I had uh, everyone at the office. I, I I got them with the uh, well. I'm the kind of guy that fucks his yeah. mom and dad. That's, That's perfect. That's that was the making the rounds. One. That might be the best one you've yeah. done. My favorite one is dad, dad, fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, 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 fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, my dad, I fuck my dad. Yeah, no, that one's a good one. That's great. I think that's a good way to close, boys. Yeah. Oh, no, the other, 
down east or Alexa one was uh, oh. uh, uh well I'm busting inside the <laughs> vagina <laughs> like this heard? podcast is about to be right and do you know that uh what's the like I, I don't know if it's like a Doors I don't know that much about the Doors but there's like something that's not on a Doors album and it's just Jim Morrison yelling uh you got a fucker in the ass and it's like a, <laughs> a song that he recorded <laughs> no <laughs> yeah yeah that's Some Jim not real like, no it's real dude where he's just like you got a fucker in the ass oh my god my favorite poem. I mean the, the Doors music is already so fucking stupid to begin with uh uh, Felix retweeted this thing. Did you see it? Uh-uh. It was like uh, three photographs. The first is like this is a f- this is a drawing made by Jim Morrison. Um, someone I saw Gary uh, Randy Quaid. You know that guy? Yeah. He he posted a picture that look. Okay, you know forget that? about Randy Quaid. Look okay, at the text. Yeah. Look, um, look how obnoxious that is. Sh- <laughs> Wait. First of all, this is the guy from Futurama doing the like squinty sarcastic. Yeah. yeah. It's Fry. It's the Fry, fry. name. Yeah, the yeah, Fry. Yeah. Not sure if I if an early call time helps me get out sooner tomorrow or screws me over with turnaround. Yeah, and look at look at look at. Look Not at, sure if we're wrapping at three p.m. or three a.m. <laughs> yeah, imagine having to deal with that all day long from that guy. Are you fucking having a coworker me? that will only communicate with you through memes? He's the worst person <laughs> in the world. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. That's egregious. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, should we should uh, we talk about wh- what Aleppo is for uh, our Gary uh-huh. Johnson? I feel like everybody, everybody listens to this is voting for Gary Johnson. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I feel like we definitely have some li- libertarian. Yeah, what's a libtar like? A lot of them, yeah. but I have the time to do it. Of course. And then after, what year are you at right now? Um, well, I it's like spotty, so I just pick things. Okay. Because I've seen like the entirety of like the 1970s, most of the 1980s, uh-huh. and then 90s and 2000s. Did Out of for sure. Africa win Best yeah, Picture? Yeah, it did. Have you seen that? I haven't. It's bad, right? It's I don't like know. Not, it's not that good. Right? Well, it's got Africa in the title, so my hopes aren't high for that one. <laughs> um, but more like Stay Out of Africa. <laughs> That's a movie I would watch. I didn't know uh, uh, Namibia used to just be part of South Africa yeah. until like 1990. Yeah. That it was just West South. Oh, those cunts. They're talking about. <laughs> they're talking about like. Uh, is Whoopi's like a new study says that sex. On average, only lasts seven minutes, and then all of them are like, "Oh Ooh. hell no," you know. And then, fi- like you know, two of them are hot. I don't know what they always have. Like one woman a on the show, a hot conservative. Yeah, they got yeah. a hot conservative Latina now. Ooh, yeah, uh, honey child. Yeah, and so Oprah's sitting there, and she just looks Oprah. like yeah, hey, sorry. Whoopi. Whoopi's sitting there. I call her Oprah as a joke so much that now, now I do it on purpose <laughs> or by accident. I. Um, is Goldberg a stage name, by the way? No. I've always been too afraid to ask. No, that's uh, she's Jewish. No, I'm pretty sure that's a stage name. It has to be. Yeah. Um, God, if you could choose any last. So name, she's why sitting you- there, and they put her on the end of the table. So she looks. She always looks like a pile of like the blankets that they give to people that survive a disaster. Oh yeah. Like she's For just sure. this lumpy mess covered in blankets of clothing with. Usually, like uh, nice sneakers coming out of the bottom, yeah. and uh, wearing Yeezys. Yeah, and uh, she's like forty-five minutes at least, and it's like that's how long she fucks. Yeah, no way, dude. No Who's fucking she? way. Who's she, fucking you that long? Ted Danson. Yeah, right. He was for a while. Can you imagine that? I just imagine her sitting there with like you know how like uh, Jabba had Wait, Princess she has a Leia tit chained tattoo, up, right? That's what everyone was going nuts about at the Oscars. Or oh something? yeah, everyone. But now I can't remember if it was her or Oprah because somebody got in trouble for calling her Oprah, and then I was like, that's so funny. Who did? I don't know. Some. How do you confuse them? Uh, because you so often confuse them as a joke as that a you joke. eventually do it on purpose. I guess so. Yeah. Um, like Joy Behar, I call her Reba McIntyre as a joke. as a joke, but then I start doing it on purpose. The Fred Armisen impression of Joy Behar that he used to do on SNL is so fucking. I don't funny. think I've ever seen it. It's very funny. Oh shit! Can you guys hear that? It's the police outside. They heard that there are two white men in an apartment in Bed Stuy. So, um, so what do you think? Uh, Winita Broderick lying, telling the truth. 
wait was that the the rape in the 80s yeah where? the bill clinton rape oh oh i thought that was like the woman that was on the um Warren i thought Downey it was, jr show and al sharpton was there and there was that they did it at the apollo yeah, every time you know honestly for a second anytime i hear juanita broderick i think it's like uh, some like mexican woman that matthew broderick illegitimately <laughs> knocked up that's my like my the snap thought in my head <laughs> and it's, then i have to remember that. so wait when was this from i don't fucking know arkansas he raped a woman yeah i don't know i don't know if he raped someone you don't you know you always believe oh my god dude we have to we have to stop doing this <laughs> we have to fucking we have to stop doing this episode as soon as possible this is the worst episode oh my god out of all time. what you do you guys say do you call low. it checkers or rallies uh <laughs> right into the show let us know we're going carl's jr hardy's what do you guys carl's think? jr hardy's chip witch or cookie sandwich you know it's kind of an ice to cream me? sandwich uh how like i'm from the west coast but like how people talk about in and out like it's the best that place fucking sucks people do it's that with all every right place people it's do okay. that with every, everybody has like shake shack here shake shack shake sucks. shack's not that good it's not that good there's no such thing as a good burger what do you mean there's no such thing as a good burger? it doesn't exist red never had a good, good burger before somebody just got shot dude did you hear that <laughs> there's literally no it's a firework no dude. there's gunshot it's not a firework it's september what are they celebrating the end 9 11 9 11 is the closest it's holiday tomorrow at midnight we should podcast until midnight when it becomes 9-11. It's September 10th right now. Oh, holy shit, dude. I forgot. This is like the 9-11 bonus episode. Yeah. It's the That's pr- why it's a disaster. That's, That's why it's going yeah, so bad is yeah, it's a fucking yeah, homage to 9-11. Yeah, yeah. So for the 3,000 people that died, that's why this has been literally the worst one we've ever done i know i say that every time but not only is it bad we don't know when to quit this is like you know when somebody's bombing and this is a hostage light. situation yeah yeah, yeah. what's is, the best new york city meltdown you've seen at an open mic uh oh you were there with that one guy yep. at the pit that one time at where he's like pit. you go around everybody wants your fucking dollar and it's like those are homeless people you should feel bad for them they're not trying to swindle you they live outside i live in a bunk bed in bushwick yeah. with eight other guys yeah so does everyone yeah these are all comedians you paid three dollars to be on stage right now just move home yeah just move home you have to have that as an i that. love that mark Marin and john yeah. hate each other i was gonna do that vogue birthday party the anna Wintour oh, thing yeah, 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 and yeah. the only joke that i wanted to do i was hoping there'd be like a fat fashion lady there so i could call her nutella deville <laughs> <laughs> i've been looking for a home for that joke for probably weeks now <laughs> I don't know who to call Nutella DeVille because you know what you it is? One. Anytime there's a like a fat, fabulous woman, everybody's like, ooh, that bitch Ursula. Look, it's Ursula. Ursula, that's they always go, the Ursula, first one. Yeah, yeah. Which Nutella DeVille is great. So it's guys, better. if you have an opportunity, let's get rid of Ursula. Let's swap in fucking uh, Nutella DeVille. I feel like that Randy character, that could that could sort of make up the for films, the last... The films, I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> huh. <laughs> My name's Randy, and this week I watched Five Easy Pieces, starring Jack Nicholson as Jonathan Five. Is that your favorite movie? Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Well, you know what? It was my favorite fireworks. <laughs> it's for 9-11, I, dude. I mean, come on, man. Those are actually coming from Staten Island. Are they? They're firing them across the Verrazano. Yeah. But they do that every day. They we celebrate 9 11 when the clock hits it. We should go to Staten Island for the 9 11 parade tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the number one holiday at Staten Island. They love that shit, dude. Um, all right, so I guess I. All right, that's off putting. I don't like the, I don't like those fireworks going off. Yeah, I don't. What like if there fire- What if there were veterans in this neighborhood? You know, you can't even make popcorn around veterans. You can't do fireworks. What's your favorite war? My favorite war? Yeah. Uh, hold on one second. What's yours? You tell me yours. Uh, my favorite war um i don't know i don't have one hampton used to oh never mind uh i think the uh i was we're here how upset he'd be about this <laughs> fam i'm crying yeah um yeah i wish i could have uh just used this time to riff out the that's right folks if you were trying to listen to the other show well i've got bad news for you it's the Dickfield Takeover. That's right. I've got my own podcast now. And I can say whatever I want, and I don't have to apologize for it. So get ready for some very liberal takes. 
some of the, oh, you are not even going to believe these takes, how good they are, how liberal they are, and, you know, this is going to be a podcast that people can agree with. That's going to be people's reaction to this. They're going to hear what I have to say, and they're going to think, ooh, that Dickfield guy knows exactly what he's talking about. And if you disagree, if you disagree with me, well, that's harassment. So, if you're sitting there at home, not even interacting with me, but you happen to dislike anything that I say, that's a form of harassment, and uh, I'll be sending the police to your house. And I would like to uh, invite uh, my co-host of the podcast to introduce himself. Go ahead, Jahoon. Uh, go, go ahead and uh, say hi to the people. Yeah, Jahoon is, uh, he's from China, and, uh, well, I haven't really figured out why I chose a Chinese man to, uh, co-host the podcast with me yet, but, uh, I'm sure we'll work in that dynamic later, isn't that right, Jahoon? Okay, yeah. I don't actually know what he's saying, but I felt that if we had a, a POC on the podcast, which... For my listeners that don't know, that stands for, um, well, it stands for people of color, but I like to use the term prisoner of color, because in a lot of ways, it's so, it's, you know, it's like being a prisoner in America to be of a a certain hue, and, uh, you know, I don't respect the troops, I have no respect for them, Uh, but I do respect the color troops, Uh, you know, people, prisoners of color. Because in my mind, they're the real veterans. Having to go to war every day with advertisements that only have pictures of white people in them. Uh, people like me. And it just disgusts me every time I see that. When I, when I have to see another white man on the TV, it's, it just, I can't wait until they're all extinct, to be frankly with you. Isn't that right, Jehoon? Okay, well, he's, he's got a turtle, and he's ripping its head off. So I, I don't know um, if, we're, you know, that's his culture. If he wants to... Okay, that's fine. You do whatever you want with that turtle. That's completely up to you. Uh, folks, I have to tell you about an experience I had this morning that was deeply upsetting. Uh, and this is, this is going to be the kind of stuff that we're going to cover, uh, mostly here on the Dickfield Diaries, uh, which is the name of the podcast, by the way. If, if you had any uh, interest in knowing what the, uh, the podcast is, is going to be about, it's going to be stories like this. So I went into Starbucks uh, this morning uh, to get a, a coffee, and uh, usually, I, I, well, I like Starbucks because they have that tip jar in the front of the store. But, you know, <clears throat> they're not, you know, they're, they have reasonable wages, I feel. And so you can just take money out of the tip jar to pay for your coffee. And they can't say anything to you because the customer is always right. Oh, yeah, yeah. The benefit of corporate stores is that you can get them fired by tweeting at Starbucks if they say anything that... You know, you dislike. So, usually I'll pay for things out of the tip jar. But today, I I just wanted to use the bathroom in there. So, I went up to the front counter and I saw the barista and I said to the barista, uh, Excuse me, but where can I use my pussy? And, well, and I have to be honest with you folks, uh, you know, that might be confusing to some people who aren't as woke as I am. But I, I don't believe that uh, genitals should be, you know... Uh, fixed to certain genders. I don't think that the uh, names of uh, people's genitals uh, should, uh, you know, something gender related with that. So, you know, when I say, uh, you know, I don't ever say uh, my dick. I, I, that just sounds wrong to me. It doesn't look like a dick. It doesn't feel like a dick to me. It's, you know, and I guess penis is maybe a little bit too clinical. It may, ooh, ugh, it makes me sound like I'm sick or something, you know. Uh, so I, I, I just like pussy. I like referring to it as my pussy. I like to be a pussy. I feel I, I identify more by saying that I have a pussy. And it's, you know, it's a very uh, limp pussy most of the time. But sometimes my pussy, again, doesn't get hard. I like to think of it as wet, even though it doesn't really resemble anything wet but instead of saying my my you know and i have an erection i say my pussy is very wet right now and i feel that that's you know very uh uh a, a very gender neutral way to refer to my genitals so when i 
you know, go into a business and I say, uh, where can I use my pussy? Obviously, I just mean, where can I use, where is the bathroom? And I said that to the barista and he says to me, excuse me? And I said, excuse me? Uh, first of all, you don't even, you know, know my gender, so why are you calling me sir? And he said, I'm not calling you sir. And that, I'll be honest, that was my fault. I did initially think that he had mentioned, you know, a gender, but he didn't. But, you know, and he says to me, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And I said, the bathroom. Where is your gender-neutral bathroom for me to evacuate all of the urine, the gender-neutral urine, out of my pussy? And he... Uh, you know, apologized and showed me where it was. But, you know, an apology's not enough these days. So I said, I think I'll be having my coffee for free today. And you know what he said to me, Jahoon? Don't wawa. He said, I can't do that for you. God. And, I, oh, you should have seen the look on my face when I realized I wasn't getting that coffee for free. Okay, well, he's completely killed the turtle now. I don't know. Why he even has that? Oh, go younger. Okay. Onja ga ya. Onja bula da ga. Yeah, I mean, well, he's fucking the turtle now. I guess that's oh, go, yo. that's part of his culture. If Onga he wants to do that, that's fine by me. Go by muga bula go ga da yanga go ga. Well, you know, I don't really understand. Go yanga. Okay, you know, that's fine. So, go. Let me follow up with this. Go yanga muga. Okay, all right, never mind. We're just going to drop this issue, and uh, we're going to move on to something else, if that's okay with my co-host. Okay, good. Did you have fun? Okay, well, normally I don't support animal cruelty, but if that's what you want to do, that's fine by me. Okay, all right, please don't eat it. Okay, yeah, If well, he's eating the turtle now, so I guess that's... Going to be lunch for him, which is good, because I was worried I was going to have to buy it for him. Uh, uh, good folks, we need to talk about this fainting scandal, this Hillary Clinton fainting scandal. First of all, let me say this. If you're not voting for Hillary Clinton, I'm not even addressing the people that are voting for Donald Trump, because those people... First of all, if you are voting for Donald Trump and you're listening to my podcast, guess what? That's rape. It's a form of rape. You're raping me, and it's harassment, and you're going to have to talk to the police pretty soon. Uh, I'm, I'm talking to the people that aren't going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Maybe there's another candidate that reflects your views more. Guess what? Uh, that's a vote for Donald Trump. You're basically, if you're voting for Jill Stein, you're a rapist. You're a, you're a male rapist. You're Brock Turner if you're voting for Jill Stein. You have to vote for Hillary. She's the only person you can vote for. I'm hashtag I'm with her. And, you know, first of all, fainting uh, is not a big deal. I faint maybe two or three times a week. The other day I thought I saw a spider uh, in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom uh, wiping my pussy. And I, it turns out it was just a shadow. But I immediately, while I've been trying this, somebody recommended to me they have these stools now that you sit on while going to the bathroom. And it's supposed to help you. Uh, you know, actually, it's how they go, uh, they go potty in China. Isn't that right, Jahoon? Bonga, oda. Jonga. Yes. Uh, well, he, no. Oh. Uh, no, don't do it now. What, oda? You don't. Bonga. Please, just p- please keep your pants on, do not go to the bathroom in, in my apartment. Okay, thank you. Sorry, folks. Uh, I was using these stools they have now that help you go to the the bathroom. They're supposed to be better for your bowels because I have a a, a medically tight anus. It's uh, it's tighter than a normal person's anus, I, and I know that that seems uh, like it would be a good thing, but it actually is very difficult for me to go to the bathroom unless I have diarrhea. So I have to get one of these stools, and uh, I was sitting on the stool, and uh, what do you know, a piece of uh, lint comes by, and I said, oh no, a spider, I'm being raped, somebody help me, I'm being raped in the bathroom, and I fainted. And I would have bashed my head against the sink. Luckily, my nose got in the way. And, uh, you know, I was saved. And I, I woke up, and I was covered in feces. And, you know, of course, I realized my mistake. And I had, you know, a bit of a laugh. And then I tried to f- 
figure out a way to blame it on on somebody other than me because you know something like that certainly can't be my fault. Gonga, uh, yonga. Gong. Well, yeah, th- okay, I I disagree with that, uh, Jahoon. Jonga, but uh, yeah. you know, I just uh, I wanted to blame it on somebody else, and I couldn't really find it out there. So. Uh, I, I faint all the time. It's not something that you should be embarrassed by. Uh, it's it's completely normal, and I think we really need to remember that uh, Hillary is strong, and she's you know stronger than I am. I bet if I had a push-up contest with Hillary Clinton, uh, I would probably uh, shit myself. Uh, I do it pretty often, folks. So we can't really uh, judge the president to be for for something like that. So in okay, uh, Jahoon here is uh, he seems to be uh, uh, turning very bright red. And okay, all right. On his iPad, he's pulled up the Wikipedia page for uh, turtle fucking poisoning. So I think I might have to uh, uh, see if he has enough money in his wallet for me to call him a taxi. Okay. Yeah, no, I understand that you're sick, but I just I don't have eight dollars to loan you. So you're going to have to figure out how you're going to get yourself to the hospital, John. I'm sorry, but if you want to go in business with me, you have to understand that you know I mean there's going to be costs and I'm not uh, taking responsibility for any of them so we're going to have to cut this one short uh, I was you know planning on doing a maybe a, a, a you know three hour maybe four hour podcast where I defend Hillary point by point you know because really all of these things that they say oh Hillary's you know she had a she had private emails everybody has private emails so are your emails not private what does that matter who does it matter to what does it matter who does it matter it doesn't who is this what is this where where is it matter I don't none of you can answer that question and there's anything that she does Donald Trump has done a worse version of it so you know, if she, oh, pri- she has a private email server, guess what? Donald Trump has a private email server that's filled with the N-word. It's only got N-word on it and, uh, you know, bad stuff about uh, him, him, him Hispanic, uh, him Mexican Chicanos, who I respect. So, uh, in uh, closing... Okay, Jahoon, you're really going to have to pull it together for the last five minutes here. I have no patience for this. Okay? I understand you don't feel well, but you're hurting me on an emotional level. And emotions, uh, you know, more important than physical feelings. That's something that I can't stress enough. Uh, So, uh, you know, uh, thanks for listening, folks. Uh, This has been the Dickfield Diaries. And uh, Jahoon, do you have anything you want to plug? Okay, great, folks. So check out Jahoon's stuff. Uh, We'll be back, uh, you know, whenever uh, I can get back here in the Anthony Kumia Studios when, uh, you know, they're having a discount on uh, equipment rentals. And, uh, you know, I'll see you folks around. Thank you. Scary. Um, fuck who else? And Mike Diesel is on the show. <laughs> yeah, Mike Diesel. Mike Diesel is in the gay club that Rawls goes to in the background, like chatting with some guy. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. He's no, an extra. He's not. Yeah, he is. He's an extra on the wire in the gay club. Wait, the one where you Wilkerson find out Rawls out. is gay? Yeah, like, that was yeah, so that's awesome. That's awesome, yeah. yeah. Every HBO show needs a scene where one of the characters, you find out they're gay, like, five seasons. It's yeah, pretty yeah, tight yeah. that they never reference it really again. I know. Although they have him in, like, the office looking at porn. You know, they, they have, like, subtle references, but they never really, it never comes but up. But he's not, why, is he, is he gay porn? No, no, no. Well, the fat guy, Landsman's looking oh, at porn, yeah, yeah, and yeah, he yeah, goes yeah. into Landsman's office to yell at him, and then he, like, picks up the porn and looks at it, and he's like, nah, it's, like, pretty good porn, and then, right. like, puts it back down. Well, it makes sense. The guy yeah, yeah. is trying so hard not to be, you know, yeah, yeah. seen as gay. Barry Levinson all- sets all his movies in Baltimore also, and, like, That's he'll right, put, baby. like, a regular guy in there, and, it again, it's, like, jarring. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> they, not, they can't act at all. Yeah. There were so many people in The Wire that just could not yeah, act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. I'll agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that was like, because, you know, they have the, like, I watched uh, Injustice for All, mm-hmm. you know, it's got Pacino in it, and then all the characters, they just, you know, the actors, it's, it's like, yeah, it's like an East Coast city, so just sound like you're from Brooklyn and nobody's going to give a shit, right. or whatever, but then there's one scene where they're, like, in the courtroom, and then they he's like, 
Me and my, I need to go brief my client back in the jail cell. <laughs> you know, so he walks out, and then they have some other guy come up, and he's like, my client has never uh, <laughs> done anything wrong before this, so you should probably just let him go. <laughs> like, what? Okay. <laughs> Oh uh, fuck! I love Wait, it. But uh, did you did you guys ever run into what's his name? Uh, John Waters in Baltimore, Incredible. legendary for like showing up in the. He's like Bill Murray sort. He's, he's like, like the gay yeah. Bill Murray. He's apparently all Bill the bar, uh, bar owners in East Austin fucking hate Bill Murray. Really? I heard this from Jake, who you know Jake and Blake who work in the service yeah. industry in the on the all those E six bars, but like. You know, Bill Murray will just go show up in Austin and then walk behind the bar and start bartending. <laughs> and no matter what people order, he gives them like a tequila with lime or some shit. Uh -huh. I forget what it is. Yeah, so yeah, let me get a Bud Light. And yeah, and he'll do that. But then he doesn't charge anybody, so he'll just give away thousands of dollars <laughs> worth of you know drinks or whatever. He really is just like hipster Chuck Norris. That's all Bill yeah. Murray has become. Did you hear his voice? Oh, hello, uh, I'm doing George Takai. You think so? You yeah. think? I am gay. <laughs> I'm Just, gay. Hmm, grumpy cat, I'm a faggot. <laughs> George Takei? Yeah, that's, that's not George Takei. <laughs> that guy is just... I can has cheeseburger. <laughs> and also... I am a faggot. Also cock. Yeah. I can has penis. Ha, ha I am a faggot. <laughs> Dude, how does that guy just become rich just by stealing? For me. Everyone's mad at the yeah. fat Jew, but... No <laughs> one cares about George Takei. Is yeah. The exact same fucking thing. Yeah. He's uh, just gay and old and Chinese or whatever. He's just a nice gay old Japanese. Japanese. I fucking Japanese. despise him, dude. When I was working at the BSO doing fundraising, mm -hmm. uh, which was the funniest job. Yeah, it's just you and a bunch of old Old ladies. women and then like one like really fucking ugly guy named Craig. <laughs> <laughs> His, like, I, he was probably like 28 or 29. Uh, maybe in his early 30s. How ugly, dude? <laughs> just hideous. Like, he kind of, he had, you know, like, his eyes were sunken way into his fucking oh, head. His God. skin was all shitty. He was balding in a shitty way. And then he had these, like, shitty, I think you call them middle school glasses, but those, like, rectangular mm -hmm. glasses everyone had in, like, 2001, right, 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 right. but he's still mm -hmm. wearing them. And, uh... I guess the BSO had George Takai there, and it was like on the schedule, and they handed out the new schedule or whatever to everybody. And he's just in his chair, like reading it quietly to himself, and he's like, Oh, George Takai! <laughs> <laughs> oh, great! Oh, wow! <laughs> you know, and like had to loudly exclaim, you know, how yeah, happy dude. he was. It's so <laughs> annoying. It's, he's for people that fucking suck, dude. That's what my problem with him is, is yeah. that it's just like, if you very love him, you love bacon, you know yeah, what I mean? And you go, also. Right. Did we Somehow about worse this? than the bacon people. Uh, but he, they're the bacon people after. Yeah, after like bacon. After yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Bacon. If you're a bacon guy now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why, but we, we, I think we bacon. talked about this off mic a little bit. Why have dogs become bacon? Have you seen that shit? Now everyone's yeah, like, no. He sort of looks like Obama, but he like has the cadence. And bop, but, dip, 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 dip. but he's like speaking gibberish. gibberish. Yeah, That's awesome. I can't wait we to see We should book it. him on our on Funny Moms yeah. on our show. That's the funniest thing. Cause like, <laughs> we should book him on this podcast. It's funny to do fake languages, but like to have somebody from another language, you know, another country do fake English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very funny. That's the best. Yeah. That's the best version possible. That's I how mean, my we fucking, do my that cousin with... in Greece. Hey, man, hamburgers, hot dogs, man. That's him <laughs> trying to do an American accent. <laughs> hey, Jackie, like, New York City, man, black people. <laughs> yeah. Alvin yeah. Klein. Yeah. <laughs> Just... yeah. My Israeli cousins are like that, too. Adam, you are like a Chandler. <laughs> You are just like a Chandler from the Haverim show, the Friends. Have was, you seen Is that these? what Friends is called in Israel? Haverim. <laughs> Haverim. <laughs> How awful does that theme song sound? <laughs> uh, it's good, dude. That's my favorite song. Haverim. No, in, in Jewish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be there for why do, you. Why do you I don't think they fuck good, man. Because, just because of like the Marquis du Sade? Marquis de Sade and Pepe, and Pepe Le, Pew. Le Pew, who was yeah. a rapist. Yeah, but who's a Pepe rapist. Le Pew follows Marquis de Sade. I mean, that was like, the, you know, French people already had that reputation. That's why they had right. made that's yeah. why Pepe it. Pepe makes sense. Because it wasn't like nobody thought Mexicans were sleepy until Sleepy Gonzales. <laughs> yeah. Speedy so, Gonzales. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Wait, Sleepy <laughs> Gonzales is... I think it started with... Sleepy <laughs> Gonzales is his cousin. Oh, is he? Or the, the other mice. The other oh, okay, mice are okay. like... They have a Sleepy... Yeah. 
I think Speedy's so. sleepy too. Sleepy, I think Speedy's f- always napping or running. I think the French got the fucking thing when Benjamin Franklin took a boat there for seven months. Just so- arguing with the uh, the cashier at GameStop. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin invented that. Shotgunning tall boys. Yeah, the Blockbuster Gold Card. <laughs> <laughs> that was invented by Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, people think it was a key that he Benjamin held. Benjamin Franklin it was actually a Blockbuster Gold yeah, yeah. Card. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin was the first mystery poo. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. ever was. <laughs> Yo, if we un- that's fucking hilarious. Uncover the Benjamin Franklin Pua manual. Don't Yo, that's a bit, thing. dude. That's oh. sketch. That's I did sketch, write a sketch dude. about Benjamin Franklin who was just eating pussy. I mean, legitimately. I wrote a Skinny's bitch uh, where mm-hmm. I used to live in who? Deep Zip City. <laughs> who does the uh, main character? The show opens with uh, him, Clive Owen, having like, sex with, having sex with uh, Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, and doing opium. Nice. Yeah, never seen it. Yeah, he's a he's a drug addict. Yeah, is That's that a, a pew? Show. No, it's a feather. It's a feather from the stops filled with feathers. I thought you pulled a feather out of your shorts. Just I did. Now. My dick is nothing but feathers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a series of feathers glued together. Is that what being a male feminist is? Yeah, a so male feather, feather dick. Chief Feather Dick. You know what I... I tickle bitches till they come with my feather dick. You know what being a male feminist is? Hmm. Buying a fleshlight, but not fucking it, only eating it like (laughs) pussy. (laughs) That's male feminism. That's fucking great. I was thinking about this. Yeah, I have one, but I only do it to practice eating pussy. (laughs) Yeah. By how he might have been molested again? Yo, did I tell you that he, like, <laughs> texted me after that? I was like, yeah, I've had to explain to everyone how I was molested. And it's been a, yeah, it's Adam, been a really Adam hard texted day me. He me. was like, yo, I think Bucket was is serious about this. I'm like, he's fucking with you. Yeah, he's like, I don't think he's fucking with me. I'm like, he's absolutely fucking with you. The president of Trolls, Nick, like, sees the text one time. He's like, no, he's fucking with you. <laughs> like, you like, can sniff out a troll. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, That's pull one over on me, bitch. <laughs> Untrollable. I love it. Well, hopefully he really was, and this sets off another round of him being upset He could get it. molested now. You think so? Is it molestation, though, if you're a fucking grown man? Um, or isn't that second? He's timing with them. There's a knock on the door, and it's these two young girls, and they're, it's like pouring rain. They're like, yeah, we're looking for the party. And he's like, what party? You know? Yeah. And uh, they're like, is this... Uh, and then they pretend like they have the wrong address, and they stay there all night. And, like, you know, he's like, yeah, I'll call you an Uber or whatever. And they're like, do you mind if we, like, put our clothes in the dryer? We don't want to, you know, go to this party with dry clothes or wet clothes. And then they stay there, and eventually, like, you know, they're going to rob him or whatever. Right, right, right. And they f- eventually they force him to, like, you know, they corner, like, they're, they go in the bathroom or something, and he's like, I have your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> you're done drawing. Yeah. You know? That's a good and, and, and so he, like, goes into the bathroom, and they're completely naked, and he's like, what are you doing? Right, right, right. I'm... Married, <laughs> you know? and they're like, "Come on, fuck us!" And he's like, "I can't," you know. And then yeah. they like force him to fuck them, you know. They rape him essentially. How? They, you know, they pull his dick out and start sucking it, and they pin nice. him against the wall. That's cute. And then they don't leave in the morning, and then you know, the, the rest of the movie is like. You know, them fucking up his life. They never, ever, ever won anything. They don't establish why they targeted him. They just sort of destroy his house they and, like, mean. continue to rape him, you know. And the end of the movie is them posting a video of them raping him, like, on Facebook or whatever. What? Yeah. This is a new movie that it's, is Uber and Facebook? It's garbage. It's a fucking really bad movie. And it, Why I did you watch it? I don't know. I was just looking for something to watch. <laughs> uh, Do you see their tits? Yeah, of course. Nice. But it's like... Imagine if you made the, like, gender-swapped version of that movie. Yeah. Just some woman, she, like, her husband goes out of town, and two men show up and rape her for two days, and then they're like, peace, bitch, and then that's the movie. It's a scary movie. <laughs> what? It's scary. It's scary. Yeah. And then they post a video of them raping her yeah. on Facebook, and, like, everyone's, like, unfriended. And they How dare her. you? Yeah. Jesus. How do you rape him, though? I mean, are they stronger than him? Couldn't he punch them? Uh, No, they knock him out and they tie him to a bed and shit. Oh, okay. Whoa. Knock, knock. The name of the movie is Knock, Knock. It's got a 33% on Rotten Tomatoes. Who are the two girls in it? Do they Um, have big titties? Oh, it's weird. It says, uh, 
uh, Mrs. Stav's mom. What? And yeah, everyone's say saying she's that she's dying. dying, right? And then like, it was like, Kumi oh, LOL, this dying. is so funny. Like, Sam Hyde thought it was really funny. Yeah. Posted a bunch of shit about it. And then she actually kind of is dying. Yeah. Yeah. They're right. I guess they're right about Yeah, if they're right about her having a body now, double, it's going to be so funny. That's oh, the be body terrible. double thing? Like, oh, of course she doesn't have a fucking body double. And then they find out she has a body double. It's like... Wow. So one woman is brave enough to have someone else be them, but she can't brave her way to a brave, proud, powerful, female influencing victory of strength and integrity and woman style. Brave, avoiding rape by being strong. The strongest way a woman can. It's like, are you even saying anything anymore? <laughs> You just turned into all superlatives <laughs> halfway through that argument. She's so brave, strong. I can't even. You when a woman has to. This what is a woman her, does. This is her fight song. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen her, that video? The what? The fight song no. video. The Hillary Clinton fight song oh, video. Yeah, but, oh my oh, god. Of all the celebrities like singing it. Nah, no. It's but it's oh, a music it's very video for Hillary Clinton. By who? That. That by this some is reason. your yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. song. This is this is my all right song. <laughs> um, what? what? It, I mean, if, if she fucking <laughs> sucks so much, if, if she's to put them in the man home for the criminally retarded. I, I remember one time in elementary school, we were playing kickball, and some girl <laughs> <laughs> like got tricked by a retarded kid. <laughs> like, like he, like, stole a base somehow, or, like, she got outwitted by a retarded <laughs> guy. And then she was like, you're a, f you're retarded. <laughs> like, she just made it, and he was like, you're a retard. <laughs> and, like, and everyone was like, ah! <laughs> everyone was, like, high-fiving him. <laughs> just, it was just like, one of the best. And this girl got bested twice Roasted. by a retarded Roasted. kid. That's awesome. Oh, That's so man. fucking funny. <laughs> he Roasted. called her a retard. Yeah. That's awesome. You're a retard. You're a retard. Yeah. You're a retard. I love him. She just got so fucking... And she was racist, too, and the kid was black. It was awesome. Have you ever seen the documentary Jeff Town? Jeff Town? Yeah. I think you told me about this. It's about a guy with Down syndrome who's, like, in his 40s, and he lives with his, like, 97-year-old grandmother who has this, like, awful edema in her legs. Ugh. And so she's just, like, wheelchair-bound. And, uh... He's, he has Down syndrome, he works at the movie theater, but then he's, like, aware enough to exploit people mm. um, by, like, taking advantage of the fact they feel bad for him because he's retarded. Yeah, yeah, but Then yeah. he's also, like, racist, and he, like, <laughs> he just gets drunk all the time. <laughs> you know, like, uh, like, there's one scene where there's a girl he likes at the movie theater, and her friend shows up, and he, like, hasn't met the friend, and the, the girl that he likes, she hugs the, uh, her friend, and uh, he gets furious at her. Oh, God. He's like, why are you, why are you hugging her? And she's like, because she's my friend. He's like, you're a fucking lesbian. <laughs> it's not okay to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, oh. he's like homophobic. It's just a great documentary. Damn, that's they awesome. They just found like the biggest piece of shit down syndrome <laughs> guy in the world. This is one scene where the girl's like talking to him and she's like, Jeff, are you still buying prostitutes or whatever? You hang out with that prostitute? And he's like, no. And she's like, why? And she's like, you ma she made me feel bad. And he's just, she's like, how did she make you feel bad? And he's like, because she put, uh, put, put the drugs in my arm. <laughs> and she's, he's like doing heroin with prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a badass. He's just like, oh, yeah. uh, that's a cool ass fucking Down syndrome yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except, Damn. you know, being homophobic and racist yeah. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's got scenes of him. He just goes to the bar after work and he orders like, uh, you know, there's like yards of beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so he's just drinking, <laughs> downing that yard of beer. Oh, man, that's incredible. What you could do without any yeah, of the like. Sounds it like used to be on Netflix. Netflix used is Muhammad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that shit's it's it's like free speech and very funny. Yeah. It, like, do you get free speech automatically if that shit just sucks? Like, well, they don't have free speech in France. You, the United they States don't. is the only. The United States is really the only place where you have like a guaranteed, you know, uh, it's written into the law that we, you know, have a protection for freedom of speech. Other other places they just have like a, an idea of freedom right, of speech, right, 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 but then right. they can still pass laws that you can just not do that. Well, shit. they uh, in France they won't let you wear a fucking hijab on the beach. Yeah. Fucked up. Yeah, that's hilarious. 
<laughs> just like straight up Islamophobic. You need hopefully, to be like a sexy air if you come to the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like a sexy guy. Abroad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did she teach him anything? Yeah. Hey, hey. he's fucking on. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Did she teach him how to eat pussy? Hey. Whoa. Did she teach him how to eat asshole? Whoa. They thought about how to eat an asshole. Um, no. Second of a second, second of a thing on the pussy. And like he legitimately thought when he came back that like his opinions on things were partially from the French perspective. <laughs> it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> just like having that. <laughs> okay, Star Wars. Problem number one. It's his dad. Just call him up. Sorty dad. You don't have to kill all those people. Remake the movie. It's two and a half minutes long. He just loves Bing short bang, movies. <laughs> he wants every movie to be short. His biggest problem with movies is the length. <laughs> I ain't got time to watch all these fucking movies. I got to do the lawn. Yeah. Oh, the Wizard of Oz. Just wake up, stupid. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. You're having a dream. You're seeing... It, it's a talking line. Why do you think you're awake still? <laughs> you know, you know. when I'm having... I'm taking a nap at work. I'll start dreaming something ridiculous. I'll, okay, I'm dreaming. I know. <laughs> why, why, was so, why did so many pe- fucking movies just end with like think people waking up? Which is such an easy device. I don't think... Uh, <laughs> Hollywood in general. Uh, mm-hmm. The tech industry. <laughs> the tech the industry. entire Microsoft Corporation. Mm-hmm. Apple stores. What do you think they're doing behind that genius bar? <laughs> you wonder why they don't let you see behind it. Uh, actually, it's pretty accessible. Shut the behind. fuck up. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, actually, one, you know, sir, you can come right behind here. It's it's 100% true. When you try to apply for a job at the Apple store, they take you in the back. A guy unzips his pants, pulls out his Stugats, <laughs> <laughs> and he makes you suck on it till the phone Did that happen to you, sir? Uh, I'm sorry. No, nah, I don't even use computers. <laughs> you can just, let me see your uh, phone. I use computers because they're filled with pictures of naked men. <laughs> Every computer I've ever seen filled with pictures of naked men. Never used one in my life. <laughs> ah, fuck. God damn. <clears throat> I love fucking being in gay in the army. What about you guys? Uh, what is... The Navy is the gay one? Yeah, the Navy's gay one. What does that even mean? Did they really... Uh, he's got a couple of great N-word jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's been dying to try out. Yitzhak, Yitzhak, how do you say that shit? That's Yitzhak? Perhaps Yitz, the most Yitzhak. Jewish name. Yeah. Or is, is Shlomo a real Jewish Shlomo name? Shlomo is yeah. real. My yeah. favorite so fake funny. Jewish name that I used to use is Shmuley Shlomo. <laughs> I would comment Shmuley's on articles good. and... Yeah, like, well, were the pennies okay? <laughs> Shmuley Shlomo was the first guy to die in the Holocaust. Yeah. <laughs> he was like in line for the train yeah. to go to the camp. Yeah, I'm going like, to get in line first. He was, he was like <laughs> Don't butt about, me. Don't cut yeah. me. You know, he this was, line is taking forever. <laughs> but while it was before they were really serious about like the genocide like, thing, fell on they were like, look, anyone that's willing to pay $25 isn't going to get Holocaust. <laughs> it's like, $25? <laughs> That's literally worse than the Holocaust. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> there you uh, go, Shmuley. Yeah. Um, fuck. Well, Shmuley. Yeah, after dark, we're all pretty tired. You had a decadent Italian meal. I did. I, I mean, I just got off a fucking 48-hour... F- yeah. You know, because you don't know if you're serious anymore. I mean, I'm like that with, like, Kmart graphics tees. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. I wear them, and I'm like, do I... What am I... Do yeah, I like this not shirt for real? talking mm-hmm. about... Yeah, you you do. By the way, that's why like I guys that are do. yeah, they're great. <laughs> the homeless people love that eat my dust shirt. And they can, none of them can read it. They all try to read it, and then they, it's happened. I swear to God, like three or four times, I was outside the bodega, and this homeless guy was like, "Eat my guts." All right, man, I like that. Okay. <laughs> I was stuck in traffic on Canal Street, like bumper to bumper on Friday, leaving town. And uh, there was like this, there's this homeless guy whose ass was coming out of his pants. Hell yeah. And traffic was so bad. He had this like, this walk where he was going so fucking slowly. 
that we were stuck like a couple blocks down and then we saw him slowly pass us. <laughs> he was going like one mile an hour. <laughs> and we're like, with literally, this out. guy is beating us right now. The guy with his ass out. <laughs> I would love it if he was the reason that all traffic was fucked up. <laughs> some guy with his ass. Just rubbernecking. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got to see this guy's ass. <laughs> a lo- nice homeless ass. Probably a lot of caked on shit on that ass, right? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, there was a lot Did of uh, a wear and tear. It was <laughs> leathery, I'll you, say that. You know what I wish I had the ability to do is, uh, like, do Showtime. Like, do Showtime yeah, on yeah. the trains, but go on mm-hmm. the trains and be like, what's up, everybody? This is Showtime. And I start doing Showtime and then shit myself <laughs> halfway through. <laughs> Just have, like, violent diarrhea. My pants fall what? off. It starts spraying all over the train as I'm doing backflips and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the ultimate New York City experience. <laughs> that you would got, be if uh, one of the Showtime guys had did you, diarrhea. On did you. you hear the cricket bees in Chelsea? Oh, Where was think? the bomb? Oh, the bomb, yeah. It was in Chelsea. What was that? What the fuck happened with that bomb? Um, well, it was a, a very Muslimic style attack. <laughs> uh, 100% connected to uh, an Islamified individual <laughs> or a group of individuals who were acting in the name of the Holy Quran. <laughs> uh, their pedophile god, Allah, <laughs> and pedophile Muhammad, they uh, proscribed in, in uh, uh, any kind of uh, peace. Mm. You know, so... Uh, it's actually it's a Muslimic duty. It's actually called one of the pillars of Islam. You got to blow people up during San Gennaro, especially if it's a <laughs> queer neighborhood. That's my favorite shit on Twitter. People are like Chelsea, a queer neighborhood blown up by Muslims. And it's just like some guy in the middle of Texas. <laughs> we got so for him. It's kind of like a push. Yeah, he's like, ah, who cares? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Trump said that in the at the RNC, he was giving his speech, and he goes. Uh, who's talking about how Muslims are mean to the LGBT community. And then he goes, not good. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was like trying to this say... This is really bad, folks. I'm <laughs> telling you. That, look, the L, first of all, L's, that's the best part of the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> GBT, maybe take it or leave it. But the very, <laughs> look, these Muslims, they're coming here, they don't like them. Try, and I love them. I love them, frankly, but they hate them. <laughs> <laughs> not good um yeah i was there i went up to chelsea it's actually not even really chelsea it's like 23rd street right by madison guy that just downloaded a bunch of child pornography and then his defense was like i can't see it yeah <laughs> i just like downloading it it's all numbers to me what if, yeah what if he's just <laughs> listening to eat to it Does that I think count? It's, still it's still possession yeah but what if it's if it's pictures he's like this has no use to me there's really no reason to put me in jail. And they're like, why'd you do it? And he's like, because I could. <laughs> it was the perfect crime. Yeah, the per- <laughs> <laughs> oh, officers, welcome to my home. <laughs> Twirling his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> they just beat him up and take him to jail anyway. It's like, well, this is not a perfect crime at all. You download it, you blind idiot. <laughs> he's got like braille drawings of little kids getting sucked off. And he's like uh, running his fingers over. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, wow. Pedophilia. Pretty fun stuff. Pretty funny. Well, um, that's the kind of content people check in for. Us this today. is the after dark. <laughs> this is the after dark. Is anybody special? Sav and I, porn star and a gay porn star, and the straight guy. <laughs> the game was if the gay guy could make the straight guy come by sucking his dick <laughs> on television. Like they put it, they put yeah. he, he was in a little box, <laughs> and, the, and the gay guy got on his knees, and you couldn't see him sucking dick, but you just like it would cut to the straight guy making like <laughs> pained faces, <laughs> like oh, oh, yeah. uh, no. I play that game all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is on, dude. It was like on television. There's people in the audience like clapping, <laughs> watching a guy suck his dick, and the the gay guy would like pop out and like wink at the audience. Yeah. And like, they had a game <laughs> show where one of the games was like they put all the contestants in a room, and then they it's like a classroom, and they have like a retarded guy that's trying to read. <laughs> And if they laugh at him, they're like, like, and you like leave. Oh so there's people God. like, I'm out of that yeah, game right like, away. Yeah. I don't he's like, oh, don't go bother, don't go bother, go to Puru Hako. And they're like fucking dying laughing at him. They just like lose the money. 
fucking day. Don't uh, Rafu at a retarded guy. <laughs> Please, Fuck, uh, man. How do not uh, Rafu him. Could you not laugh? If uh, a Japanese retarded guy was reading? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We stopped there. We went to a big K. They had big a big K, K, K a, across the street from a Walmart superstore. So we were Came really out tight. there. Yeah. Uh, um, if we got any Lehigh Valley fans out there, please uh, go out in your town, uh, smash some windows at local businesses, <laughs> yeah. write Come Town Rules, uh, <laughs> fucking write Jim's a faggot, all of, just everywhere. Yeah. Uh, please Come destroy his mother. and Jim's a faggot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. <clears throat> <laughs> I love that dude One of our fans Just are fucking <laughs> Just <laughs> causing Civil yeah, unrest yeah. And they're yeah, fucking, There's a, a Fucking fire In eastern Pennsylvania <laughs> That burns down The whole town <laughs> They told me to do it <laughs> I was we, just doing What they said On a podcast <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck I would love to have Like those fucking hearings We go in like Twisted sister What a bad band To die for well, to die for, maybe, but you just priest fucking rules. Uh, Rob Halford, dude? Yeah. Priest he's is hilarious. Yeah. I think we've talked about that already. What? That he's, he's just gay, gay as hell. Yeah. And, like, all metal. It's like, he's just gay as shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You take a man and put him inside your body. <laughs> and people are like, yeah, it probably means, like, with a sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's fucking badass, this dude. You guys have seen heavy metal parking lot, obviously, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just like Maryland trash that are just like it's like filmed at Meriwether Post Pavilion. Oh, in, really? In the parking lot of a of a pre it. show. Yeah. in oh, the eighties. Yeah, 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 it's just yeah. some it's of great. the best Maryland Fuck. accents yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this girl. She's like, I'm from Glen Burnie, <laughs> and yeah. uh, they're like, What would you do if Rob Halford was here right now? She's like, I'd probably jump his bones. <laughs> I would jump his bones. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a big one. Also, this dude with like a terrible mullet, like uh, peach fuzz mustache. Is like with his girlfriend, mm-hmm. and uh, they start making out. And then he looks at the camera. He's like, "I'm going to the army next week. I'm 18 years old." And she's like, "I'm 13." <laughs> 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 Holy shit, that's incredible! I jump his back. When two men are in love with each other. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hell yeah, dude. He means like brothers in arms. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's what he means. <laughs> and then I found out I was HIV positive. <laughs> that means like hell, inferno, <laughs> fucking <A> virus, volcano. dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that means like it's something badass is what he's talking about. You have to understand the nuance of metal lyrics. It sure makes you think. That's why I like metal instead of punk rock. <laughs> you know? Yeah, the layers. Yeah. The layers. Because it's about being pissed off but instead of hating your dad you get along with him and work on the car together <laughs> that's like that's what metal's about dude <laughs> I my fucking dude my cousin in Greece l- listened to the fucking corniest metal bands because Greece I guess there's just no yeah higher like you just listen to all of it he listens to some fucking band called <laughs> no sorry he was flying to Australia and there was an Australian guy flying back to Australia sitting next to him he's like yeah just uh, had a holiday here in the states you going to australia you know and he's like yeah haven't been before he's like really excited he's like yeah this is my first time in america <laughs> and then um and i was like oh cool do you like it and he's like well i'll tell you you got a lot of niggas in america on the plane he's like can i move can i move seats <laughs> there are so many australians in new york city because apparently what happened was because they supported George Bush in like the war on terror. Yeah. They got like this visa deal where they can like, you know, to be a racist Australian and doing commentary yeah. about what, like watching what the What the basket- hell is that? <laughs> like the yeah. basketball teams playing each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, hey, look at these, these bad beans. These grabbing <laughs> all the rebounds. <laughs> they like, actually the Big expect- monkey hands. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how are you going to compete with that? <laughs> yeah, they're they're great. Extra, they got fast twitch muscle. <laughs> yeah. You got an extra muscle, don't they? <laughs> uh, I would love to fuck an Australian woman. Uh, why? Because she's a woman? So she puke <laughs> on you afterwards? I want to hear that dumb voice. Uh, I got head in a field this weekend. That's actually. what I'm talking yeah, it sounds about. Sounds like a Terrence Malick movie. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah. I just didn't have. I was splitting a hotel room 
with Bobby, Bobby Kelly. I was on the road in Vermont with, and I didn't have anywhere to just uh, fuck this girl from Tinder. <laughs> so we just so like, you laid. committed the crime from a time to kill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just fucking picked a grassy yeah. ass. Who sucked by your lake. dick, Matthew Shepard? Yeah, it was Matthew <laughs> Shepard. <laughs> oh my god, Nick. <laughs> Uh, it was great, dude. I loved... Um, out in the field, huh? Out in the middle of the field, people are walking. Um, it's by a lake. I'm on all fours eating pussy. There's, like, wind blowing <laughs> in my ass. It was fucking... <laughs> it was whistling in. Wait, you were completely nude eating I had, pussy in a field? My dick was out. My my boxes were out. So, yeah, I just kind of... That's <laughs> such a hilarious mental image. <laughs> just wind just blowing in your ass. Field. I'm on all fours like, eating pussy. You're just on a nature walk. <laughs> You're, and you're like, yeah, we should, we should walk outside more. So, oh my god, we are never going outside again. If you want to know what it looks like, listeners, for stop to be naked in a field with wind blowing into his asshole on our, all fours, you can go to at Stavi Baby right. on my Instagram. Instagram. I just put on a nice pic of my ass, my my ass, <laughs> looking real good on a ladder. <laughs> at Stavi baby, uh, but yeah, it was really, it was really, fu- it was wild. So was this girl Australian or no? Just uh, just Vermont. A girl that I had sex with yeah from Vermont. A real waltzing material. Dude, people believe a dumb troll. Oh yeah, when I was like twenty, I had on my Facebook page it said I was like a uh, like a widower, and there was these two dumbass girls. This girl, Eva, she was like, uh, hey, do you mind if I, like, just, mind if I just ask you what happened? And, you know, I mean, I'm a fucking idiot now. Of but course. M- me at 20, like, I mean, I'm trying to compare myself to then as if really anything's changed. But, like, you know, <laughs> basketball shorts. And I'm pretty sure I used to just shave my head and I had a dollar You're sign. You're literally wearing basketball yeah, shorts right now. Yeah. I had a dollar sign shaved into the back of my head. Oh, that's oh, hilarious. Yeah, God. and uh, what? So you're cooler. Why? Well, I, I just do shit like that while I was drunk. Yeah, you know, uh, fucking just drunk constantly. And uh, so I'm sitting there, and she's like, uh, w- like you know, with your wife that died. And I was like, oh yeah, my <laughs> wife uh, who died. Uh, yeah, her name was uh, Skyla. Skyla Dust. <laughs> And she was stung to death by bees. And she was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, yep. Uh, Can't be around bees anymore. And I told her and this other girl, and they both believed me. And then fucking Cubis was like, you believe that shit, you fucking idiot? And then she was like, why did you lie to me? It's like, because you believed it. That's yeah, not my yeah, fault. Yeah, because it was fun. Do you believe something like that? <laughs> when you first moved to Baltimore, I remember, you pretended you had a son. Oh, yeah, remember? yeah. <laughs> no, that was just like a Facebook joke. Right. And then a bunch of people took it seriously. I told people I had a son. Uh, yeah, I remember. What was the guy's yeah, name? Ronaldo yeah. Fink. Ronaldo Fink Mullen. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that, that kid sort of became Nicole Mullen's kid. Yeah, sort of. It's funny to have like a kid that you don't take care of. And then the best part when he died, I remember he linked to what was that fucking song? All right, oh, yeah, all uh, right, all right, we just, just killed the, the club. club. <laughs> You're like my son, Patron my baby boy. The- you yeah, fucking yeah. wrote this like two paragraph thing about your son dying, <laughs> and then you linked to R. I. P. All right, P. All right, P. And people were giving you sincere congrats, like sorrow, like like fucking apologetic messages. What the fuck word am I looking for? It was so funny, but that was before that was before I had a big internet presence, so like people didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Half my Facebook friends were like people who didn't fucking know me. I remember people at open mics would be like, God, it's terrible what happened to Nick's son. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? You know him How in does person. That work? You know he doesn't yeah. have a fucking son. He's drunk always. <laughs> He's fucking just drunk driving every night to the apartment uh, where he uh, lives I with think a I was fucking my car. raped yeah. clown. <laughs> you think he's got a child somewhere? Yeah. And then I say I said he died in a beer fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was no investigation. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Ty, Tom Myers. When I went to go to that album recording of his, <laughs> oh yes, uh, I saw him, and he was like, you know, eating his free meal, and he's like, oh, uh, congratulations on your son, by the way. I was like. <laughs> 
Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, fuck. You want to be his godfather? That would be awesome. Old, old Tommy, Tommy, my, Tommy, two mys. Fuck, Tommy, Erm, Erm, my. I need to. I need. I, have, I need to. I need an update on Tom Myers. I got to go back to Baltimore. Yeah, dude. I emailed him. him. I was like, "Will you do my podcast? I promise I won't make fun of you." Did and he what did he say? No, he didn't respond. I'll ask him. Yeah, I can ask him too. <laughs> I'll ask him. I won't tell him it's your podcast. Yeah, of course. I would never. He'd probably do it. If I, I don't know him. why he's fucking mad at me. I did like. I didn't make fun of him any more than anyone else did. He literally does not know that... 2000, like, five, 2006, that's all you cared about the first six right. months in comedy. I do remember, for some reason, starting yeah. out and being fucking hacks, Terrified. Dude. You know who I hate steal my is shit. hacks. Right. Hacks are the fucking... Then I'm going up, it's like, what if you, like, fingered a baby, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. Awful garbage I had a material. joke. I, I was afraid people would steal my shit, and one of my jokes was like... Uh, I knew I was getting fatter when I started having trouble wiping my own ass. And then I was like, yeah, uh, a couple months ago, maybe I wasn't in the best shape, but my asshole was an incredible, was incredibly clean. That was the joke. Yeah. That was like my big... That was a big closer? Like, yeah, that was like a big... It was, it was a tent pole in the middle of it. Oh, okay. Uh, God, that was so... F- Dude, I have a fucking... From EJ's Landing, I have a hilarious Tom Myers thing. I was in a contest there. There was just this terrible seafood restaurant where Irwin... We haven't talked about Irwin at all. Oh, my God. Who dude. is a fucking That's going to be line. the next half of the he's, podcast. Yeah, yeah. That should be... But, yeah. So, he's... It, it was, you know, it's this terrible seafood restaurant that was an open mic, and they would run contests. Are you good to talk for a second if I go get a coffee? Yeah, sure. Um, Nick, can you pour me, like, two uh, sips? So I fucking So uh, I'm in this contest And Tom Myers uh-huh. is on it too And my little brothers come To see me And my little brother Nick Just does an incredible Black guy impression Like he just does He has like Every register of black guy Like he can do He does a great James Brown uh-huh. He does just like a great Like what You know what? A, and so Tom Myers I go up by whatever And okay said It's my I'm six months into comedy Or whatever Right right Then Tom Myers goes up and he's just doing like jokes about Vietnam. Like he's doing yeah, jokes yeah, about yeah. like Charlie in the trees and just like the classic Tom Myers bits. Uh, and my little brother starts going like, oh, hell no. <laughs> just like <laughs> as a black guy, he just starts going like, mm, no, no, thank you. Just like just heckling him as a black person for some reason, I guess probably being racist. Uh, but just like, and Tom is like a little flustered. And to the point where I have to tell him, please, Nick, you got to stop doing this. Yeah. Like, someone's going to come see, and it's going to be like, I brought the guy heckling, you know. Anyway, so that, so we do this fucking, uh, um, so that, so we do the, the contest is over. Tom bombs because my brother is heckling him as a black person. And he, again, he's got his jokes or whatever. So then I go up to him, just like kind of making small talk. And I'm like, oh, Tom, this was, uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's kind of, you know, whatever the crowd stuff. And he's like, dude, these fucking urban crowds, you, smart material. He was goes, talking about your brother. These urban, with urban Incredible. crowds, smart material goes right over their heads. Uh, it was just my brother doing a black guy oh voice heckling God. him. It wasn't that any black, it wasn't like black people didn't get his fucking Vietnam jokes. It's like warmed over Bill Hicks shit. There it was, wasn't even like urban crowds. There was there was yeah. no black people there. It was my brother doing a black guy voice, and that's how racist he was that he couldn't even just admit he was bombing. <laughs> it was a sixteen year old <laughs> white child yeah, yeah, going yeah. like uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, oh, of course. Yeah, Tom. so Tom that night he fucking we were outside talking about joke death, and he goes. Uh, Yes, luckily I don't have to worry about that because no one will touch my material with a ten foot pole. And he says it with this like, no one has the courage, <laughs> right, 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 to do his like, right, right. to do his Kennedy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, Tom, you were born in 1983. Yeah. What do no, you give Tom a shit about? Not, no, he was born the Jackass. Too. The or the Jack. Maybe it was Wild Boys. Or I think actually I think it was Jackass too, where they just drink a horse's cum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, yeah. man, that's not. It's not a, a prank. prank. Yeah. <laughs> oh, half of it isn't. Well, pranks. there was also yeah, the yeah. one thing where they just bam, like got a gold dildo rammed up his ass <laughs> really fast, and it was like that's just gay porn. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not even. That's a specific kind of gay porn. That's solo yeah, yeah, gay yeah. porn. I love Jackass, man. 
Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it's so funny. I will Party never boy. laugh at anything in as authentic a way as I laugh at Jackass. Those guys are so cool. Yeah. They're the coolest guys. They're, They're like so us cool. if, you know, we were less um intellectual. You're good at talking, yeah, 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 saying yeah. shit and fucking and knowing politics yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And smart and being handsome yeah. and shit. But we're also as brave as those guys. Yeah. Well, in a different way. Yeah. I mean, I would do oppression. any of that. I, that, that. Honestly, my my main gripe with Jackass is that, you know, it's like boring. I would do all that stuff. <laughs> I, would do all that, I wouldn't even think to film it because it's like, yo, this is just me. I do. Yeah. It for this a, is me being real. It's dude. a lifestyle. Oh, yeah. It's not like for yeah. cameras. I, love, or, I, I just do that shit to show girls how strong I am. Well, yeah, of course. My they're favorite fucking, thing. They're dumb, and you have to prove it to them. Oh yeah, with that's extreme so sports. True. Well, or you can prove it by just putting a little mouse costume on your dick and having a snake bite. <laughs> that was, that was that's such funniest. a funny bit. That was so fucking. Where they tied they tied the string so it was like a marionette. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, that shit is so funny. <laughs> Honestly, well, like the way you laugh at that is oh yeah. That that's not the same as like seeing a good set. That yeah, and like, yeah. like going to a stand up yeah. show. It's so fucking funny. It's, That's why the MDE show is It's a visceral funny. laughter. Exactly. Well, yeah, it's the same funny. thing. When Sam's when Sam's like uh, answering that door and they're like the thing BuzzFeed got mad about, they're like he's in blackface and it's like yeah, and he's got gold boogers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so funny. The American, so many the American Idol choices. sketch is like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I almost pissed my yeah, pants. When, I was when laughing Nick so is, hard. When Nick is like, uh, <laughs> yeah, wow, I just hear your voice and I'm like. This person's gonna make a lot of fucking money one day. <laughs> <laughs> they make that one girl like sing for four hours. <laughs> she sings literally every song she knows. She's like on Happy Birthday by the end. She's just run out of songs. Oh <laughs> they just like make her. <laughs> There's just this. Oh my god. Yeah, it's. I mean, it, we've t- probably talked about it. Before. Gentlemen, don't panic. But I think there is a rat or mouse in the apartment. Oh, oh nice. And keep seeing it. What dart the fuck around. is your dumbass cat? I don't doing? know. Sitting on the table, dude. The, there's a fucking go mouse. Get, go get go it. Go eat that go shit. Go kill. Eat it. You fucking threw up last time, bitch. Get, f- Go get a fucking mouse. And an Elizabeth. Shannon Elizabeth. 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 You know Fire. how fucking the, AOL.com? The sound of like a VHS tape, like, boom, 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 just yeah. for that, the, just to see those titties. Dude. Over and over again. <sighs> those titties were bom- 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 bonkers. <sighs> I, I want to I want to have these conversations, but with children at bus stops, like <laughs> teenagers on their way home after school. I'm like, let me tell you, American Pie. I used to beat off my dick every single day after school. Where are you kids? Jack you know, there used to be a place called Funko Land. I would go there sometimes, but mostly what I would do, <laughs> yeah, just, uh, it will just turn into it's Jack. Jack Levin. Levin. Hey, are you boy? Have you boys ever heard of? Beating off. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not a pedophile. Yeah, yeah, he just wants yeah, yeah. to fucking well, educate just, them. Just, 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 just give me a second here. You know, put your cell phone down. You don't need to call your parents. <laughs> I'm telling you, hey, this is going to change your life. You have to listen to me. Shelly, is your name Shelly? Are you Shelly? Which one of you is Shelly? Shelly, you pull down your pants, okay? You get some Vaseline. So maybe some of your, your mommy's lotion from the bathroom. You wrap it around your dick, and you just start tugging on that thing like you're trying to, like you're trying to rip it off. <laughs> oh, fuck I've uh, I've beat off to that all the time. I feel like I already said this, but Elijah Dushku in the uh, the new guy, there's a bikini scene that what I what a retarded movie. I, hilarious. That, like he's no going sense. to a new school, but he, we want him we want people to think he's cool, so we're going to turn him into a different kind of faggot. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Instead of a nerd, he's a goth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's got a big part. A big plot point is that his dick is crooked. What's like the his name dick of that? Is Ninety <laughs> degrees. <laughs> that's like that's how they identify him at the end. You see his dick, and it's ninety degrees. And that was the initial incident that gets him so embarrassed he has to leave school. Someone bends his dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking plot of that movie. So then he goes to a different school, becomes a weird guy, whatever he is, and he's people think he's cool, but yeah. he definitely would have gotten beaten up. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's because Eddie Griffin is like watching out for him or something yeah. like that. I don't think I don't remember goths in my high school. I think that like just ended right when I got there. Oh, uh, we had goths. Did you? Oh yeah, like fucking parachute pants. And like, like I guess suspenders. Yeah. My older but like my older stepsister had friends like that. 
Oh, man. And I remember there was a guy that worked at the Cinnabon in Lake Forest Mall that was like full on goth with like the moon. I started mooning people outside of like the dry, the passenger yeah. side. And he thought it was so fucking funny. Like there was this, he was, uh, he had the car and he was like uh, lining us up with this old black lady. So my ass is like two feet away from her face <laughs> right, right. while she's like trying to drive and Andrew's like dying laughing and like you know gas yeah. brake gas brakes and she's trying to speed up and then he'll speed up <laughs> she's keeping my ass like balanced with her face and he's like crying laughing and we finally I sit down and she's like I don't want to see your white ass and I was like oh sorry you know <laughs> and she drove off or whatever but he thought it was I, it was like one thing I did one time but then he became obsessed with mooning people so he'd be like, Mullen, you got to moon this guy. You got to fucking moon this guy. I'm like, I don't want to moon this guy or whatever. So then he started like every having... every time you hang out. He made me like thing, drive him around thing. so he could do it. And then he... But he would... He just like didn't give a shit. You know, we'd be stopped at a red light and he'd be in the passenger seat and he'd be like, excuse me, sir. And like honking on the horn yeah. and then just stick his ass directly in someone's face. And we'd be sitting there for like two minutes. Yeah, I mean, if someone mooned you, you would just be like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be like, that's one of the dumbest, like, who really gets mad Was at it you, you were telling me you saw that, like, alt-comic girl, like, Bushwick alt-comic girl that, like, did a bit where she was, like, mooning the audience? Oh, yeah. But her pussy was... Yeah, you could sort of see her pussy, <laughs> and she was, like, two feet away from me. <laughs> and I was like, I don't... All right, if you Sounds want. Like, yeah. Sounds like a good bit. I don't I mean, do I support, stand up. Yeah, I do. I do characters. I do characters. <laughs> this character is I show everyone my pussy. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit. Yeah, that was at one of the the Lorelai girls shows. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I Lorelai's forget, funny. I forget who that girl was, but I saw her pussy, <laughs> and now the listeners of uh, of Sea uh, Town Premium, your location. Uh, uh, your mother's pussy. Okay, and I need an occupation. Uh, L B G Y N. Okay. You know, I was thinking about you so know, there's I like E N T's. You know, ear, nose, and throat, and then there's yeah, L B G Y N's. Yeah. It's like you know, you're already spending that much in school. Why not like mix and match, and you can be like an E N V, like ear, nose, and <laughs> vagina. Yeah, no throat, just yeah. vagina. No, no, just a throat. Ear, no, I do nose, pussy, titty. <laughs> <laughs> nose, pussy, titty. Yeah. Nose, pussy, asshole. You gotta have pussy and asshole. Yeah. I think. I'm a P. I'm a PA doctor. <laughs> I'm a I'm a throat pussy asshole. I'm doctor. a belly button pussy asshole. An a- a- ASS slash P U S S Y. I was in school uh, for that on a fucking <laughs> on someone's door. Yeah, but yeah. With yeah. Doctor Jonathan Pritchard. ASS P U S S Y. <laughs> uh, that's the dumbest shit. <laughs> I love oh, it. That's good. Seeing yeah. that on like a plaque, a uh, fucking a, a diploma. <laughs> 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 okay, all right, but we gotta do this improv scene. So, we're gynecologists in your mother, and we're in your mother's pussy. Okay, we're inside. That's the location. Yeah. That's the location. Do you need anything else? Was this guy Bill? Who, did I already tell this story or no? I don't think so. Oh mm-hmm. man. So Bill, yeah. Bill would just hear people say things and then repeat them like the Big Lebowski without understanding what they meant. Mm-hmm. And like one time he was like, uh, yeah, I'm planning on, uh, I, I want to put these games here, but then Forte, these other games above <laughs> them. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, you just guessed completely. He's like, no context. Cues. Yeah, it, it sounds right. pretty good. Forte it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah one time he was like, uh, he was using the word preface wrong like mm-hmm. a bunch. Kept saying preface incorrectly. One time he just shit his pants. I know that. I was going to ask you about that. I remember you told me that story. What yeah. happened for that again? He fucking, uh, I came into work. Uh, first of all, this dude lived in Bel Air and the store was Bel in. Bel Air, Maryland. Yeah. For yeah. Yeah. And the store was in Rockville. Which, that's a two hour drive. That's yeah, if you're far. lucky. Yeah, if you're yeah. lucky, it's two hours. It's a two hour drive. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's he, basically DC. Yeah, he yeah. would drive all the way down every morning that's and incredible. work bell to bell every day. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't an hour. He was a salaried employee. Right. He was a manager, so he got his like twenty thousand dollars a year <laughs> to manage the GameStop. <laughs> and so he didn't have to be there, but he would work seventy three hour weeks. And I remember asking him one time, I'm like, Bill, why do you do that? And he was like, Well, I'll tell you what. 
It impresses uh, the district managers are all pleased with me. All of the area managers are pleased with me. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of thing that's important for moving up. And it's like, Bill, you don't have a college degree. You're never going to move past store manager. <laughs> right. They don't hire store managers as, like, district managers. <laughs> right. You're already, you're done. You got to the top. <laughs> I don't you don't know think GameStop this. would let him would let him if he if he beat Zelda fast enough be a district manager. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. He also told me he's like I also do loss prevention for the district, which was a lie. That <laughs> they, they, they don't have that. I don't think. I don't have a guy that just does loss prevention. Um, and then that store, I told you that story. That store got robbed one time. <laughs> I didn't get robbed. They had this like A frame. With all like Game Boy games in it. And mm-hmm. This is already like I don't know. This is probably like 2007. So Game Boy was really you know, on its last legs. It was done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the games cost like if you wanted to buy them, they were maybe like three bucks a piece. Yeah. And the trade in value was nothing. So the entirety of this case was worth maybe like, you know, four dollars <laughs> worth of merchandise. Um, uh, Adam, Adam just, just Adam got the mouse and he's putting it in his pocket, maybe to sell later. The market, <laughs> listen, the market. Temple. You don't know how much <laughs> these go for these yeah, days. Watch it with the fucking wires. I'm gonna put the mic down. Throw it out real quick. Okay, yeah. all right. Tell the story. I, I want to hear this fucking so um, the Game Boy A frame full of Game Boys. Yeah. So fuck. I should have drank some coffee. No, it's fine, dude. This is a through. good story. I'm fucking it up. It's Adam's fault for still forgetting the mouse. It's just it was distracting me to I'm make sorry. a yamaka. It was distracting it. everybody. There's a fucking dead mouse on the floor. I can't see it because it's blocked by the table. It was it's, really distracting. I don't think we really them. have to call an exterminator for the uh, Anthony Cumia Studios. Yeah, it's fucking. We're, well, we're and 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 got in a little bit of trouble calling exterminators. Uh, mm-hmm. They told them we don't do black guys and <laughs> just mm-hmm. please stop calling. Yep. Uh, <laughs> So he actually can't do business with any of those, <laughs> any of the companies in New he York City. He called every single yeah, yeah. exterminator in New York and asked them to exterminate. Uh, you get rid I'm of these sure you find people. one in New York. <laughs> yeah, it's a big city. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a guy for How that. How big is he? Yeah. Oh, you said he was a rat. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. He just murders a guy in broad daylight. <laughs> just goes to jail. Now I'll be seeing about that twenty-five dollars you owe me, <laughs> pal. <laughs> yeah. So this fucking this case with like these Game Boy games in it was worth like you know nothing. Yeah. Somebody had that like uh, it had like glass sliding doors in the front, but they kind of went those like like you know those locks with the teeth. In yeah, it. yeah, right, right, right. Hold, yeah. Hold the ten- Somebody found that you could like wiggle them on the sides just enough to like steal. Like the sides of the, so they stole like ten Game Boy games off the side, and I like just noticed it. And I told the assistant manager John, who was like thirty four and wore like an Indiana Jones hat, <laughs> and this oh like God. shitty face, uh, like facial yes. hair, and like this like shitty stringy Hell long yes. hair. And uh, I told John and Bill, and uh, you know I thought they'd just be like, oh okay, and they both come over and they're like crossing their arms and like huffing and puffing, and they're like. <sighs> Damn it, <laughs> you know. And uh, John's looking at it, and he looks at he looks at Bill, and he's like, "This was probably a professional thief." <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. <laughs> 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 The fucking yeah, Ocean's Eleven Daddy came Ocean. in here yeah. and, and stole your fucking Game Boy games. He stole stole Doctor Mario for Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that shit sucked. was that shit was so fucking funny. That's incredible. Yeah, no, Bill shit his pants one time. I, uh, I like, went into the store and I had to, like, open with him. This is, like, the morning. I'm tired of shit. Like, yeah. I don't really want to be there. Yeah, of course. And uh, I go in, and uh, Bill's like, would you mind setting that up over there for me? Thanks. And he, like, turns around and walks back to the counter. And he, as soon as he turns around, I notice, like, on his ass, there's, like, shit splattered on the back of his pants. Oh, no. Not, like, on... There's, like, brown, sh- like, shit splattered. Right. But it didn't make sense, because, you know, if you shit your pants, you shit on the other side. Right. So, I don't know. He somehow shit on the back of his pants. <laughs> and It uh, just seeped through? No, I'm, I'm assuming he had like diarrhea or something, mm. and like was rushing to pull his pants down and, and shit on some. the. He shit on the back of them while like trying to sit down and shit. Interesting. Okay. Um. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, great, this is fantastic. 
And uh, <laughs> so as other like employees were coming into the store that day, I'd be like, oh, uh, yeah, hey, Jeremy, how was your weekend? Oh, by the way, uh, Bill shit his pants. <laughs> If you want to take a look, you can see he shit his pants. And I called my friend Matt, and because uh, like you know I'd made fun of that guy so much. Yeah. And Matt's like, no way, he shit his pants. And I was like, yeah, he shit his pants. And then like two hours later, I was just you know like stocking the shelves or something, and I just hear from behind me my friend Matt's voice. And he's like, can I tell him? <laughs> and I'm like, Man, Matt had come to the store to see it. And he's like, can I tell him he shit his pants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dude ran over a child on his way to work one morning. What? Yeah. What the fuck? He got to work like 20 minutes late, and he's like, That's it? Sorry I'm late. And he, but well, maybe it's a little bit long, man. He goes, He's like, Sorry I'm late. Uh, he's like, uh, Skidded on the ice, and uh, my car went into a 14 year old girl, and she got hit up on the roof, but the police said it was her fault. She didn't have the right of way, so <laughs> I was clear to come to work. And I was like, Bill, go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no reason for you to be here. <laughs> he just hit a, a fucking child. Yeah, he ran it over his, a child him. on his way to GameStop. That day he shit his pants was the only day he actually left when his shift ended. Yeah. He was like, wow, three o'clock. I'm, I'm tired. I'm beat. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, man, I wonder what that guy's up to now. I don't know. He I, he told me about like when I am interviewed for the job. Mm-hmm. Uh, for some reason, he's like, well, I'll tell you a little bit about me. Uh, he was like, uh, I was, uh, enlisted in the army, uh, after the army, I, I worked at Suncoast Video and worked my way up to manager <laughs> and I was there for 17 years. And then I said, <laughs> Jesus, how fucking old, but how old was he for real? He was like probably like 37, 38. Damn. Yeah. Um, but just, I don't understand why that was part of the interview process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just hoping he just doesn't know friends. how to, yeah, doesn't know how to interview. Imagine that working at a Suncoast Video. What a depressing store. What we we never had those. We just had Blockbuster and Hollywood video. Suncoast video wasn't a rental place. People like will like lock themselves in their garage with their car running to kill themselves. Yeah. yeah. Put like a hose from the tailpipe into mm-hmm. the car. Just do that, but with your own ass. <laughs> so it's a hose that goes up your ass and then you jam the other end in your mouth. <laughs> it's a gentle... just, but it takes like four <laughs> shits for it to fill up. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just like... Then you just sit in the library and leave a note. You just hold a note and you hand it to people. And you're like, sir, what are you doing? It's a gentle way. Goodbye, to cruel world. <laughs> Put the hose oh, back oh, in your mouth. Oh. Fuck, oh, um, <clears throat> I actually do have something fucking funny to talk about is uh, I joined... I think, I don't know, I haven't watched that show with any kind of... Is, is it been really on regular... for 20 fucking years? That's crazy. Yeah, I remember when it debuted. Me too, which is fucked yeah. up. It's fucked up. It used to be Barbara Walters, right? Barbara, Barbara Walters. Walters. Barbara Walters, um, Rosie O'Donnell. No, she came in and out. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi don't you mean there. Oprah? <laughs> yeah, I do mean Oprah. I did have to think about it. <laughs> How, you know, I think sometimes I make myself laugh. I think about like uh, being you know, the color purple, but then I think mm-hmm. I, I call uh, I call her in my head uh, the smell purple. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't even know what that means, yeah, but it makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> nice man, the smell purple. Uh, yeah, the yeah. smell of a recurring dream. That every window and door in my house, like that led to the outside. If you open the door, mm-hmm. there was just a giant ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a nightmare that there was like a giant That's ass. That's the that goofiest was like nightmare of all time. Yeah, yeah. So you couldn't leave the house because there was these giant like asses being like shoved <laughs> through the windows and doors. Is this a dream or that a was fear? The, it was the dream. It I can't dream. remember. I just remember that was a prominent part of my childhood. And you this... felt scared of the asses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't. There was no way to leave the house because of these asses or whatever. And then. Uh, <laughs> Then there was this other fantasy I used to have that there was like an underground tunnel I could go in and I had like my own panic room, like my own panic control room with like, you know, monitors that led out everywhere and I could kill people with like remote machine guns. And those now, kind of now that sounded more like a, a you fantasy. No, I actually talked to a couple of people and like numerous people had that. Really? You know, it's funny. I, I bonded with a friend of mine over like a couple in, serial killers in junior high. I remember I used to fantasize about having like a uh, was that movie like uh I don't even think I saw the movie, but just like there was like a they it was like kids had watches that could stop time. I don't know. Mm, not clock kids. stoppers. I think that was the name oh, of the yeah, movie. Oh yeah, it was I time stop yeah, yeah, yeah. something stoppers. like that. I didn't see it, but I was I yeah, understood the concept. the concept. Yeah. 
And I remember like in middle school thinking about like how cool would it be if I could stop time and then have sex with every girl in the, <laughs> I know, dude. I class. thought that too. Yeah, I'm not yeah, even yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have sex with every girl in the class and then sit back down in my seat and then start time again. And then you would just see every girl in the class suddenly just be like, Oh, <laughs> you know, and then not know what happened, and I'm just sitting there, just su- super relaxed. You just come, eight yeah, times. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just took like nine days <laughs> to work my way through the entire classroom. Oh boy, yeah, that was a uh, that was on. I used to think about that too. Stopping head. time and touching titties all the time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was fucking it's awesome. just rape. It's yeah, just, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's rape. That's what I was, was thinking about rape. <laughs> You're Fuck. just dreaming of rape in yeah. your entire school. <laughs> nah, dude, time, it's it's time not travel. rape if it's hypothetical. Because actually, you know, that is like a fun physics question about mm. would consent exist outside of a construct of space time? <laughs> what? Talk about on the boat. This is Irwin, dude. Oh, the fuck, great yeah. Irwino. Yeah, we should oh, have that's a little how it this That's a fucking good one. Uh, yeah, I just mentioned Mike Diesel and I forgot completely about Irwin. Irwin. <laughs> he changed it to. He did? Yeah. He Why would you change your name to that? Uh, I guess he doesn't want people to know that he's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Jewish. Yeah, yeah. Well, Irwin, and the way the guy looks. Irwin. Yeah, this guy looks like, uh, he looks, if if you've been following me for on Twitter for a while, back when I was Eddie Cum, my, <laughs> a, my Avi was, uh, was Irwin. Irwin. Oh, Irwin right. hanging off that swing set. Where did you that's find that? That's the greatest that? picture That's such taken. a fucking... He takes the best picture. He's <laughs> awesome, man. There's one with him just sitting in a chair and just at the back of his stage. He's, he's morbidly obese. Morbidly fucking obese. He has a mustache. Mustache. He looks like... He, he's like, I look like Ron Jeremy. And he does, but like... Looking like Ron Jeremy isn't a good thing. <laughs> right? Ron That's Jeremy. not a good looking guy. He has one good part <laughs> yeah. of his body. If, if, and it's not his dick. dick. He'd be an ugly, com- just some fucking guy <laughs> that never fucks. <laughs> <laughs> just like works at who knows where. Yeah. Yeah, Irwin um, is some fucking, he's, he's a, he used to run open mics in DC. He ran the EJ's Landing. Yeah. Kaleid- Kaleidoscope, Kaleidoscope comedy. comedy. What the fuck name is that even? I don't know. Yeah, I feel bad with Irwin because he's just like a guy that sucks at comedy. He's not like... Right. And I used to be really fuck. I used to fucking bully the shit out of that yeah. man. When I was like 17 years old, and he was 40, he did... He I hosted the first open mic he ever did, and uh, he was like... Uh, what? How do you think I did? To like me and uh, Jordan Owens. And Jordan's like, yeah, just keep at it, man. I was like, honestly? And he was like, yeah. I was like... <laughs> You have no business doing comedy. <laughs> I was like, I know it's your first time, but like, you're just really not fucking funny. That's hilarious. Like, there's nothing in your. You person- really said that to him? Yeah, I was mean as shit. That's incredible. Yeah, I was like, there's nothing in your personality that resembles like a funny person. Yeah, I don't like under. You don't have like the prerequisite. You know, a uh, sense of humor to be a good comedian. Ever. <laughs> There's so, so many people in comedy <laughs> like that. Though. I know, but I was like six, six seven months in, and I'm That's like, so funny. Yeah, who's Junior over here? Right, right, right. That's his right, first right, open right. mic. Because I also remember that was like, I think Jason Weems was just getting started. Yeah. yeah he'd been doing comedy like one or two weeks. Yeah. And he did that open mic, and he did like. 20 minutes and crushed what? yeah and it was so funny really well no one was there no one was ever at that i'm mic, sure but, but it was, was all like funny yeah yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah yeah weems is fucking hilarious yeah erwin is uh i feel bad telling i can't i don't know if i can oh you got a real good one that you can't uh, yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. I don't maybe know, it's because i already content. said his name i said his whole name yeah and it's yeah. a pretty <laughs> fucking damning story <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let's talk about another guy. Do you know any stories about a different guy? Oh you know yeah, guy? there's this guy Irwin Dickfield. <laughs> <laughs> He's Seth's uh, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about. It. This this guy? Yeah, so Seth Dickfield has a friend named Irwin Dickfield, <laughs> and they're related yeah, to each other. Happened? What happened to Irwin Dickfield? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, so Erwin Dickfield one time. Yeah, this other guy we know, he has this, like, fucking, this big idiot roommate, this guy Chris, that was, like, who never worked. He just was always on the couch in their apartment. Like, this guy was, like, 6'11", and he would just take up the entire couch, just lay down and playing, like, uh, 
He's playing some like online, like Final Fantasy Online or something, uh-huh. in the dark with the air conditioner set to like fifty degrees. <laughs> yeah. And he'd be like, yeah, "What's going on, kid?" And so he like had this like weird accent. And he'd be like, yeah. "What's going on, kid? How you doing, kid?" And uh, he'd be like, "Chris, what do you do?" He's like, "I sell beer for the Redskins." <laughs> this is the job he said he had, but at the just, stadium. Yeah, but he never left the apartment, so I don't think he was employed. We're watching the Redskins on TV right now, dude. Right now. No, I'm like, he says that he's... Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's on TV. Heck, you can't just fucking wake up to sell that bit yeah. at all. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah, just, Sorry. Uh, what if he was like... Um, what if he said this? <laughs> so, yeah, I guess they were at, like, a, a bar one night, and uh, that guy had been hitting on this woman that was, like, obviously a lesbian. Oh, really? Yeah, and... I heard this story from like three other people, and it's about a fictional guy. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, it's about uh, this, uh, this guy did, named did Seth's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris, the roommate, had been hitting on this on this fucking this woman that was like clearly a lesbian. At the end of the night, she like goes home to do lesbian shit. He's like, ah, struck out or whatever, and. Uh, that fictional guy and yeah. his girlfriend are like, well, you can come have a threesome with us, I guess. <laughs> Is this, oh man, I don't know, I can't, I can't. <laughs> it's, you're in too deep, dude. It's too late. It's, it's too late. No, we gotta, we gotta switch. This one's gotta be the premium one. All right. This all story right. is too fucking mean. I've told it to like maybe, and I didn't even know. I heard it like third hand, you know? It's that, too late. You tell it. You've heard the story. No, Nick, no, because it's already on, fucking it's gossip. Story. It's not my story. Somebody told me. Stop this so story. Told plenty of I, I don't gossip. know if this is right, but so apparently this guy Erwin Dickfield <laughs> invites <laughs> this uh, this giant mongoloid back to uh, his home uh, to have a threesome with him and his girlfriend, and uh, apparently Erwin Dickfield. Uh, just beating off while uh, this man just savagely fucked his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess he, somebody said he couldn't get it up or yeah, something. Yeah, he, just, he couldn't so he get hard. He was just diddling himself. So he was just corner. like <laughs> fingering, rubbing his penis like it was a clit while a man fucked his girlfriend. That's a well known kink, though. Like the, the cuckold thing. thing. Yeah. The fuck my wife thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's this so is something funny that, that this is something that Irwin that Dick Field, Dick Field yeah. is into. <laughs> I feel so bad. I mean, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bleep his last name. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's do good. that. The anti-Semitic Cumtown fans account is gonna find him, though. I'm sure. Yeah, oh, he found okay. Stav's office. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How he did that? <laughs> Have we, you like, you, you said didn't the name. even. See, yeah, but he didn't even say it. Like he was he like, didn't? like, yeah. I, I mean, why is this fucking gay Jewish clown out here? Yo, <laughs> who got this fucking? You know, I look kind of like Ron Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me see your dick then. Yo, yeah? you fucking talking like you. The Ron best Jeremy. was like when Irwin was on show posters, and it was like six black guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how he got in on that click, but like it was just always like. You know, like... Did you see that video? <laughs> James, the comedian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, J- yeah. The, uh, Big Fred. I Big used to Fred. love all those guys. All those, like, PG County comics. Yeah. The, like, fight, the, so fight the fight at the fight open video mic? is the funniest Rollo fucking shit. Rollo posted a fight at an open mic in, like, PG yeah. County somewhere. It was... No, that was... That was... Erwin host that. Yeah. Uh, it was, was some, like, called? Temple Hills open mic, and it's a guy who's, like, LaMarcus Way Too Violent Jackson. <laughs> yeah. The entertainer. <laughs> the entertainer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they've, just, they've been stealing Scott Joplin's name for 80 years. <laughs> Some guy is something too funny. Yeah, too it's funny, too business, hilarious, <laughs> entertaining. Entertainment, that's I'm LLC. Doing. That's the LLC. I love that shit. W- way, every- way real dark black entertainment. <laughs> Super super dark black guy entertainment LLC executive. incorporated trademark sign yeah. international executive black yeah. guy or it's just N N Larius but then the S is a dollar sign <laughs> <laughs> N Larius Entertainment presents Two Funny Tuesdays <laughs> two, no what do you Two Larius Two Larius <laughs> Tuesdays Two Larius Tuesdays <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. 
Erwin Lorick. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Myers was just on one of those shows. Somebody oh, sent me the, the posters. It's posters. him in like yeah, him in like the middle of Pennsylvania on some like urban show, and it's him in like three middle aged black women comics. That's awesome. They'll let those guys keep working. I yeah. The Irwin and, and the Toms can like keep getting. Yeah. I mean, I was, I, I fucking love <laughs> Do you ever run across What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, come Detroit on, man. Boat? I swear to God, this guy's name was Yeah, Detroit. my name's Caprice Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit is known for cars, too. Yeah. You know, it's not necessarily yeah. like a awesome. nautical type of vibe. Though. Yeah. He's on Lake um, Michigan. So he's trying to do his act. She's interrupting him. And he's like, is someone going to tell this bitch to shut up? She stands up as soon as she, he says bitch. And... She just smacks him across the face. <laughs> <laughs> I was there the night the Detroit boat got, <laughs> got smacked across the face by the sister of a guy that was on Real World Two Los Angeles. That's so um, funny. What was uh, yeah? All those all those guys used to come hang out. They used to do Ian Salmon's open mic. I remember the guy. I forget his name. Chris something. He was the host of Rap City. No, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, Chris oh, Thomas. No, 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 Chris no. Thomas. Yeah. Rap City the Basement was the guy that worked at the Wizards. So they're having a debate tomorrow. and uh, in Ho- At Hofstra, right? Uh, yeah. We should go. At Hofstra. Ew. And in so, Long Island? Let's go. The way Wait, are they going to have work. audience questions? Long Island people, are they going to ask questions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My question's for the bitch that's uh, fucking a cousin. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> did you get that uh, haircut in the dumpster? <laughs> yeah. ooh, 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 it's like a Jenny ooh, Jones ooh, ooh, Make America great again, baby. <laughs> it's like a Jenny Jones yeah, audience. And fucking, yeah, and, yeah. yeah, so first off, Yo, I, I just want to say, uh, Hillary, you don't need Jenny Jones. Yeah. Like a radius. Yeah, 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 yeah. And using them to poke holes in the back of like pie tins. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you shine lights through them and it creates like a, you know, it's like a fucking, like a display on the right, wall. Right, right. So it's like an art project. But because he like cuts himself off so often, the teacher was like, okay, everyone, grab a compass, except for Mika. You will not be participating in this. <laughs> <laughs> right, immediately. And he's like, please, please let me do it. Please, please let me do it. And she's like, fine. But if you cut yourself, I swear to God. I'm going to be so angry with you, uh-huh. <laughs> you know, because it's a sharp object, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and he's like, I promise I won't, I promise I won't, I promise I won't, let me do it, you know, let me do it, and yeah. then so she, like, lets him do the project, and then this girl's sitting across from him, and we had those kind of desks that had, like, a cubby built in, yeah, 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 and he's sitting next to this girl, and then, like, halfway through the class, you just hear the girl go, Oh my god, ew! <laughs> and she's like, um, there's like blood dripping out of the desk. <laughs> and he had like kept his hand in the cubby area because he had cut it so bad that he just filled the desk <laughs> oh with blood. My god. And it started leaking out from one of the Jesus screw holes. He was trying it, to like, hide it. He was trying to hide it. It's like pooling on the floor. And the teacher comes over. She's like, my god. And he's like, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, dude, no, poor like, Go oh. to that nurse's office. Oh, poor kid. Yeah. Oh, shit. Weren't you telling me that this wasn't on the pod? We were talking about it with Ian yeah. at a fast food restaurant. What were you saying? There was like a, or was that Ian's story where uh, a kid was trying to order? Oh well. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and that was in. Oh man, so yeah. This no, my shit friend is Brendan told me this story hilarious. about this guy. He knows it's like just the biggest fucking asshole in the mm-hmm. entire world. Yeah, yeah. And he worked at like some bagel place in D.C. or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, it's like a breakfast place. And this woman came in with her son, who was like he had Down syndrome mm-hmm. or something. He was like disabled, and she was trying to like encourage him to learn life skills. Mm-hmm. So she was like, you know. Just come on, place your order. Tell tell the man what you want, and he's like at the cash register. And so the kid's like, "Um, can I have a um, I want a ba- bagel with uh, cream cheese." And he orders, and the guy just looks at the kid, and then he looks at the mom, and he goes, "Ma'am, I have no idea what he's saying." <laughs> Have to tell me. <laughs> this fucking ruining this kid's self esteem for ten years. Yeah. Like he is not coming yeah. back oh, from that, dude. That's so mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's so mean. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's so fucking funny to me, though. Yeah, that's a great scene. Yeah, it is. That's like a great, you know everything you need to know about that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you just can't <laughs> be a human being for thirty seconds. Oh, oh god. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, I'm actually, uh, I flew uh, one of those MiGs. It's classified. <laughs> classified information. <laughs> it's so funny how cool Tom Cruise thought he was. Yeah. He has the confidence of like a Down Syndrome he's guy so that just got con- a pair He's of still so confident. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
<laughs> Wait, say that again? I says he's, he's got the confidence of like a Down syndrome guy that just got a pair of Oakleys. <laughs> <laughs> like those big wraparound ones. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. No, that's it's a very cute visual. I, I worked at a pizza restaurant when I was 15 and oh. this uh, guy with Down syndrome came in. Uh, Frankie, I'm trying to remember his last, Frankie Griffin was his uh-huh. name. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Well, I mean, it's what people are going to find his, his Twitter. LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, He's like Goldman. Yeah. Well, he came <laughs> in one time and he was like, I'm here for a job, you know? And I was like, uh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Let me. Sure, uh, we need someone to sort the crayons. Yeah. Well, so I went to like the manager who was like this fucking like Albanian woman or Hell whatever. Yeah. And or, you know what? I, I think I, I can't remember. I mean, this is already 12 years ago, but I was like, trying to find a job application i don't think we had any yeah and uh i was like yeah we don't have any job applications in the back but if you like write down your information i'll uh you know <laughs> he I'll just pass drew a picture of his house mm. well he's standing there and he's wearing a leather jacket how he check and, yeah and he's got sunglasses on like check. cool sunglasses a leather jacket and then he's like um okay and like he doesn't know how to write or whatever <laughs> okay. so like he pulls out his his while he was like you can just talk to sharon at the center like assuming i knew you know right, what, right, right. i'm like okay sounds good you know but <laughs> yeah. he like pulled out his wallet to um like fucking write down his information to like copy it over i'm like yeah just your name and then your date of birth and then a number to reach you at or whatever and uh and so, like, you know, he's, like, trying to write it out. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's just like that or whatever. But then in his wallet, there's, like, a picture of him wearing the same exact outfit. <laughs> oh, shit. Leather jacket, sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that shit. Holy man. fucking shit. He just got a picture, <laughs> like, a little fucking <laughs> wallet yeah, size yeah, yeah, instead yeah. of your where your family goes. Yeah. He puts a picture of himself in his yeah, favorite yeah. outfit that he definitely wears every day oh yeah yeah damn that's awesome i'm jealous so, of that dude yeah, i want so uni- adorable I it's know. so funny whenever so you hear cute. about like they're like oh texas executed a mentally retarded guy and that's what you picture in your head is like one of those guys yeah yeah, yeah. and then you see the retarded guy that <laughs> mean, yeah it's just <laughs> a very growling. dumb brute <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 it's, yeah, it's like, like a scary... 69 but he's like i'm trying to kill motherfuckers <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like yeah. okay that's yeah yeah maybe yeah. that guy should be executed. right right he's right. a scary monster and he yeah. should be executed yeah I'm sorry. Scary monster. I disagree. <laughs> Too late. Oh, hilarious. He was so fucking mean to Tom. I used to just drive around dying laughing. Dude, with... we could probably find some of those and play those. Oh, those my are God. Funny as shit. He's like, now, Tom is a comedian, but I know Tom because he sells me ice cream at the 7 <laughs> Eleven he works at <laughs> when I'm on my so way mean. home. Yeah. That's so mean. So, what you know, now, Tom, was I don't want to be mean to you, but a lot of comics don't have any respect for you. A <laughs> uh, name that comes to mind is Joe Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would have Joe call in and Joe would be like, no, you must understand what I said was that Tom might be the greatest comedian oh, of no. all time. And in fact, uh, you know, maybe with uh, George Carlin as a close second. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Was it 98 Rock? 98, 98 Rock, Rock. Babe, 97.9 yeah. on, on Baltim- in, uh, Baltimore. Whew. That's a great station. That was the best talk radio. And well, in now Ohio. Schlegel's got the morning show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he could close your eyes and imagine for a second. <laughs> did you uh, set up what this was just now? Yeah, yeah, okay. he did. Why did you just fuck it up? Now you ruined the fucking momentum. I'm all embarrassed doing idiot. a joke. No, no, twice. continue, continue. You're a piece of shit with a little I'm an asshole. Dick. Fuck I'm you, sorry. Adam. I'm sorry. Imagine a little girl playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a golly walk and then uh, two blokes come born a ute and they throw in the back of the ute and they take it out to a field out in the air back you know there's no rules out there mate and they bend it over they bugger they bugger. stick a didgeridoo right up a, a vageroo and they blow their load through the didgeridoo and yeah now hold on judge I'll finish here in a second the magistrate's getting annoyed with me because we're getting a little graphic here but you gotta know it's going on <laughs> now they got big thighs, you know. These are these are bogan fellas. They got those big rugby thighs, so they're chafing. They're giving a third degree burns on a vajaroo. <laughs> they're hot. Their thighs are getting. Now I just want you to imagine that the little girl is an abo uh, defense rest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, there it fuck. is. I feel like it was more fun the first time. It was. But what it was. Do? It, yeah. You, you, it was a. It was a fun. Were you saying that the Outback? That is hilarious. That Outback is just some fucking. Guys. Oh yeah. Outback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Psych. Psych. It's gotta be. You gotta be a dom. 
Yeah. Don't bring a dom stem. <laughs> no, a sub? dime. You a gotta dime. be a, a ten out of ten. <laughs> baby. Fuck me, bitch. You. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell I love you. fat guys that have those standards. That kind of confidence is yeah. the best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Disgusting. To be the woke one on yeah. Come Town, bitch. You're being woke you. today. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I've been accused of this multiple times. <laughs> you time to get sleepy, dude. Hit that bong again. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> This is a, a sleep, sleep, sleepy podcast. No, I feel like no. we kept the racism uh, toned down on this. We did, one. and we. I mean, did it's it was rough way. considering there's been three Islamic style attacks in the last <laughs> week on, and dude. a half. What? <laughs> I didn't say anything bad about it. I just said there's these uh, Islamic style, yeah, Muslim style attacks that have been happening. <laughs> Muslim style. <laughs> <laughs> refer to any tragedy as uh, is uh Muslim are you counting the cops <laughs> killing <laughs> innocent people's muslim those were yeah. sit, double agent uh, cops Eric garner was uh killed in a it was sort of a muslim style <laughs> incident with the police jesus christ uh, officer God God damn it. Islamic, you know, put it use an islamic chokehold on uh, <laughs> jesus <laughs> fucking christ <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, you gay ass bitch ass cat. Now nah, let him sit on that guy with the mutton chops and the other fucking idiot that said that they <laughs> listen to the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, there were a couple cum boys in Boston. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Shouts out. Didn't get your name, but uh, I got a DM from someone that said that uh, they we're were talking about people at shows in real so, life, bitch. Shut uh, the fuck cares up, about you your woke bitch. DMs, retard. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the new dynamic? <laughs> it's the dynamic when you say shit like you liked the lane when you were ten, yeah, dude. It's the dynamic when you wear a Brandon Ward L shirt to the <laughs> yeah. That's it was the problem, laundry. Day. The problem is that's the energy you're wearing. Brandon shirt. Brandon, I'll who take we, my shirt. You know what off I wear on laundry day? Nothing. That's right. <laughs> I walk around naked. All right. Establish we dominance. shit on Brandon too on the other one. And I forgot. It was good. Oh, uh, uh, fuck. God damn. S U C K M R D S E K E. Suck my dick. Uh, all right. Suck well, my dick. I think we're uh, we're good. That's yeah, we're good. We had a good one. All Wait, right, is folks. This bonus is the regular. Who yeah, cares? no, this will be bonus. And then we got to do another one tomorrow. Okay. Let's just do one every day until you go out of town. Cool. Yeah. I'm down. All right. Bye, when folks. Maybe six weeks or something in college, and I at one point some girl was walking by in like a mini skirt. He was like, "These women have no respect, <laughs> no respect for themselves." And I was like, "Oh, this isn't gonna work." <laughs> so, like, I broke up with him. Two weeks later, I see him in a little bow tie passing out. Oh <laughs> he, no! He converted to Nation of Islam. You did it. Yeah, I'm the blue eyed devil. <laughs> <laughs> He's just That's sad. A I white girl broke up with him. <laughs> I'm going to take it out on all white people. <laughs> Do you guys think Nation of Islam guys are really into that song, I'm a Classic Man? That one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, I feel like everyone was ass fucking, dude. We just had it. We just documented it. Yeah, you just you put know it I mean? on, like, you know. Yeah, the Japanese. Walls. The Samurais fucked boys. For sure. There was always. There was yeah. a website, uh, boys. Uh, fuck. Boys chat. Dot org or something. There was a website I remember. That's where I met really cool older friends. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was a Some website for pedophiles. Mentors. It was like, yeah, it was like a. I remember because I, I used to spend a lot of time on Encyclopedia Dramatica, uh -huh. and they had an article about it. And then so like you go to this website, and it's a forum for pedophiles, like open pedophiles, and they're mm. like, all right, guys, here are the rules. You know, you talk about whatever you want, but nothing illegal goes on here <laughs> and it's like obviously like monitored by law enforcement 24 fucking right, seven. Right, yeah, it's right, right. operation. Yeah. Like, and that like, whole thing was invented by the yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah and constantly every time every like week there would be a post that would be like well uh baseball 72 just got locked up so <laughs> you know r.i.p to that guy uh, but uh yeah check out this deck i built this week <laughs> yeah and then there was one guy that I remember reading his post. He was like in Spain or something. And he's like, I rape all the boys and no one can find me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, they were jealous of him because like he lived in some shitty country where the, oh they couldn't God. get him. He's like, I teach a soccer team and I fuck all the boys. <laughs> <laughs> And they were like, I'm so jealous of you, Pierre. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> were you telling me? It's like an Italian accent. You say it's yeah. from Spain and you named it Pierre. I don't know. Because I, I, I wanted to keep it vague. I don't yeah. know which country he was from. But you he should have done the lift. Like yeah. the, oh, yeah, yeah, the Venezuelan? No, no, it's not no, Barcelona. Barcelona. Spain. Barth yeah. Oh, Ibiza. Ibiza. Oh, but the both. Venezuelans have a lisp, too, don't they? Uh, Maybe. From, it's, uh, a, it's a ca Caracas. 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 
<laughs> Karate. <Buena> Diaz. <laughs> I'm from Coxsackie. Yeah, that's how they talk. Um, <laughs> just like gay southerners. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos, Buenos Diaz, Diaz y'all. <laughs> Come on, stop. I'm from Caracas. <laughs> um, weren't you telling me there was one? I think this is the website you're telling me about where there's one guy who was like looking for advice on how to jack off a baby. Yeah, that was that. That oh was my that God. website. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't advice. It was, the post was like, can a baby have an orgasm? And the tone was like, or am I just wasting my time? <laughs> <laughs> Some guy like sucking off a baby for like 45 God. minutes. And he's like, what is the problem here? They do Come get on. Erections, like, though. Like you Babies can't... do get random erections. Yeah. They're, like nonsense. Or, like, and no one tells you that. And then you're suddenly like changing a diaper. And it's yeah. the most terrifying experience you've ever had in your life. And it's like a chronic birth film. And you want to like pour bleach in your ass. You think <laughs> a baby's trying to fuck? Yeah. You think a baby's like turned How on? You <laughs> Oh, fuck, dude. The idea of a baby getting his dick sucked is so funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... And it's allowed here. <laughs> it's, yeah, exactly. After a circumcision. Yeah. Um, but it's just like, that baby's got no... Like, I read... A, there was like some mom got in trouble for sucking off her son, her infant son. And it's like, it, is that even bad? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that... I, think, I think that's bad. Yeah. But like... No, I remember what? some. I remember reading no, some I'm fucked up stories. Thank you, Adam. I remember reading some fucked up stories. Mother about this used guy. to. <laughs> this guy that got arrested. You can't, you can't rationalize any reason for it, though. There's yeah. no like medical purpose. Well, that's if she, if it stops after like six months. Come on, dude. If a if a fucking <laughs> if a guy like ate his daughter, his infant daughter's pussy, you wouldn't be like, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, boys are a little bit more resilient than girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they bounce. The point is, yeah. I want to get my son. Blue. I want my son to get his dick sucked. I want my son to be cool by the mom, not my wife or whatever, but a hot, like uh, a hot lady with big fake titties. Yeah, you hire a prostitute for your <laughs> eight month old. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna have no fake son. <laughs> <laughs> try and get him to be straight by getting someone <laughs> dude in Greece my cousin tried to get my at the time 11 year old brother he tried to sneak him out of the house to a brothel <laughs> to fuck for the first time. <laughs> have you ever seen the just the, ever watched all those racist Disney of course oh, they're yeah. so good repeatedly yeah. they're still on or the Looney Tunes stuff yeah. yeah they were still on when I was like really little it's on crazy. like the local yeah the local yeah, stations yeah. Uh, it was Looney Tunes wasn't it more than uh, Cole, Cole Black Looney and Tunes. the Seven Dwarfs yeah that one that one's the fucking best of one's... all of them when that tr uh, she fucking calls Murder Incorporated yeah, the, the, the queen, like the evil queen or whatever. She's like, hello, Murder Incorporated. <laughs> 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 Which is objectively very funny. It is really you know? funny, I mean, unfortunately. They had it nailed down back in the 40s. It is very, very yeah, racist. Have you ever yeah. seen like Japanese cartoons depictions of black people? Uh, oh, oh God. yeah, it's really shocking. Well, really? they they dig yeah. on Japs a lot in those old. They do, those yeah. Because in that one, she calls Murder Incorporated, and then the truck like comes by, and on the back it says, uh, "We kill anybody, hundred dollars, uh, midgets half price, Japs free." <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Midget's Damn. half price is so good. Yeah, That's yeah, a, yeah. That is a good joke. Yeah, yeah. dude. The, I mean, the animation's good, too. Damn. The prince is, had, drives, like, some fucking, like, big Duesenberg or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then the wheels of the car are just, like, uh, like shoes with, like, spats. Oh, man. They're, like, cool, oh. like, yeah, gators Rich or whatever. Yeah. Shoes. And his teeth are dice. Oh, man. That yeah. is so racist. Wow. Hickory dickory dock. No, the most racist of all of them is that Betty Boop cartoon. I haven't seen that the one. The Betty Boop cartoon where she's like, uh, she's like putting on a talent show and she's like, okay, we have talents from, or the future stars of tomorrow. That's what it's called. And then so she's like, give it up for, her. and then it's like a Russian baby and it's doing that ethnic Russian uh, dance yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, the Bushka dance. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a Chinese baby and it's like, ding, dong, ding, 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 <laughs> you know, like that, the racist. And they're like, and our last act the colorful three. Oh, and it's, no. Yeah, three like pickaninnies, and they're chained together by no. the diaper with one big diaper pin. No. So they're in like a chain gang, and they're singing a song, but the song is just them crying. And they're, oh. they're like, they're like, hotty, 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 ha. And they cry. Oh, and then, no. Yeah, and then it cuts to the audience, and there's fucking the mom of them with another baby on the lap. 
and the baby's spitting watermelon seeds at the no. white guy's head. <laughs> and he's like, ah. No. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Jesus wow. Christ. This is a. Yeah. And then Betty Boop's like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and so oh, wasn't that ends. great? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it was like, what's the threshold for people to be like, man, that's kind of racist back yeah, then? Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. Like, how fucking far would they have to go? Oh, Someone like, gave you 500. I literally <laughs> fucked yourself. I wanted to clone myself and fuck myself. Nick, would you? If someone gay. gave you a half a million dollars, would you fuck yeah. your steps? Is it gay to fuck a clone? Not of you, but like just any guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love your just thought ethically. experiments yeah. about rape and They're gayness. Not, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, under what conditions could I rape someone and it would... Hey, I think this guy's wearing a fucking wire. Hey, is he wearing a wire? Yeah, he's, he's wearing a fucking wire. He's got a big wire there. He's got a big meaty wire. He's in got a wire balls. right there. Take his fucking pants off. Let me see that wire. Oh, that's oh, a there wire. There it is. Oh, that's a that's wire, a, oh, baby. Is it getting bigger? It's, it is. That's Ooh. how you know it's recording. Oh. Quick, oh. Frankie, suck all the electricity out of that wire. <laughs> you got to get to the to all the recordings. Oh, it tastes good, Mikey. <laughs> and that is a bit called Italian guys who think <laughs> some guy's dick <laughs> is a wire. Yeah. 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 Just oh, stand at Rosh Hashanah. Seventh in Bedford. I, I told Stav, I heard the best, the best oh, thing yeah. about Rosh Hashanah on the what? street. I was walking by and this guy's like, yeah, no, that's Rosh Hashanah. This is like, uh, it's like Jewish Hanukkah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's like, it's like Jewish Hanukkah. What does he think Hanukkah? Kirsten yeah. Dunst. <laughs> the fake you know? nudes where it'll oh, be yeah, like just smiling so hard. Uh, they, oh they yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like a, clearly a red carpet picture, and then they're just yeah. being like fucked by like nine people, and, like jack- <laughs> jacking someone off on their face. The head is like not yeah. even centered on the neck. <laughs> yeah. right. It's like so shittily done. Yeah. Oh, I beat off to so many of those in yeah. my formative years. Yeah, wow, I didn't know the woman that played Doctor Quinn Medicine <laughs> God, did Bukaki. hardcore <laughs> interracial gangbang. Porn. Just 12 black cops. <laughs> uh, she looks so happy. <laughs> it's uh, a joyous experience. That oh, must have man. been at the height of Dr. Quinn. She is hot, dude. She, in fucking Wedding Crasher, she was hot as shit. Dr. Q. Mm-hmm. She's what? She's also into the like jewels, right? She has a, the, a collection. The with, Open uh, Hearts collection at K Jewelers. K. Every kiss begins with yeah. K. KK. Every heart has fucking pedophile. Oh, Nick's back, everyone. I'm gay. My name's Nick. <laughs> and I suck dick and shit. Oh, oh, wow, dude. That's weird. Why'd you say that? Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I wonder I wonder that. If you're 12, shouldn't you be allowed to watch 12-year-olds fuck? That's that my, should be for you. That's my take on yeah. it. You should be able but to make your produced. own child porn. Yeah, it should be produced Four by kids. kids. Four kids, kids by like kids. those news, <laughs> kids like in rule. middle school. <laughs> Where they would have news. This is kids, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow also a week and yeah. a half. <laughs> uh, well, that's you know what I finish editing them almost immediately, and then it's like it's a pain in the ass to upload them because it fucks up all the time. Mm. Um, but luckily, we've been getting free hosting graciously from. Uh, our podcast host. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. Congratulate. Who's, who's our podcast host? I thought we're the host. Oh, come on, dude. I thought it's, you know, the Puerto Rican rattlesnakes. Come on, man. I'm sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. Wasn't it? Sometimes not all the bits go good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Sometimes you do good bits. Who's sometimes you do bad host? bits. Who's our host? Uh, <coughs> Shout Engine Hell is yeah. the name of the host. Shout Engine, baby. Yeah, someone was Shouts fucking up. So I emailed Engine. them and I was like, recently and someone was like, whoa. Wow, that was like a deep cut. And it's like, what? Mimi, no. It's a sitcom. It was on for like seven years. It was on It was on forever, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Might have been more than seven. It was Everyone crazy. knows who the fuck Mimi Bobek is. Everyone knows Mimi, dude. If you don't know who Mimi Bobek is, you're a fucking idiot. You're the asshole. Who right? is that? No. I'm not. You don't know who Mimi is, dude? Mimi Bobek. Uh, uh, that was a Drew di- Carey. That was a. She was a former dictator of Romania, right? I she believe. was the first SJW. Oh yeah, yeah, Mimi with the, <laughs> yeah. the eyeshadow. You know, Mimi was just on Tumblr on that computer. Oh all day. my god! <laughs> Outside of Mr. Sheffield's office or whoever that British boss was. Yeah, it was, uh, it it was Craig uh, Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. Yeah. Holy shit! Mimi was the first Tumblr bitch, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, pig. <laughs> So, do you not see yourself, me? Oh, that's incredible. That's exactly who the fuck she was. Yeah. Damn. 
That's a good one, boys. Yeah, that show was ahead of its time. They had they had uh, they had like Tom like making small talk with him. He's got a beer. I'm like, oh, what kind of beer is that? You know, like just trying to be friendly. I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck is going Jesus. on. Jesus. And they uh, they like back the car. They start like backing the car. And beep, he like yeah right. Beep, it's not, beep. but it's like yeah, fucking. Yeah, but I know you, you know, it's like the guy turns around. They're like you know 30, 45 feet away at the end of this like you know Jesus small fielded Christ. area. Yeah, and uh, the the guy's like. Uh, you know, looking at the car, like he's, you know, he like sees them, and so I'm like, <laughs> "What is he? Is he asking you questions?" No, I I played it where I was like, "Who the fuck is this?" You know, oh, interesting. And he's like, "I don't know." I'm like, "Do you know these people or whatever?" Like, I I Smart. just turned it oh, on. Yeah, 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 pretty yeah, pretty yeah, good yeah, at crimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I also asked him what kind of beer it was, so I could take the beer away from him, so he couldn't fucking hit me with it or something. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so I was like, you know, I did a couple of smart things. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. A couple yeah. Of uh, criminal things. Yeah, and then so um, was he wearing a wire? Yeah, he was wearing. A wire and I said, had a fucking wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's wearing a fucking wire. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and then so they they walk up, they like they walk up and like walk past us. They just walk past us standing there, like and they have like masks on their face. But the kid sees the the guy. They called him and he's like, "Yo, Dale." <sighs> Jesus. And then Christ. you know they kind of like stop for a second. And then the guy I was friends with was just like all right, fuck this. And he like pulls out like one of those mini baseball bats, just starts like wailing on the kid's fucking head. Oh, with it. Jesus. Yeah. And then I just turned to that kid's girlfriend. I'm like, I'm like, give me your, the money, I guess. And yeah, we like took their money. You and, took the money. <laughs> well, I mean, we came all that way. And, uh, they were going to fucking, I was like, I didn't, you know, this yeah, yeah, yeah. how much money did you make? $40 <laughs> is what they got off that kid. For that guy having literally bleeding in his brain. Uh, they, I mean, they <laughs> dinged him a couple times, but he ran off. He was fine. Yeah. 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 That's hilarious. Yeah. Why the fuck were you implicated? You just hanging out? I just out? wanted to ride. I was, I would get rides home from the guy. Right. You know, cause I didn't want to take the bus. Mm-hmm. Did you hang out with him after that? Yeah. I mean, he still had a car. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It was, so, it would have been so easy for you to get, become a criminal. You were so close. Uh, well, that's a crime. Right, right, That's right. Like but not, I mean, like, uh, you know. Yeah. You were, you then, were close. Well, and it was funny because that kid was friends with this other guy I know who's not like a thug or whatever, but he is like physically fit and kind of intimidating. Yeah. And uh, that kid like told that other guy that I know, he's like, yeah, these guys robbed me and like, you know, like said my name or whatever. And he's like, yeah, he wouldn't fucking do that. That's yeah. not him. And then so like... Uh, he found out that it was those like cr- uh, the Crip guys or whatever. Right. So he confronted like the head guy, you know, the guy that's like made set me up to it. He's like, "Yo, so this is what I heard happened by this guy. So I'm just let you know, like, I'm not gonna come looking for you, but if I see you, like, you, I'm gonna fucking like put you in the hospital. Like, Jesus you're gonna be, like, Christ. Severely fucked up. You like completely fucked up. You robbed the wrong guy. And uh, this guy was like, man, honestly. I don't want no problems with you. That was entirely Nick. That was 100% Nick's plan. <laughs> like, what? what? Yeah, so, like, uh, yeah, that guy, like, Antron calls me, and he's like, this guy's saying it was, like, you that did it or whatever. Jesus Christ, And uh, dude. I was like, yeah, no, of course it wasn't me. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? He's like, yeah, that's what I, I thought. <laughs> Damn, but, you yeah. were, but that, if that guy's just No, a that guy was just person. a complete fucking, like, coward. He, like, yeah. you know, set up this whole fucking plan, didn't want to actually be involved with it. Right. But he was, like, a black guy. He said he was, like, a crip or whatever. So the fucking white guy I knew, who was actually kind of, like, a criminal. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, fucking was enamored by this, like, right. black guy that was, like, you can be cool. in our Hilarious. That's Meanwhile, so funny. he was like a fucking, you know, he was a joke. Right. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. Whew. Race relations in our country, huh? Pretty. Uh-huh. Pretty. No, I felt I felt bad for that that kid, the the one that wanted to be in the gang when he like. I remember there was one time where they he had a falling out with that dude, and he had this like. You know, moment where you could see the disillusion in his face when he's mm-hmm. like, "Man, f- I'm more real than him. Fuck him." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this whole like walking can't even the believe in the Crips anymore. Yeah. My my friend in college uh, had a high school friend that became like a. The original title, Brown Sugar, was Black Pussy. <laughs> it's just, it's so funny. Uh, that's not a joke. Black Pussy! <laughs> that's not a joke. I know. It's, that's yeah. I mean, that's what the song is actually about. true. Yeah. Wait, the name of the song was Black like, Pussy? Like, that, like... It, that black pussy was like the what originally Mick Jagger was singing, and they were like joke laughing about it. And then they're like, "Yeah, well, let's make it something." No oh. way! Oh wow, that's yes. awesome. That's a much better song. Yeah. <laughs> black pussy. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if everyone knows what you're talking about, what's the point of euphemism? They're good Strong at two, guys. two yeah, specific that's what I'm trying movements. To get to be. 
That's all Olympic weightlifters do is two things. Really? And yeah. It's it's uh, they snatch and then they do the clean and jerk and those are the two lifts that they can. Oh, do. that's crazy because I clean and jerk when I see some yeah, snatch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucked kids. If he fucked kids, we'd know about it. No, it would be the biggest thing. It would be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, it'd be so funny. <laughs> if he fucked kids. <laughs> <laughs> if he got caught, that would be better than seventh heaven. Mm -hmm. That would. That's the one that could top the seventh heaven. I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he. I don't think he ever penetrated a kid. But uh, you think they kissed? You could do. I mean, it's not illegal. Do you think if you you want to make out with kids, that seems weird. <laughs> it's not illegal. I mean, the whole thing seems weird. Don't get me wrong. Unlike penetrating, them, which <laughs> seems great. No, that's not. <clears throat> fuck, man. It's do you weird remember when we were kids. doing the Drake freestyle? Yeah. If it ain't penetration, ain't illegal. Dog. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a classic. That was a good. That was a good. Early. Uh, yeah. Moved to New York. Hang. Yeah. Doing the Drake pedophile. Penetration ain't illegal, dog. Ain't, ain't no penetration ain't illegal, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that baby I'm gonna slide that diaper off. <laughs> push your diaper to the side. I just love yeah. I just love that like push your, push your diaper the confidence this. with that fucking horrible legal advice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's just Bro, actively yeah. wrong. If it ain't penetration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call the judge. Your Tell Honor, the judge I never <laughs> penetrated the toddler. <laughs> It was heavy petting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna suck the baby off. <laughs> if it ain't penetration, ain't illegal, dog. <laughs> Tell that judge any case, I'm gonna beat a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna suck the baby off. <laughs> I'm gonna suck if the baby penetration, off. ain't illegal, dog. This is like a minimalist beat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Mud it on a beat. Yeah. Um, Mud it on a beat, how? Yeah, it's crazy that people just. Want to fuck kids? And I know. Then, and then they have to live a normal life and be like, you know, what's really bad is people who want to fuck kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, right. You know I what I would never, never want to do is fuck a kid. Yeah. Well, that's I like some kids at lunch going out into the woods behind the school to smoke pot, and a girl passed out, and they like shoved dirt and like leaves <laughs> and shit in her pussy or whatever. What the fuck? Yeah, and there were, and then the guy. I think there was like Rock? the police got involved, and then it was they were like, it was a prank, dude. <laughs> We were, and that's the thing is like, that's why like men and women can't be friends, at least at that age, because I can kind of understand where those boys were coming from. Like if that was your friend that passed out. Oh yeah. You, you know, put like, stuff in his ass. Think about like, if you teabagged a woman. <laughs> oh then, yeah. Like, look, that would be national news. <laughs> of course. Right, right, like right. not, that's... they didn't just fuck her. They put her, their balls in her mouth. Yeah. But if you're, if you'd like teabag a man, it's like, you're gay, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I remember, yeah. <laughs> I remember the one time. There's this kid we all didn't fuck with. Yeah. It, it was like a basketball tournament. You like sleep away, and this kid just sucked. And then I remember some somebody being like, "Yeah, we teabagged fucking me not this piece of shit." And I saw the video. <laughs> it's like three guys <laughs> taking turns <laughs> putting their balls and dicks in his mouth <laughs> for like 15 <laughs> minutes dude this guy was passed out it was sexual assault yeah. it was straight up yeah, they were, yeah at was, camp yeah it was, and that's like worse than Steubenville <laughs> but it's like you watch that video and even a prosecutor would watch that and be like ha ah, they're right he's gay <laughs> they got him <laughs> they got him they I got mean him. he deserved look it's written right on his face in sharpie it's <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> At camp, my my friend Tommy put he did this thing called the the, uh, the Egyptian goggles to this guy Dan Dan Ru Arabian goggles. The Arabian goggles, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where you put either of your balls in their sleeping eye sockets and then their your dick on their mouth. <laughs> Do you guys ever do the um, ultimate? He, he woke up and slapped him right at the dick, dude. Oh, my nice. friend like just crumbled. Like he, yeah, oh my god, it's good bit though. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever do the uh, ultimate push up? No, or I'm sorry, oh, yeah, ultimate yeah, sit up. I've seen that. Where it's like, oh no, someone's doing a sit up, right? And you you do this thing where it's like you push. You're like, dude, let me show you the ultimate sit up, and you just do it. And they cover your eyes with their hand. They push up as hard as they can, and you're like, oh, and you really try and like push against the force and shoot up, right? Mm -hmm. And then so they see you do this, and then you're like, all right, man, your turn. So you cover their eyes and uh, make them, you know, push up as hard as they can. And then it's just someone with their ass is standing over top of them. So they just like 
full force put their nose in your ass essentially <laughs> when they come up on the on the fucking uh sit up no nah, it's one of the great, best though. ones that's definitely the way to see girls sit up isn't that fun sort like of that. just like there's no, there's no 15 year old girls hanging out tricking each other into drinking their menstrual fluid like <laughs> no katie it's cranberry juice <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah how many like, times you got her you're fucking you're a lesbian <laughs> well, got oh, you fucking lesbian! Isn't that just like healthy gay experimentation, right? Uh, no, it's that bullying. actually I don't think was gay. Yeah, that was bullying more it's, than anything. <laughs> yeah, it's not experimentation. There's no consent there. Yeah, yeah. and like, it's whatever. not sexual. Honestly, making some kids suck your balls while he's <laughs> <Yeah>. asleep. <laughs> 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 it's still very funny. There's I one time I also my the only good one I had on this fucking kid Roosevelt was uh, I was just like he again in a basketball tournament. I just straight up classic took the tooth took his toothbrush and just absolutely rubbed my balls mm-hmm. all over <laughs> it and then just put it back and he was <laughs> <laughs> just put it right back and uh, and we were all sitting at breakfast the next day and he had this fucking his roommate was this fucking idiot named uh Nisi and he would just fucking uh he was like hey Roosevelt <laughs> did you brush your teeth <laughs> and he was like yes he was like did you brush them real hard <laughs> <laughs> And he was like, what? He's like, yeah, I brushed my teeth. He thought we were like making fun of him for not having. And we're like, yeah, Stav rubbed his balls. And he was just like, no, I never brushed my teeth. I never brushed my teeth at all. I never did. And he just like, that was probably one of my finest moments. Yeah, I remember in like junior high, me and my friends were hanging out. And there was like a hat in like just on the ground that my friend Bernardo found. And he like just pulled down his pants and took a shit in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's and there's like awesome. this younger kid. He's like, "Yeah, put the hat on." <laughs> he's like, "No, get away from me!" He's like, "Put it on." But then he just has this shitty ass he has to go around with, smell like he shit exactly. himself. Exactly. That's yeah. awesome. No, that shit's. Did hilarious. anybody put the hat on? I did. There was one night, like me and my friend Brandon were driving around drunk, and we stopped at this kid Kevin's house that we didn't like, and I uh, I took a shit on. They had like at the end of their driveway like a, a lit like address, like with the numbers to their address, but yeah, like yeah. backlit. And I just squatted over the thing and took a big fucking dump like right on top of it, <laughs> <laughs> just like That's laid it down. So, just so perfect and clap. There's yeah, yeah, no yeah. thought. Just, I'm gonna shit on something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I got back in the car and it just reeked of shit because I couldn't wipe my ass. He right. was like, "What the fuck, dude? Did you shit yourself?" I'm like, "No, I checked." <laughs> and then eventually the smell went away after like five minutes or so. But yeah, dude, you don't realize how much the water absorbs the smell. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that's why I never understood that prank where people are like, "Yeah, you get dog shit in a, in a, in a bag, in a bag, and you light, and you light, on light it on fire." Yeah, and it's like. You know, just use your own shit. I don't know why you have to involve a dog. You also make shit. Yeah, it's true. Fuck, mm-hmm. man. I love the ones that aren't, like, thought out at all. Just shitting. Like, one time I just took this kid's skateboard that I didn't like, and I just pissed on it. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. That was just I, a solid prank. I used to love pissing underneath the stall divider onto, like, mm. onto someone else's shoes. Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> that's that's a, a classic. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you do in that situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oops, sorry, They're dude. They're shitting. They can't yeah. do anything. <laughs> <laughs> just lift their fucking legs up. Yeah. Like, fuck, man, just chill. Just, just piss all over their shoes. Yeah, dude, fucking soaking public bathrooms with your urine. That's like a, that's a classic move. That'll never stop being fun. I did that in this Chinese restaurant one time. <laughs> oh man, I was like, man, it's me and my mom went to dinner at this Chinese restaurant. It's a nice little Chinese restaurant, and we got order like takeout. And I went into the bathroom, and it was like a very nice bathroom, and they had like. You know, nice wall, nice like paisley pink yeah, wallpaper, yeah, yeah. and I just started pissing all over the walls. I <laughs> just dying laughing. I was just laughing. Sorry, I pissed all over the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Soak the toilet paper. The toilet paper is the best yeah. one. <laughs> to leave funny. it on the roll, but piss on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, like, I don't think I got a drop of piss in the toilet. <laughs> the funniest part of that is you returning to the table. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, like <laughs> the table, <laughs> like leaving, and like as I leave the bathroom, that she's like handing me the food. She's like, "Have a nice night." I'm like just crying, <laughs> laughing. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> Knowing this bitch is about to walk in that bathroom and know exactly who did it. There's no mystery yeah, to no. that crime it's a, it's a fucking crime scene, dude. <laughs> they just piss all over the walls. And it was like soaking into the wallpaper. 
fuck, man. That's so mean. Yeah. I wish I had <laughs> I seen know. her face. Well, that's so the thing, mean. man. That's just the meanest shit is when, when you get to, I mean, like, that's why there's a, a blowback against, like, edgy shit or whatever. But I feel like the reason a lot of, like, edgy shit doesn't work anymore is because a lot of the moral scolds are actually mean people themselves. Right. So it's not fun. Me and him would just rip people off. We worked at kind of like a shittier mall or whatever. Right, right, so like, right. You know, most of the people that came in. Like, I learned occupational Spanish just to fucking sell legal immigrants. Like, <laughs> you know, $900 Nextel phones that they didn't need or whatever. Like, uh, hey, uh, uh, tienes uh, cellular? You know? And then be like, no, no social needed. And then just fucking you know, sign them up for like, the most expensive plan or whatever. And... Uh, yeah, me and him had, like, a contest one time to see who, like, could, you know, rip people off the most with, like, uh, <laughs> like these, ring, like, somebody used to sell ringtones back when you could only put, like, five ringtones right. on your phone. Yeah. And so we're selling them for, like, 20 a piece, 30 a piece sometimes. Just ringtones? Ri- yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we were really good at sales. Jesus. You know, we would, like, talk people into it. Yeah. You know? They're like, yeah, man, it's like, you know, we really, you know, we got to offset the cost of all this equipment. That's the problem. You know, this <laughs> laptop is, like. Eight thousand dollars, <laughs> like just lying or whatever. It's so yeah, funny. The idea got... that a ringtone could, but post. like, did you keep the money or what yeah, was? The... Well, we got commission on it, so yeah, yeah. It was like you know, like a probably with ringtones because there was zero overhead. It was like you know, the store gets fucking fifteen percent, and then you know, we keep you know whatever. We got like uh, made a shit ton of money off. Oh wow, yeah. But uh, so this was like I was probably eighteen at the time. And there had been different iterations of like these kiosks that I had known these brothers through. And we were working at one. It was a different company. It was a little bit more professional. Um, and uh, like, uh, cause like the, the one I met those guys at, there was no, you know, we lied right. to people. I'd show up drunk <laughs> right. all the time. Right. You know, we'd fucking, we had like a monitor on the screen that we were just using to bully the Pakistani <laughs> guy that worked there. Put a picture of him on, on the screen. It was like, uh, guess how old this man is and when because he like looked like shit even though he was 21 and people are like 50 he's 50 years old and they'd be like nope and he'd be like you know the Pakistani guy would get all upset <laughs> that's hilarious salt in the corner anyhow uh, so like it was uh you know one of the now uh you guys you both phone guys now oh, I'm sorry I'm trying to book the show all right I don't know why I've been telling this story so long. no no I'm listening yeah I'm just I'm listening to, yeah, no, no, I'm serious because there's very little payoff here. <laughs> yeah. I, this started on the topic of like when you see somebody bully somebody. Right, right, really right. Funny. Yeah. Okay, so here's the story. So we're working at like this other kiosk or whatever, and uh, this woman came in, and she was like a return customer, like somebody mm-hmm. had already signed her up for shit, and she was coming back with a customer service issue, which like we don't see any money from. It's right, right. Our fucking yeah. time, we work on commission, so like nobody really wants to deal with this shit. Yeah, like, hate these people. And she was like fifty, and she had her like uh, adult retarded son with her. Hell like, yeah! This like you know weird guy with this like weird like bird face and like you know just like weird posture. Just like, in, you know, in his pants. But he dressed like Adam, but like not ironically. <laughs> right, you know? right. He's getting Kirkland signatures for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, and she's there with him and she just looks fucking worn out. And like, she probably got ripped off by somebody, you know. She right, of for course. She a fucking Sprint phone and her first bill is like literally $1,000. <laughs> yeah. Because the fucking cell phone companies used to just do that. To right, right, right. Back in like 2006 or whatever. Yeah. And, uh. And she's there with this, you know, her retarded son that just like, he's like, you know, would quiet, he would just, he would quietly say to her like, I want, I want to go to the game store, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just really want to go to GameStop and like, you know, just look confused. And she's like, we'll, we'll, we'll go after this. I have to take care of this or whatever. And so the younger brother was like helping them or whatever. He's like, nah, see, that's part of the plan that's in the contract or whatever. And he's like clearly like losing his patience with this. But I'm watching this and this woman's like strung out and she's like, I just, I just don't have the money to pay for the, you know, or right, whatever. right, right. And then I'm like constructing this story in my head for this woman and her like poor son. And like, yeah. you know, she's like, you know, you want to have a kid and then you have a kid and then it comes out disabled and that's going right. to be a fucking disappointment. But then it gets to a certain point where like, you know, she's up at night. Like, why isn't he dead yet? And it's like, <laughs> Don't think that, you know, <laughs> like, like, you know, like just the torment of like having a, like a 37 year old, Jesus, you know, Christ, disabled yeah. son you have to take care of. And I'm like almost at the point of like, I'm like, I'm like You're almost work- about to cry. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, like watching this woman. And I was like, it was like near the holidays too. Yeah. Of course. It's just like really sad. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. It was like really fucking sad with, witnessing that and then eventually like you know you know they leave or whatever and my are the, the the younger brother or whatever i'm like watching them walk away and i'm like really sad and he's like he just looks at me he's like 
Yo, that dude was a fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking guy, dude, he's a fucking loser. <laughs> That's what he calls retarded people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Like, he's retarded, he just wants man. to fucking... Yeah. And I fucking... I laugh That's so hard. That is so funny. It's so funny. Yo, that guy's a fucking loser. Like, just <laughs> that, completely read that situation. That's your reading of that situation. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> makes no, no good yeah. no evidence zero it completely took me out of it me yeah. and him used to bully the fuck out of people there was this indian guy that had a uh, a store like a kiosk right next to ours and ours was enclosed right. but we would go outside of it to like you know right. nab people, Bark like, people hey man yeah, would yeah. you get like let me see yeah, what yeah. kind of phone you have you know and talk to them because we have to make sales right and he had a purse store called lucky bags <laughs> hell yeah there's this indian guy that had this indian this big fat indian wife <laughs> and he would complain to mall management because we would bark at people in the direction of his kiosk or right whatever. and he'd be like they are stealing my customers <laughs> and it's like it's completely different <laughs> yeah, you businesses sell purses. yeah you fucking idiot <laughs> or whatever <laughs> and uh and so he would like constantly, him and the wife would be like, do not talk to people in the direction of our store, you know, or whatever. And the, the, the wife would like, she had this weird posture where she'd keep her back straight and put her like, you know, arms behind, behind her, it, like, yeah, clasp yeah. her arms behind her back and like sort of patrol the store. Yeah. And so I would like, you know, make eye contact with her and then just jerk straight and like mimic her posture. <laughs> what and, like, the fucking, fucking dick. Yeah, yeah. Just made, do an impression of her to her face. And just then she, just shitty, hide on the other. Yeah. 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 No, I shitty we teenager. Fucking mean. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, we used to bully the shit out of the guy. I like called up the mall management one time and I was like, this is LB from Lucky Bags. Santa is stealing my customers. <laughs> And, like, demanded that they kick Santa out of the mall as him. And they're like, yeah, okay, we'll look into that. Did sir. they believe that it was him? Uh, no, but they probably heard from him so fucking much. Right, right, right. They thought it was funny. That's fucking it's good, good to bully dude. folks like that. So, uh, you know, I feel like I've kept this shit going. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Did you, you, you had, really did went you in on that. bullying, Adam? Did, or did you yeah, get bullied? Yeah, I, I feel bad about it in retrospect. What do you do? Like, my friend Tommy, growing up, I bullied him pretty, pretty what'd you hard. Do, what'd you do to him? Well, he was like, he was, he was like, uh, he went to camp with us because his mom was Jewish. But, he was uh, not a Jew. His dad was Italian, so his mm. name's Tommy Giorgione. Hell yeah. His brother's name was Joey Giorgione. Hell yeah. And, um... He's like a he's a mind freak now. He's a street magician in Vegas. <laughs> he does like magic. So he deserved to be bullied. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I feel like came we bullied, first though. We bullied him into being a street magician. Into street magic, street magicry. Yo, did we um, order pizza yet or no? No, we didn't order. Oh, Fuck. you fucking idiots! God damn it, dude! But like, he that would sucks. literally do anything for money. So he had this massive chest concavity. So, like, we stole, like, milk and cereal from the dining hall at camp. Oh, no. And we had him, like, eat cereal, cereal, body cereal shots. Out, of his, out of his chest. <laughs> his own chest? <laughs> out of his own chest. And, like, it was, like, he'd just literally do anything for money. And, like, um, we... Did you make him suck, <sighs> suck your dicks? I... He was, we were like, I went on like a Israel. Did you guys all come in the chest? Can you have it? <laughs> no, I went on like a. He's got a big old bowl of cum <laughs> on his chest. <laughs> now let's make him breastfeed the gay kid. <laughs> That's some great A bullying. He would literally do anything. Like at camp, we had like a climbing wall, and the front climbing wall literally went back. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. What's it called? Like, uh, rever like reverse cowgirl. Reverse yeah. cowgirl. No, like the, the incline was like beyond 90 degrees. It was like a overhang or 60, some shit. 90 degrees. And we're like, yeah, Tommy, climb it without a harness for two dollars. He like jumped over the fence. We're like, you could die. You could die. It's like <laughs> halfway up. Oh, you like mean it was like down. dangling over the fucking the yeah, abyss? Yeah, it was like uh, like you know the your feet would be up gotcha. in front of your arms. Right, right, yeah, right. You know? um, but we were we w <laughs> our parents sent us on this Israel summer trip. Shouts out uh, all of our all. Is that where you listeners. got sucked off by uh, the braces? Russian? No. Well, no. How many no, times no, no, have no. you been to Twi uh, Israel? Uh, twice. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Point of the story <laughs> yeah. is he didn't like taking his shirt off because of the chest concavity. Right. So he went to the Dead Sea, which is like a natural wonder. Yeah. You can float on the water. But well, he yeah, didn't weigh 120 pounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone you can. You little twink. He didn't want to go. So he like went to the gift shop and like we get on the bus and he just bought like, I think like 30 porn magazines <laughs> he like opens up his backpack and he's just pulling porn out and there's just like a like you know like a spread with like a like eight 
at her like twelve inch dick like going into a girl's oh, hell face. Yeah. I'm like, yo, there are people around you, yeah, put this away. And uh we get to like the hostel. We're, we're in the holy in. city. We get to Jerusalem and he's like we're like in our room and he's like, Adam, I haven't beat off in eleven days since we got to this fucking country. <laughs> I have forty porn magazines. <laughs> I need the room.